Hello? Hello, hello? What will you do in the night after we beat this? Um... Well, depends on how quickly... Like, if you beat Wallace now, I'm gonna tell you guys to go fight Steven. Because I think it'd be really hype to go fight Steven. It might not be exciting because Abby just wipes, her, wipes him, but it, it adds a little more uh, stuff to do. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Good morning. We're gonna do the good old routine of, of changing chat. Do, 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 do. Okay, okay. And change it over in my docs. Apply. Close. All right. Strip that over there. All right. So we're gonna. I'm gonna uh, message Wolfie, and we'll we'll probably get started. <laughs> oh man, that was inc insane. <laughs> hey, Mr. Kermit. No, I wouldn't say you're late. Ooh, he sent the. Yo. I'm ready whenever you are. When we call, you will be live immediate. Just a heads up. Oh, he sent the team. He sent the team. Uh, it's Toad School. Oh, he's calling now. I didn't. I. I. I whoopsie. I gotta get my headphones plugged in. <laughs> he's calling now. Oh, I'm not ready. Oh, I'm not ready. Okay. 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 Hold on. Hello. 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 How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Hey, uh, I know that I'm not on stream, so I'm going to talk about some really bad things right now. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, how's, how's everything going? How's that? Uh, it's how's going good. Going? It's yeah. going good. Um, I just watched uh, chat successfully beat Drake uh, in t TPP. Oh my god! Yeah, it was uh, their their Azumarill, their level hundred Azumarill, just one shot crit Salamence with like forty <laughs> HP left. At first, I was like, "Oh, that's no big deal. Like, it's a fairy type." But then I was like, "Wait a, wait a second. Yeah, it's Gen three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, how did they get a level hundred Azumarill? Daycare? No, they just they just trained it. It's oh their pride and joy. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. They did successfully um, daycare train a couple Pokemon. Like Here's one day, I just I just woke up and they had a level fifty three Poochyena for no oh reason, God. and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's so yeah. good. I love that. I feel like I I definitely want to try TPP at some point. I feel like it's really fun. Mm -hmm. It's it's been really fun to watch. Uh, they're on hour like 350 of the game. Oh but... <laughs> my god, that's gonna feel so good when they win though. Yeah, I think they're, they they there's a good chance they beat it tonight. Honestly, because uh, they successfully healed up Azumarill, so oh? um, they're going into the Wallace fight with a fully healed level 100, level 100? Azumarill. I feel like huge that's power be good. strength. Huge power oh, strength too. That's so good. I feel like it's funny yeah. because in TPP, like, act like in regular Pokemon, healing a Pokemon with like a potion is not that big a deal. But in like TPP, it's massive, right? Yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> it was such a struggle. <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, yeah. How have you been, man? I've been I've been good. I've been very tired, very very grinding. This is like the hardest I've worked in my entire life, which maybe says Damn. something about me. But uh, yeah. But um, <laughs> no, things are going well. It's like rewarding i'm like really happy with like how things are going so like good but tired you know yeah i mean like pokemon content in december <laughs> yeah pokemon you, content got, you gotta december grind new game released it's like yeah i mean you know i don't have mm -hmm. to tell you <laughs> <laughs> everyone knows q4 <laughs> yes yeah yeah and it's like i don't know i just feel like i've been i was i prepped really well for this I, i'm normally the kind of guy who i just like normally wing stuff you know what i mean like i'm not really a planner mm -hmm. Um, but for this, I like I started prepping in March, so it's nice because like I don't normally prepare for things, and so like I'm I feel like I did the appropriate amount this time. So that's that's nice. nice at least. Congrats on that. That must be. Are the fruits of your labor uh, flourishing now? Yes, I am a little gardener, <laughs> and, and I am growing lots of beans. <laughs> oh, you love to hear it. You love to hear it. <laughs> I'm looking at the the team. It looks really interesting. What does Toad School do? It's actually kind <laughs> of little heat. spore rager. Yeah, little it's like a little rager. Really, well, he's just a, like, a little angry guy. Um, because 
I was like, so I was trying to build, I kept getting stuck. And I was in a call with a friend and I was like, man, because I, so I wanted to use only Pokemon that were in your, were in your A and S tier. Um, oh. And so I was like, try, I was like, man, like this sucks. Like Toadscrool's in the B tier. And I feel like I really like want to try out Toadscrool because I think it'd be good. And my friend was like, dude, Toadscrool's in the A tier. And I was like, <laughs> oh my God, you're right. So <laughs> it actually really impressed me because it, it like basically sleep is so strong. Um, mm -hmm. And it's like really good at putting things to sleep. And it's actually pretty bulky with like Thrastalize. So um, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, it's got Eviolite too. Mm -hmm. It's like actually surprisingly tanky. Like you, like I was really surprised at what it lives, especially, 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 Interesting. especially, 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 especially. <laughs> man, I'm going to, let me save this. So, so stream can, can look at sure. it. I'm going to save this image. Sure. So, because there are do you want like, me to, want what do you to want from me, by the way? Do you just want voice? Do you want face cam? Do you want me to stream? Um, I'm, I'm fine with whatever you, you prefer. Uh, I, I, if you want to stream too, I'm happy to little do duo stream. Happy to do anything really. Cool. Yeah, I think I think I'll stream then because um I might okay. want to do a video on this. If it's cool to you. Yeah, of course, of course. Cool. Right, let me add image. The image is coming, chat. You can you can come see the. Oh yeah. The oh, did you tell your? Well, so I I guess like for the chat. Um, sit while I have you here. I. Built a team around Toad School, and actually, so Skeleturge and Toad School are kind of the main, the main Pokemon here. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but I, I think they're actually like really fun um, and surprisingly good. Okay, there we go. This is the this is the team, everyone. The good old guys. We got Toad School, <laughs> Skeleturge. Dude, I love Skeleturge. I know. It's, it's so cool. This is the first time I've used it, and I was it's really strong. Like, Skeleturge is kind of the MVP mm -hmm. on this team. Yeah, like, I was shocked at Torch Song. I was like, holy shit, opposite reverse overheat? Yeah. yeah <laughs> Why? It's, it's funny. So a lot of people have been using, like, this, like, Will-O-Wisp set, and I was like, nah, like, we're just going to get, like, because like, once you, the first Torch Song, it doesn't do that much, but once you have one mm -hmm. up, it's like, very scary yeah i'm sure you put like um scarf or or whatever whatever what what's the one that boosts a uh, special deck um specs specs yeah put specs on it, it oh yeah crazy. it would just take off yeah oh, this one's super <laughs> tanky where the idea is basically like mm. it's super hard to get off the field and it has like recovery and then um so it's like easy to get one torch song up and then from there you're just going to town yeah, the leftovers is slack off is mean. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of people don't run protect on it, so I thought protect is actually pretty nice. Uh, people will be yeah, like, oh, yeah. it's so scary, I'll just double attack into it, and then you get the protect. Mm hmm. Oh, it's got, uh, what is that, Terra fairy. Terra fairy? Yeah, yeah, because, like, um, oh, there's a, basically, there's a lot of dragon Pokemon right now, Garchomp and Hydreigon, especially, mm. and they're both super effective on Skeleturge, so it's really nice where you can just catch them off guard, where they're like, oh, I'll just Dark Pulse, and then you turn fairy and just. Terra Blast and wipe them off the <laughs> Nice, nice. I love that. Yeah, yeah I, I love this team. These are all the guys that I love. Yeah, I like, I, I like, I was, because I, I feel like going like into the B tier of your Pokemon, like I feel like you're like, okay, I like these guys, but I was like, let me try like the really good ones. Mm hmm. Nice. So, so, uh, yeah, I'm seeing King of It, Annihilate, um, Yaskarada, Hydreigon. Mm hmm. Basically, nice this, this team doesn't have, like, so much of a super set strategy, but it's just a bunch of strong Pokemon, and so mm -hmm. I feel like it's, like, a little easier to use because there's not, like, uh, it's, like, it's just, like, kind of, like, you can kind of do whatever with it because it's just a bunch of strong individual Pokemon that work well together. Nice. Ooh, I'm excited to use this team. Me too, yeah. See, I'm, I'm excited see how to see. far we go. So I, I want to tell you, last time, okay, so let's give, I'll give some backstory to the chat. So this is the second time that Jaden and I have done some competitive Pokemon together, and mm -hmm. last time... I was so nervous. I was like, I was like, oh my God, Jaden. Like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I, I just like, I, you know, like it was like kind of a weird format and I really wanted you to have like a good time. And I, I was like very nervous. And I, I definitely backseated too much. So this time oh. <laughs> <laughs> my vision is that like, I would rather kind of just like be here as kind of like some, some support, some coaching, some like, uh, some like direction, but not, not nearly as much as I gave last time, more of like a, you like you kind of learn how to play this in your style and i'll be here to kind of like direct you or give you feedback and stuff like that if that's okay with gotcha. you gotcha no totally i i didn't think last time was too much backseating at all okay, i was still good. like i don't think i understand <laughs> so like it was really nice to be like le lean on you a lot <laughs> uh -huh. 100 okay i'm glad to hear that yeah <laughs> 
Um, cool. Let's go over to Switch game. Yeah, I'm just trying. I'm trying to get a thumbnail for this one. I, I really nice. I was like, oh yeah, stream on YouTube. You need a thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been streaming on YouTube much more lately? Yeah, I, I, I decided to try it out because, um, like, I felt like streaming on Twitch wasn't that, like, I, I felt like I was, like, totally fine on Twitch, but since I'm more of a, I'm a YouTuber first, not a streamer, you know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. um and I've been really, um, I've been really, really happy with how things have been doing. It's, it's, I've been, like, yeah, just, like, it, streams have been doing super, super well, which is, like, cool, because I don't stream that often, so it's, like, nice that when I do, it's, like, successful, you know? Yeah. <laughs> We have like it was crazy like i think i was streaming a tournament not last weekend but the one before and we almost like the peak was almost twenty thousand viewers which is like unbelievable holy for, for shit my size, congrats is, thank you yeah like we didn't hold there of course but like that was still it was surprising you know what i mean because i was getting like mm -hmm. you know two to three k on twitch so i was definitely like what, what's going on over damn. here damn that's awesome it's been so <laughs> nice you. to hear people who are like streaming on twitch trying youtube and really liking it or mm -hmm. being like oh all everything's going up the up and up. Yes. Um, it's how long have you been streaming on YouTube? It's is it relatively recent or am I confused? Um, I've always streamed on YouTube. The one time I streamed on Twitch was the Platinum Nuzlocke, but all the other uh, ones have been YouTube. I see. Yeah. So that makes sense. But I, I don't live stream very often, really. Yeah. Well, until I, now. <laughs> until last month now. Was otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> she says on day twenty nine. Day twenty nine. <laughs> but I just opened your chat. Is it your birthday? Oh, they, yeah, it is my birthday. Thanks, Happy birthday. Chad. <laughs> it's not. I'm, I'm, I'm so, uh, so grateful to be, to be able to share it with you. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Chat, chat loves uh, telling me happy birthday. It's it's been my birthday uh, for like two weeks straight now. <laughs> but is it actually your birthday today? No, it's in September. <laughs> oh my god! Oh man! They they, they love, but thank you, chat. Thank you so much. <laughs> they love my birthday. <laughs> That's so funny. I was like, oh, I'm December too. That's great. That was <laughs> oh, what are you? Else. You got me. What what what's your December birthday? Hmm. The six, so a little over a week ago. Oh, nice, nice. Happy, happy late birthday. Thank you. I'm so happy to finally be 18. I can't <laughs> wait to drink alcohol. Soon. <laughs> yeah, everyone I know either has a birthday at on in like in September or December. Those are like the most popular birthday months. Yeah, I feel like my my family especially like my brother's birthday is like four years and two days apart from mine. I have a cousin who's my age and exactly one week younger, so it's just like kind of funny. We're like, I feel like yeah, like I have an aunt and an uncle. Like it's like everybody is is in December, which is funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So what what how do we do this? Sure. Um, okay. So you're gonna press um X when you're ready. X. Then, wait. Um, look at this. Wait. 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 Are you watching my stream? I'm watching your stream. Which maybe there's some lag. Look what I got. Look what I got. Is that shiny? Yeah. Oh, it's green. Oh, I never knew. I didn't notice the wings. I really like that. I I shiny hunted for the first day of, of my life yesterday, and we got a shiny frost moth. That's amazing. Did you so like proud. shiny hunting? I actually did. I can see myself doing it much more, but I, I didn't do it with, like, a uh, special sandwich and I didn't do it with shiny shiny charm. I only yeah. use outbreaks. So like I want to I want to have my like do 100% a scarlet thing uh, yeah. game. So I'm trying to like I don't want to fill out the decks on this cuz I don't want to fill out the decks twice. Yeah, so it's, it's I just did pain, outbreak odds. <laughs> so this isn't your main game? No, I want to play scarlet, yeah. I see, I see. Oh yeah, cuz you've been streaming since before the games came out, right? Yeah, I started streaming like the seventeenth, which is like the night it right. uh, went live. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> is it the Poke Portal? Oh yeah, sorry. So X Poke Portal, and then you're gonna have to connect to the internet. Just L. L. And then when that's done, you're gonna go to Battle Stadium. All right. Battle Stadium. Ooh. Oh, it's going to show you the news. The Congratulations. You know Nintendo loves date. showing the news. I love showing the news. Oh, confirm. Oh, 
Just Whoa, like this is cool. Up. Yeah, and then you want to go to rental teams. Rental teams. Uh, at the very bottom, sorry. And then... Uh, and then, all you have to do then is uh, borrow. Mm -hmm. And then you just enter the code and the image that I sent you um, in the top like right of it is a Ooh. six digit code, which I can actually just easier. Okay. So G3V149. I'm going and people to... don't, don't, they don't matter. It doesn't matter if- They can use it too if they, they want, the but yeah, like it's, it's, just, pub, it's just public. Um, <laughs> Steal her look, chat. Steal <laughs> her look. <laughs> if, you want, if you want to use code, <laughs> cool, yeah, it's cool with me. Um, and I'm going live. Yeah, nice. So, Nice. Look at the guys. Look at the guys. Yeah, look at the look at the homies. Um, well, my chat is so. Dual wielding chat. Dual wielding chats. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, cool. Well then, uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. Nice. Squidward. <laughs> I love. I love Toad School. He's just he's just a little squidward that runs fucking fast. He's so fast. Like I, the first time I saw him, I think he got away from me. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, because he was. Oh like, wait, yeah. should I should I swear on on since I'm on stream too? It's cool with me. I mean, your, okay. it's, it's your preference. <laughs> okay. It doesn't bother me though. Okay. Cool. So Would I guess like, like just for team? everybody yes. who might be joining now, I can quickly explain this team. Oops. Oh. You're good. Um, Hold on. <laughs> I remember it. I remember it. I don't remember it. I'm pulling it up. <laughs> I'm pulling it up too. No, it's G. I, I put four it's in and it G. starts with G. <laughs> D3V49. 49. 49? 49. 49. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'd Which like to borrow this team. Cool. You can press A uh, here. You can borrow the team. Um, and then we'll be able to view it afterwards. Mm. I think. And then you can press A, and then there should be like U. Check. There we code. go. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Okay. Cool. So I'll just quickly explain this team, so that for everyone who is uh, watching at home, who might be interested. Um. So basically, this team is built around a bunch of strong, um, Pokemon. That's the that's the idea there. I know it's a, it's a really uh, novel idea, but there's a couple strong Pokemon here. So basically, you have two really fast Pokemon, which are Meow Scarada and Annihilate. Um. Annihilate is really nice because um, it's super fast. There's some like frail fast Pokemon like Meow Scarada and Mousehold, which is nice to just kind of like get out of the game early. Um, mm -hmm. But what I really like it for is if there's a Pokemon that's like really giving you a hard time, you can just click Final Gambit and make the battle into a three versus three, like pretty much whenever <laughs> you want, which is like actually really nice because there's like, we'll run into some of them, but there's some Pokemon that are just like a huge pain to deal with. And so that's really nice for that. Um, Meow Scarot is really strong. Its signature move always crits, so it's just like a really nice Pokemon to have. Like, you can use it up front to do damage early, or you can use it in the back. Um, and what's nice is that it has the Focus Sash item, so um, when its HP goes like goes low, uh, Overgrow will activate and make Flower Trick even stronger, which is super nice. Mm. Um, you also have um, Hydreigon, which is like a, just basically like an offensive Pokemon, but it also can give your team Tailwind, which is nice. You can try and overwhelm people that way. He's kind of in the middle in terms of speed. Um, King Gambit is like a really good Pokemon. It's actually so, so strong. It has great typing, it has great stats. Um, and it's just like a really, it can come to pretty much any battle. Like it's, it's good against Trick Room teams. It's good because it has priority. It's just always pretty, um, strong in my opinion. Um, there's, and then there's Skeleturge who is like a, like kind of bulky setup sweeper. He's kind of one of the Pokemon I tend to use the most because he's just so strong. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, like click, like you just click Torch Song, keep them alive with Protect and Slack off and Leftovers. Terra Blast is also good if you go uh, Terra Fairy. Um, and then last but not least, there's Toad School, who's kind of the glue here. He ties everything together, like super, super good at disrupting, basically. Um, you click mostly Spore and then sometimes Rage Powder to protect your teammates because they're strong. But if you see Gold Dango, I really like to use Mirror Coat because mm -hmm. uh, it's just like, yeah, it's really good into those Pokemon. So. Gotcha. Um, yeah, so it's basically like there's not like one kind of cohesive strategy, but it's just kind of a bunch of Pokemon that I think are strong and they work pretty well together. Gotcha, gotcha. I like it. I like the look of them. I, I think they're really fun together, so I, I hope you I hope you enjoy them. But uh, yeah, so yeah. I mean, if you're ready, we can kind of just hop on the ladder. 
Cool. I'm just. I'm also gonna share my screen so you don't have to watch stream. Okay, Thank you so much. I wasn't sure if you like it. Oh, I see sharing now. Let me just redo my yeah. screen a little bit so that I can. Okay. Uh. I really I like this music a lot. I'm sure I'm gonna get sick of it at some point. But right now, I'm a big fan. Like the loud, the battle stadium music. That was really low. Ooh. I realized I accidentally had Kirby music playing in the background, so I was like, this <laughs> this song's kinda chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting the nice battle stadium music. <laughs> so I'm down for Whoopsie. Kirby stuff as well. No, I I do like this this lobby music a lot. I thought this was the Kirby music, so when I paused it, I was like, oh shit. Yo? <laughs> Yo? Yo? Okay. All right, cool. I am good to go. Nice. All right. Did we, so we, 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 we No, no, no. We're trying to get rid of the team. So you want to um just hit B again and then go to uh, B one more time and then you're going to go up to ranked battles. Oh, okay. Ranked battles. I like how they just have Sprigatito there. Oh, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> you can mash A through this. Yeah, so last time we set the goal of like getting the Master Ball. I think let's, this time let's just have, you know, let's just have fun. You know what I mean? Like, we'll get okay. what we get. Um, mm -hmm. You're going to do double battles. And then scroll over to one of the rental. Rental one, I think. Yeah, oh, there six. you Rental team yep. six. And just um, as a, a one last note is that for the Terra types on this team, apart from... Uh oh What happened? I've never seen that error. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you can pick your background music. Um, basically, every Terra on this team is defensive. So if you're if you're ever like, oh, my Pokemon is like under pressure, you can just tear up whenever you want. Lobo. Lobo. That means wolf. Okay, so he's got a Murkrow. Oh, good, the good old Murkrow. I, I realize yeah. I'm gonna be fighting. I'm gonna, it's gonna realize be a lot of the. <laughs> the the fear of Mur Murkrow. Um, so here I would recommend Skeleturge up front. I'll help you kind of with the Pokemon yeah. up first, so then we can go from there. So when I look at this, I would do like, like I see Skeleturge is a bunch of Pokemon for super effective, and I feel like we should use yeah. Toad School as well up front. Um, okay. Just because it's our you know that's our guy. Um, yep, good. And then yeah, perfect. Oh, oh sorry, it's only oh, four mods. Whoa, 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 whoa. Those, those four whoa, whoa. are actually good here. The other oh, thing okay. Is, yeah, like you can also do Meowth in the back because it's like just a solid mod to bring in the back. In general, yeah. but Annihilate works too. Okay. I'll just do that because it was accidentally yeah. what I did. Let's do it. <laughs> Lobo. Whenever I see Scizor, I go, oh, you poor thing. Wait, why? It, like, uh, it's sad when you look at your team and you have one fire type. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh, I can't bring you're him. Like, oh, he's coming, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at this fun stuff. Yeah, I realized in doing this that I did not do like a good uh, like picture, like a good um, like uh, trainer card. Oh, I didn't. Whoa, it's a shiny tennis. Oh yeah, school. I, 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 I asked Toad uh, school. for people to get this. Wow, what is that? Oh, okay, okay. We got High Dragon Arcanine. We got High Dragon yeah. Arcanine. So you kind of have mm. two options here, depending on who you want to Terra. You could Terra water your Toad School and put something to sleep. Um, or you could Terra Fairy or Skeleturge and just try and get rid of the High Dragon right away. If I, if I Terra right now, though, I don't get to do, uh, Stab, Stab Torch Song, right? No, you keep the Stab, actually. It's one of the weird things about <gasps> Terra. Really? Yeah. Oh, then, yeah, I want to do that. Yeah, go for I wanna it. Do this. I want to, I want to get rid of this thing. Yeah, it's a pain. And then with this, okay. it's kind of up to you. You can Spore or Protect, kind of whatever you feel like. Oh, Spore. Heck yeah. Why does the Arcanine model look crummy? Weird. Yeah, I don't know. He's all like Porygon like. <laughs> or Polygon like. Yeah, yeah. That's the same yeah. thing. <laughs> I haven't used a bunch of him, so I actually haven't paid a ton of attention yet. 
His tiny nose is like a little oh, diamond. Oh, oh, oh. oh, this thing dies. It's it th this gone. thing dies now. He wasn't ready for the heat. Toad's cool. No! Red. Oh, my God. That's my bad. Oh. I haven't organized on super popular, so I wasn't sure if that would KO. Oh, I like how both the, the Pokemon cry out when they kill a Pokemon, though. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. This thing dies, though. Super gone. Skilladurge crying on his own. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we probably should just have... Oh, we have Flying-type Terra here. Yeah, what does but we that have, we've already Terra this fight, so you're not going to be able oh, to use for... that. Yeah, true. I guess just Annihilate. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Because you don't want to go... You want. You probably want to get rid of this Arcanine um, mm -hmm. before you go into King Gambit. This guy's thinking. He's like, ah, oh, shit, I, I only got... <laughs> oh. I got, um... Oh. I... Please, let the last Pokemon be, um... Be... What's his name? Uh, you can press plus to Scizor. check their team. Oh, yeah, Scizor, oh, really? yeah. Yeah, if you press plus, yep. There you go, naked to their mons. Oh, I see. Oh, wait, you can't see what Pokemon his his last one is, though? No, but you can see what the, what the options are. So here, mm. I think you might want to switch your Skeletor out because Goldango's kind of a problem. Oh, wait, I don't even know anything about Goldango. It's so strong. It basically is a super strong steel move that hits both. Mm. Oh, I see, I see. So we're bringing out King, King a bit. Yeah, and then I, I would say maybe just final Gambit the Arcanine so your King Gambit can kind of win the 1v1. Okay. What does King uh, fin Final Gambit uh, do exactly? So it says you lose all of your HP, and however much HP you lost is exactly how much you de like you deal to the target. Oh, okay. So, so here your like Annihilate a... has like 217 HP, which means like it, you'll do 217 damage, basically. Mm. Oh, that's super good for you. Why would he do that? <laughs> I don't know, actually. <laughs> maybe maybe they're worried about Torch Song, and so they're like, oh, I'll turn off my typing, but yeah. Oh. Make it rain. Yeah, Holy it's a super shit. powerful Make move. Make it rain. Yeah. <laughs> wait, what, wait, what's it do? So it, it's 120 base power, so like, think of it like as like, I think that's overheat space power or close to it. Um, yeah. And it hits both your Pokemon, but it also lowers the user's special attack when when it happens. Oh, Scizor. <laughs> I was hoping for Scizor. Oh, you fool. Oh, you <laughs> poor thing. <laughs> um, Goldango. What does... Wait, what's Kowtow Cleave? It's like its strongest uh, dark type attack, so it's pretty good into Goldango. Yeah, I'll just hit it. And then, and then with this, it, what you I need to know, sorry, before you attack, is that even though they, you drop their special attack, Skeleturge uh, ignores their stat changes, which is really good if they boost, but it's not as good if they drop themselves. So just like be aware that like you gotcha. like yeah, you might you may want to protect here is my kind of instinct because King, uh, King Gambit. Bulky. I see. I don't know all the stats of the new Pokemon, so I yeah, don't know there's who's a lot to learn. and what do was what what is what. Yeah. I do like the ghost crown though. Me too. Oh, that did nothing. Oh my god. Oh, oh my uh, god, we're No! <laughs> ah, that's my bad. Uh -oh. I let you spray. Uh -oh. <laughs> I over, unfortunately. <laughs> no, Torch Song can do it. Uh, yep. We can Torch Song both of them. <laughs> This is like one of the things that I think is interesting about Terra, which is that like, if our, we hadn't Terra here, Skeletor would have been so good, but because we're fairy type, we're like kind of weak to Goldango. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of his Scizor. Yeah, go for it. Oh, yeah. they have two. Yeah. You they have two oh. types. That's my bad. Uh -huh. I led you astray. I'm Make sorry. Make it rain. No, it's okay. <laughs> Skeledurge. What a cool Poor Pokemon, guy. though. I feel like that Pokemon was made for me. Skeledurge? Yeah, it's like a cool fire alligator, like Day of the Dead alligator with like the purple speckles on his name. And he's got a little fire bird that he attacks with. I really like I love all of those things. <laughs> Oh, 
I see your vibe into the music. It's it's really fun. <laughs> Continue battling. I, I had the Team Star Boss music. Yes. I love the Team Star Boss music. Piece of chickles. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Volcarona, Tinkaton. Ooh. Ooh. Mud's Mud's Bray. Or no, Mud's Dale. Mud's Dale, oh, yeah. So Volcarona is kind of scary for us because we have a bunch of Pokemon that are weak to it. So I like. I mean, I kind of use Skeletor's most matchups. Um, I like it here. You don't have to use it though. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see. Who do we not use last time? Uh, we didn't use the last two. Yeah. I kind of want to get one with Toad School, but this isn't a great matchup for it. But we could try it. Toad School? Yeah, let's do it. Let's bring Toad School. It's fun. Okay. Mm. I don't know what to bring. Uh, let's <laughs> what, do, okay, do yeah. Think? Sorry, I'll help you with the team preview. So let's do Toad School yeah. Skeletor again. Okay. And then let's bring the last two here in the back because we didn't use them last time. Okay. And basically, our, our hope is going to be let's use Skeleturge to get rid of like the steel types, and then our dragon, like our dragons, can win. Let's see. Whoa. Yeah, I need to make a, new, a cool t trader card. <laughs> I'm just sitting there. <laughs> Whoa, look at the cool, like, Daft Punk ass. Whoa, the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, word, this is great. Pretty shiny guard of war. The Dondozo. What a big Pokemon. That's like the biggest Pokemon in this game. All the Pokemon it's in this game so are small. Big. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so here you have a couple options. Do? You you can honestly just like protect and spore if you want. Like what are they gonna okay. do about it? Uh, what's one that's the biggest threat? Was, Is it Dondozo? I would say Dondozo because it's super effective and that way you won't have to Terra. True. I don't really know. So Dondozo is good with his little fish guy. Like he yeah. eats them, and He's then not what happens? That good without him, in my opinion. Mm. Oh, light screen. Ah, that makes oh. sense. Ooh, he wants oh Toad School gone. The people do not like Toad School. We did it die? No. I don't like the HP bars in this game. They're like pain. Hmm. Uh, what are the odds that Gardevoir attacks this Toad School? I say and Toad School lives. It probably doesn't live, so let's just, I guess, spore into the Gardevoir and go for Torch Song. We'll start setting We're up. We're allowed to do that? Yeah, I mean, they might KO us, but nah, we'll live. Uh, like, if Torch School goes Gardevoir? down, we get to go into, um, yeah, let's just, because, yeah, basically our plan is we're going to try and beat Dendoza with Meow Scarada. Oh, I don't think we live this. <laughs> oh, not with ah, crit mattered. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Toad School would have tanked it. He totally would have tanked it. Now I know that doesn't look like a lot of damage, but it's it's gonna it's gonna be good at some point. I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Do we what do we do? Meowscarada. Yep, exactly. So basically, Meowscarada is really good because so its signature move always crits, which ignores the effect of like reflect and light screen. Mm-hmm. Ooh, hoo, hoo. yeah, it is nice. So you can just kind of, just kind of go to town on this. If you want, you could Terra here offensively. And if you want to go after, I, okay, so here's the deal. If you want to get rid of Dendozo this turn, you can Terra now, but you probably, Dendozo's asleep, so maybe you want to go after Gardevoir first. Ooh, I'm just scared of Dendozo waking up, like, immediately. You are focused, Ash, so you don't need to worry. And it's, I don't oh, yeah. think that it can KO Skeletor. So I think you can just go up for, for like, Flower Trick into Gardevoir. Um, okay. And then, yeah, I would just keep setting up Torch Songs. Oh, oh, interesting. This might be Tinkaton. Uh, nice. So if you KO Guard over here, your Torch Song will get redirected, and then they're going to be in a lot of trouble. I really like Meowscarada. I didn't like it at yeah, first. Yeah, we got a crit. <laughs> Super lucky. Torch Song. Tinkaton. Oh, that's a lot. That's with Light Screen up, too. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're so right. Something you have to keep in mind is that Tinkaton learns fake out, so just be careful of that. Mm. Ooh, shiny Mudsdale. Ooh. 
I did a, a shiny all tier, all tier, all po shiny t Pokemon tier list uh, a mm -hmm. while ago. I forgot a lot of them already, but uh, it, it was very knowledgeable. What should we do? What should we do? I so I think why don't we just protect with both our dudes? Because we could um like they might they might try and Terra here, right? And this is a good chance to scout, uh... and we scout for uh out as well. Oh, you're so right. You're so right. <laughs> I am so valid. They do Terra. <laughs> Terra fake out? Oh, no. <laughs> that would be so hype. <laughs> Terra fighting. Yep. Good to know. So how does the Terra typing actually work? You still have all, all your stab, but now you have an extra stab? Yes. So that's exactly right. So offensively, you keep your original stabs, and then you also get a new stab. And if you turn into a type you already were, then your stab just becomes bigger. Um, mm -hmm. And defensively, you become the type. So like... Oh, here, okay. Like, um, yeah, like here are like the mud well, is fighting defensively and it's fighting in ground offensively, basically. Mm. Okay, I get it. So he just hits him, him his little tinkaton here. Oh, he did. Well, that wasn't very smart. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> So here we can actually do something really cool. So Denoza comes back in. You can just like launch, like use Miascar to attack into that. But even though normally Mudsdale beats Skeleturge, it's a fighting type. Um, so you can actually Terra Fairy, Terra Blast it if you wanted. Oh, and then we Flower Trick Dundozo. Yep, I feel like let's just get damage into it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Terra Blast you. Yeah, nice. Woo! Woo! Yeah, I feel like something Durge. like Skeletor. Something I learned with this was like you really like with Skeletor in particular. It's like you really because fire is actually like a pretty good defensive type. You like the later you can wait to Terra, the better. That's nothing. Oh my god, those are so tanky. I was, I was gonna say, holy shit, a crit. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> this probably won't KO just because it light screens up, but it's still gonna yeah. do a ton of damage. Whoa! Oh my god. Or Mudsdale. Oh, wait, so Mudsdale came, it used up the terror for the team, it Earthquake KO'd its own ticket turn, and then it got one shot. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. They, they kind of changed the yawn sound, I'm sad. <laughs> now the, the sound that used to be yawn is now on Slack Off. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, I, and then <laughs> so, they just made it more nasally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll just Terror Blast, right? Yeah, go for it. it you'll just kill with me, Escarada. Ah, uh, I gave up. Nice job. Woo! He said, I should, I he should have made a better training card for this. I had the same. It's okay. I played literally over 50 games, and my trainer card is awful. Like, it's like <laughs> the dweebiest. Like, and the worst part is a lot of people have cool ones. You know what I mean? And so every time yeah. I like, I, I feel like I'm losing from the start. <laughs> oh, what's battling. nice is that I think winning battles gives you league points, which is cool. League points? Really uh, yeah, you can use the, the, you can use them to buy TMs and um, maybe some other stuff as well. Ooh! Oh, the LP, yeah. Yeah, gotcha. sorry. I didn't understand what LP was. I was just like, ooh, look at this Wait, interesting this little team. team. This is very similar to the team that I use, but they added Murkrow. Um, <laughs> okay, so here, so okay, so I think this is a really good matchup for like Annihilate. Mm -hmm. Like up front. Mm -hmm. Let's do Annihilate. So I like to use Annihilate against Meow Scarada and Mousehold because it's, um, yeah, it's just like it, it punches it's the shit out of them. It, exactly. <laughs> um, th and we, so whenever you see, oh, what happened? Oh. Oh, oh no. What? Oh? Did they? Well, what? They disconnected. They didn't want to get. They didn't want to get. They didn't want to lose. On they stream. didn't want this heat. They didn't want their mice <laughs> to be like, fucking punted. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, three points. <laughs> We're rich. <laughs> <laughs> that was an easy battle. That was an easy battle. Hopefully, they should all be so easy. <laughs> Have you liked um having like a uh, uh, like being a VTuber by the way, or like having a it's an been avatar? fun. Yeah. Yeah, I it's yeah cool. I like, do like I it a lot. It, I'm like really impressed with the tech. Yeah, it's it's the it's really really good. I, I worked with the art gun and they're just a straight up wizard. That's amazing. Well, look at these guys. What does so the, the tree guy do? 
The tree guy is tanky and pretty strong. Um, I, I, you're hovering over me, Escarada. I like that here. I think that's a great call. Mm -hmm. Like up front? Yeah, front. And then... Ooh. The scissor makes me want to bring Skeleturge here. Maybe like... <laughs> Honestly, there's not really any wrong answers. I say don't bring Toad School, but let, you try picking the Pokemon here. There's not really wrong answers. Uh, I know, it's I a lot of pressure, but I, I want to or... give you the chance. <laughs> I think... I don't remember if the, the purple guy is Steel, but he Skeleturge is good for Garchomp and Scizor, which mm -hmm. is scary. And Arbolivo. So... And Arbolivo? Yeah, the grass, the olive thing. Cause it's grass oh, type. yeah, him. Uh, I don't know if I want him out front. Maybe... Um, he works both up front and back and then back here, so don't stress too much mm, about it. Okay, I'll have him. And then... Um, Hydreigon is good for... Wait, what? what's the Hydreigon? Oh, jeez, I'm running out of time. You're fine, you're fine. Um, no. No. This one. And... <laughs> this one. It, it is okay, yeah. That's, that's what I would have done for what it's worth. Uh, really? Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah, I'm nice so job. confident now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I think that was stupid, stupid, stupid. And then you're like, no, that's that's good. No, I, I, I like this I'm a, a genius. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know the meme that's like, it's the guy in the air, and then the plane, he's like, I'm a genius. And then next frame, he's like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the opposite. <laughs> oh, glim Ooh, Glamora. Everybody. So Glamora is a poison and rock type. Poison Rock. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Glamora is good. Well, if we if we Terra Skeledurge, then mm -hmm. that's okay, right? That's super good here. Yeah, I, I like that a lot. Okay, and then maybe just like I don't know what to do with me. Flower, flower Trick into either Mon. Like I would say maybe Flower Trick to Glamora to get some damage on it. True. And then Terra Blast the Garchomp just to get damage on it. Basically, if you're okay. never if you, like I, I would say that if you're never if you're ever unsure what move to oh they're wearing Garchomp. If you're or like this could be Glamour as well. But if you're ever unsure of what uh what move to click on, oh ooh. ground he got rid of the he knew he knew yeah. Um, Flower Trick is the move I click most times on Miascarada because it's just so strong. Yeah, that makes sense. They're lucky we didn't go for Terra uh, into for Flower Trick into Garchomp because it would have just KO'd them. True, true, true. Also, thank you so much, Bush. This also might be Scarf Garchomp. No, okay. So if they Earthquake here, that they're gonna KO their own Pokemon because they had the Air Balloon. Hmm. Wait, how do you know it has the Air Balloon? Oh, uh, when they oh, sent it, it out, it little... sent a little message out that I, I happened to see. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite all right with us. <laughs> oh, oh God, the lot. HP is kind of laggy. Yeah, it's being really glitchy. So what's nice <laughs> about this as well is that your last Pokemon are unaffected by Toxic Spikes. Oh, you're right. You're right. No, so I wasn't that worried about <laughs> setting them up. Mm -hmm. It's a good bit of damage, honestly. Yeah. Ooh, we got our health. We got our health back from leftovers. Yep. Mm -mm. Chomp on that little apple cord, Skeletor. <laughs> Delicious, scrumptious. You ever feel bad for feeding Pokemon leftovers? Like, it doesn't look like it tastes very good, does it? I imagine it's like French fries. Yeah. <laughs> like from a little, <laughs> or like uh, Chinese takeout <laughs> in oh the God. little box. <laughs> That's way better than what I was thinking. <laughs> Ooh, Sarah okay. Wedge. What a cool Pokemon. It's a really cool Pokemon. So here... Not really wrong answer. I, I would say that basically you either want to take out the Garchomp here and maybe go for a slack off, or mm -hmm. you want to protect both and see if they'll continue earthquaking themselves and do your job for you. Oh, true. I guess there's no downside to protecting for a sec, right? Yeah, like sometimes Sarah Ledge will set up, but the thing is they've already used their Terra and you can always beat Sarah Ledge with Hydreigon in the back. So even in the worst case scenario, mm -hmm. you're probably still okay. Yeah, I'll do that. See what they're up to. What what typing is Sarah Ledge? It's fire and ghost, and the other one is fire and psychic. So they're both fire, and then one is ghost and one is psychic. And it kind of matches okay. their, like, design, you know? I didn't know if it was, like, steel something. It could it could be steel. Yeah, actually, they have the sword. Like, it has the sword. Okay, declaw. This is also nice because you get to turn a leftovers this way. 
Mm. Bitter Blade. It's a really cool move. You may survive those. Skeletor's is really tanky. Okay. So, so what, do, what do you want to do here? Yep. Flower Trick Guard Chomp. Yep. It's so tempting because he's all ground. Yeah, but what's nice is that, like, yeah, if they don't, like, so with Skeletor's, what are you thinking here? Um... Hmm. Ghost, uh, ghost psychic, did you say? No, fire psychic. Fire, and fire it's immune to fire type attacks. Oh, okay. So I guess we just try to slack off, right? Exactly. Yeah. So this is really, I really like this play. Great job, by the way. I really like this play because, yeah, if Garchomp were to protect or switch out, then, like, you're even more likely to survive and heal up again. Mm hmm. Ooh. Our ball leva. Our ball, I, 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 I believe it. Oh, that's big damage, actually. Well, holy shit, a crit? Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, what are the odds? <laughs> You're so lucky. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> is that an absorption move? It is an absorption move, but it's most of the other absorption wow. moves are like 75 base power. This one's 90. Wait, listen, listen, listen. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. That's the old yawn sound. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, you're in really good shape here for what it's worth. What's that? They, yeah, so, so our believer's ability, when it takes any hit, it uh, sets up a grassy terrain, which I think is dope. Ah. Uh, uh, you said Hydreigon takes care of uh, yep, exactly. the guy, right? Yeah, exactly. So now you're threatening both Pokemon, and you still have your um, King Gambit in the back in case something goes wrong. Hmm. Dark Pulse? Can I just Dark Pulse the Cyril Edge? Exactly, yep. I want to get rid of him. Mm -hmm. And then just... Can I just tear, just go like ham uh, on him like this? Uh, so nope. I, I feel like maybe let's go for a Torch Song here because Dark oh. Pulse, your Life Orb on High Dragon, which uh, I, I don't think I mentioned. But yeah, so you should KO it. And this way, like, oh. even if something goes wrong, you're still getting a boost and you're like becoming stronger, you know? So our Beliva gets mm -hmm. this Torch Song? Yeah, because it's a Grass type. So like, it's nice to hit it. Yeah. Ah, you witch. <laughs> nice. Have you ever, uh, you know Undertale, right? Yeah, I, I've never actually beaten Undertale. I played like 70% of the, uh, one run. There's like um, this this track reminds me of like one of the tracks. It's there's like a, a science lab, and oh. it, it sounds exactly like the the music in there. I wonder if Toby Fox made. I feel like he song. probably did. I feel like if you're if it sounds that much like it, then he probably did. Um, <laughs> so here I would recommend maybe going into your King Gambit because your the Garchomp might be able to take out your Hydreigon. Like it's gonna be close probably, and King there. Gambit like is super good into dragon moves and grassy terrain is up and that halves the damage from earthquake oh wait why does it have the damage can so, i get yeah, rid of the basically grassy or is should mostly... I... um you want to torch song garchomp here because or like basically i would torch song because it's no longer a dragon type and then like it mm -hmm. probably won't ko either mon but if you torch song garchomp you can probably ko it with sucker punch oh that's you know, my thought yeah sorry what were you saying before oh i was just saying um Grassy Drain, it's like most of what it does is it just heals everybody like a little. It gives everybody leftovers you touch in the ground. But mm. um, something that's like not as known is it cuts not all ground moves, but like it's three. It's like Earthquake, Bulldoze, and Magnitude get cut in half. Wow. Which is like weird. It's weird. Like why those three? But yeah. And I guess another reason why I thought it might be okay to like um, attack into Garchomp there is because I thought we were, I didn't know what grass move our Believer had, and if it was Giga Drain, like they might have just killed off all the damage we did. Whereas oh. that damage in Garchomp like sticks way easier. That makes sense. So we can sucker punch the yep. Garchomp. Yep, they got it. <laughs> I, I always feel evil when I click no, sucker punch. No, it's so punch. mean. <laughs> yep, exactly. Nice move. This should go. Nice. Gotcha. Gotcha. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, our belief is so bulky. It is. But it's I'm not believe. enough. Not enough. 
<laughs> Holy shit, that's a lot more. Yeah, it's okay. You'll kill it with the next one because you keep getting stronger. I think King Gambit is funny because to me, it's like the Pokemon where it was, it's so overkill. Like Basharp is already a good Pokemon and not only did they <laughs> give it an evolution, they gave it like stupidly good stats and they gave it a new ability, which is really good. And they gave it also um, a signature move, which is really good. Like they gave it everything and it already had a good ability. Man, Bisharp <laughs> with Eviolite now. I, no, I want to try it. I definitely <laughs> want to try it. Wait, you can, can just do I whatever just with King Gambit, it like hard? Have you seen Cow Tuck Leave? It's like, it looks no, kind of cool. Haven't. Okay, let's do that. Although I think your skeleton should be faster, so you probably won't get to see it. Sorry. Oh, okay, yeah. Don't get to see anything. Sad. We'll get, we'll get an opportunity, I'm sure. <laughs> nice. Nice. Well, thank you so much, Julo. I, pr I know Toad School hasn't looked that impressive yet, but I promise you it will. I, I, I respect his his little his little job. His little legs. I s respect everything he stands for, including <laughs> his tiny little legs. He's really a man of the people. <laughs> All right. I want to fight the AI professor. I like music. AI. Professor. I need to like. That's one of my favorites. I need to. This is oh, Dylan. Me too. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I I was just saying Dylan. Dylan! Okay. Dylan. I, well, look at this team. I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but Skeletor is just so strong here. Yeah, I was going to say, this is a lot of, like, lice types and dragon yeah. types. <sighs> this is a tricky one. Um. Um. Hmm. What's, what's your instinct here? Which Pokemon do you think look good? Um. Let's see. Well, I'm... They, they got like the little fairy guy they get they got bulky slowpoke mm -hmm. i'm thinking it probably is ice cream um thinking like king Gamb gambit somewhere in the back yep yeah. i agree uh what does toad school do again i forget uh he's not he's very good here because he's four for... times he ice. he's good into things that like don't yeah. have strong fire and ice moves basically mm. oh yeah i forgot he's grass now and get yeah, grass and ground so he's like very much dice oh. dice yeah so maybe like um probably annihilate too right yeah mm. you can do him up and front then... and then king gambit in the back then I guess just... Then lastly, yeah, one of those two, kind of up to you. Meowskarada. I guess yep, it that's doesn't what I would really recommend. matter. So I like Meowskarada because um, it always crits and a Boma Snow, like well, some, because there's so many ice types, somebody might try to set up Aurora Veil, right? And so it's nice to be able to just like crit through that. Yeah, you're right. And we already have like dark type coverage with, with um, King Gambit, so we don't really need Hydreigon as much here, especially because King Gambit like resists ice, whereas Hydreigon is weak to it. Oh, I like her character. It just looks like me, but but dark hair <laughs> and darker skin a little bit. But I got the straw hat on me. I've got the one piece. <laughs> so what are you thinking here? Um, hmm. Sylveon Abomaso. I want to I want to torch song this fucker so bad. Yeah, go but for I don't it. think it's gonna let me. Do you, That's do fine. You, think you I force, do it anyway? force the Terra, which is okay, right? So it's like either yeah. like they Terra or they yeah. They switch or something. Um, Sylveon is. How does. Annihilate. Annihilate is fighting ghost, right? Yeah, so maybe just delete, press the delete button to make this a 3v3 with Final Gambit. Okay. On a bomb. Sylveon, like. Oh, no, no, into Sylveon. Because Sylveon's, like, kind okay. of a problem here, I think. And it's, like, just being able to say, like. Oh? Bring out another ice type. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is nice because now it's in um it's in uh Terra Blast range, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. This song also goes hard. There's so many I songs like this in this lot. game this that go so favorites. crazy. So this turn you have a choice because you can you can kinda now your skeleton is just plus one, which means it's like a lot stronger. So you you can um your Annihilate has to use Final Gambit again, unless you want to switch it out. But now, like, basically, you get to choose. Do you want to take out Sylveon, or do you want to take out Garchomp? 
Um, I kind of want to... Sylveon is more scary. Mm -hmm. So I guess we can kind of chill with... But I feel like Garchomp is just going to, like... It's probably going to Earthquake you, is my guess. Yeah. I think I want to play it slow and do Terra Blast Garchomp. Go for it, yeah. I don't want to take I don't want to take the the earthquake. Yeah, no, I think that makes a ton of sense because if they like basically if this goes well, if they don't do like a very specific move. They'll you'll probably go up like three against or like three against two, right? Which I think is super valuable. Mhm. Mm I like a Fairy Terra uh, Skeledurge. I like, I like the way it looks. Lot. It's like so cute because I feel like Skeledurge isn't that cute of a Pokemon, but with that little like hardness head, I'm like, oh, he is kind of cute. Yeah. A little bit of a little flamboyant guy. <laughs> <laughs> they, they cheer and Sylveon Kong's over dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this thing. Oh, this thing. Oh, that poor guard jump. He's like, I'm safe. There's no uh, way he, They As soon as they we tear, tear the fairy, they, they must have been like, ah, oh, shit. They're like, oh, <laughs> what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Skeledurge comes out on top. <laughs> yeah, you're in really good shape now. All right. Uh, you know be really mean? What? Yes. You can go and be Huskarata here, and almost, basically most of Bomasnow are Terra Water. So you could, if you wanted, like go for a flower trick and uh, torch song in the same turn. Oh, be like, yeah, well, like terror that. or not, you're kind of in trouble. I want to do that so bad. <laughs> it makes sense that we feel the dumb. Terra, <laughs> once well trained. Mm. We do have to watch out for that though, because that thing has slush rush, which makes it. Fast. I have absolutely no idea what po what set titan is. It's just pretty tanky. You're in good gotcha. shape, though. This is like a great position. For Can you. I still bully the Obamas? Let's do it. That's so funny if we get it right. <laughs> and you have King Gambit in the back, which is a steel type, right? So, like, you're kind of yeah. chilling. Oh. Ice Spinner. <gasps> Focus Sash. So keep in mind, this is like a resisted attack. Actually, because of the hail, it probably doesn't do that much, but it, it, it can do like tons of damage. It, yeah, okay, not there, though. Pretend I didn't say anything. <laughs> I can't believe where. Oh wait, wait. Yeah, where's the Terra? Why are they yeah, not doing I that? Did they forget? Know. That would have been a good time to do it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, can I just torch song? Yeah, again? go for it. What are they gonna do? Uh. Wait, why didn't I get hit by hail? Oh, is it? Oh, I guess they changed it's just... it. It's snow now. Oh. So basically what? now, instead of taking hail damage, uh, it makes the ice tape's physical defense 50% higher, which is why your flower trick did like not that much damage. Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah, I think it's what a really cool change. I think it makes the Pokemon way better. Am I faster than it? No, I'm not. No, you're not. So like basically, punch? unless you want to predict them not to attack your Miascarada, which isn't likely, Sucker Punch is probably your best bet. Okay. Because it always goes first. So it's not a... Oh, not... Don't Here we go. Right here. There it is. Took you long enough. <laughs> Grass? Water? Ground? Ground! That's fine. Whoa. Because now they lost their ice type physical defense boost. The I really like the Titan. It's definitely one of my favorites. Really? I think it's, I'll be honest, I think it's very ugly. I didn't like it until I used it, and then I kind of, you know, like when you like have an experience with the Pokemon, and then you're like, okay, yeah. like, this makes me like, <laughs> I had that with the Titan. I see, I see. Yeah, I like my, yesterday. Do you like Sitaddle? It's so cute. I like Sitaddle. I was like, oh, I can't wait to see what this turns into. And then uh, I saw the Titan, fair. and I go, oh, it's got eyeliner. <laughs> I, I don't like it when they give Pokemon eyeliner. I think it's so unnecessary. Yeah. You defeated Dylan. <laughs> Sorry, Dylan. We, uh, I had a friend. I have a friend named Madeline. I actually have several mm -hmm. friends named Madeline, but that's not the point. And they're one of the Madelines. Um somebody gave her the nickname of medillon like m apostrophe d y l n um yeah which then just turned into dylan but she didn't like it so now we go back we we're calling her madeline again that's funny it was a, it was a <laughs> i like the nickname you're schmoving like look at you we're schmoving we're schmoving together yeah. yeah yeah but i'm like yeah no i mean you're making a, you're making this is definitely like your you're schmoving here you know what i mean like i'm helping but like you're making the you're making good decisions. I'm really impressed, honestly. I feel like a lot of these things are not super intuitive, but you're just like your instincts are really good. My my strat is 
uh, say everything with a question mark. <laughs> <laughs> this is a match where you can bring Toad School. I think it looks really good Toad's here. Toad's cool. I love Farigaref. I love yeah, Farigaref. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. D Toad School out front? Yeah, pretty much you always... If you're going to bring Toad School, it's the only one that kind of has to come up front. Everything else is flexible. Gotcha. What, are you, what else are you thinking here? There's a lot of ground types, a lot of... Um, there's Fairy. There's the Goldango. What? Ah, my Tostada... She's putting <laughs> over my 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 uh, camera. Oh no. Um, I think Meowscarada is pretty good because I, agree. I I imagine like she covers like th half of the team. Yeah. Um, would it be ideal to have it out front or just in the back? I think in the back here because if you can if you can kind of get them out of position, it can just like beat everything. True. Um, and then daughter, please. <laughs> Um, let's see. We got we got fairy dark. What's good against Goldango again? Was it Annihilate? Dark Dark is probably your best bet. Okay, so probably Hydreigon, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like Hydreigon up front and then uh um, yeah, Scarlet on the back and then running on time. I think King Gambit here. Yeah, you were you got it. You okay. super new. Um because like it's just like dark can steal hit four of the six Pokemon for super effective. Don't forget to lock in, it might Oh, see. Ah. I think it'll be okay. We'll see. I think it's. I haven't actually tried timing out. I think it's different this game, but I think it's different. And I've heard it was different in a good way. So I think I think it should be fine. Gotcha. Oh, Tosada keeps coming up on my desk, and it's two people who didn't realize you can change their trainer card. <laughs> oh, I like the hat. Yeah. Oh, you're. Oh tights. my God, Jaden. You're, you're. I think this looks really good. Really. Yeah. Unless the Grimmsnarl has Taunt, in which case, kind of spooky, but... Oh, do you want to be... Wait, do you want to be super mean? Sorry. Can yes, I give you one suggestion? Yes. So yes. you should Spore into the Furograph here. You can Spore okay. either target. That one's, that one's up to you. Live your best life, bestie. Um, <laughs> but there's a chance that Grimmsnarl goes for Spirit Break here, and if it does... So, yeah, you just pick a target, whichever one you prefer. Uh, kind of want to do Grimmsnarl. Go for it. Yeah, that's... that's I would say safer. Um, and then switch into uh, King Gambit here. Yeah. Because if they go for Spirit Break, which would KO your Hydreigon, then Stata, please. we'll give you oh Defiant my God. Uh, as a boost. Okay. Oh, Dylan is in our chat. They said, uh, thank you for the battle. I had the ice team. Yeah, good game, Dylan. Thanks, Aww, thank you for the thanks, game. Dylan. Tostada, you gotta go. I miss, I, I love Tostada. <laughs> okay. Light screen. That means you gotta go, buddy. <laughs> I did more than I thought. Oh, it's Life Orb. That makes sense. Farigaraf. Farigaraf. Ring around the rosy. Yeah, they can't get rid of Toad School quickly, which is going to be a very big problem for them. How come we're allowed to to sleep multiple Pokemon now? So it was always a. It's it's kind of it's like single battle like fan rules that ban it. It's like it's just something that we have to deal with in in mm. uh, like official stuff. Um, gotcha. Do we just spore again? Yeah, I mean, why not? And then just take out the Grimmsnarl. Okay. With with Cow Tau Cleave. Iron Head is super effective on it. Or oh, you can go oh, with the Graf. But yeah, since you're putting it to sleep, I feel like Iron Head is nice here. Tostada. Oh my gosh, I need to kick her out. I need to kick her out right right now. <laughs> she, is like, is, she is moving the camera. Hold on, I'll be right back. You're fine. You're totally fine. Oh my God, there's a lot of damage. I need her to not tell Jaden to sucker punch because I almost told her to sucker punch. Oh, All right, I'm back. Welcome back. <laughs> I think you're in really she's... good shape here, honestly. Awesome. She's it's now scratching time. at the door. Poor baby. <laughs> he goes, hello. Hello. Okay. We have, my parents have a cat who sounds like he's saying hello. It's super cute. <laughs> Aw. Um, what do I do? What do we do with uh, Toad School now? Oh, I, I think we just spore to stop. Like, I would spore Grimson all here in case they switch or wake up. Oh, true. And I think Furigraph's actually done a ton of damage, but you want to just take it out with Kowtow Cleave. Like, Grimmsnarl's kind of worthless here, you know? Okay. Man, Furigraph. Oh! Yep, and now that's actually kind of in your favor, because now it's like, you know when you freeze a Pokemon, it just kind of gets stuck on the field doing nothing? Yeah. You're kind of doing that to Grimmsnarl, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I hope this KOs. I actually don't know. Oh my god. Not quite. 
Not quite. Just spore the Fergarefs. I feel like the, maybe let's, why don't we protect this turn? Because like <laughs> Okay. <laughs> because I feel like you want to use King Gambit to take out Fergaref because it's doing damage here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so keeping Toad School alive could be valuable. Okay. Iron Head Fergaref? Yeah, either either attack is fine, just not sucker punch. Wait, what 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 uh what typing is Ferigaraf? Is it it's psychic and normal? Oh. Wait, how is uh, Iron Head super effective against it? It's, it's not super effective, but um. Oh, it okay. Was, it was super low HP, so like I figured, like yeah, like mm. since you used Dark Move last time, if we, you know, maybe they're like, oh, if they get greedy and go into Tyranitar, you know what I mean? It wasn't. It didn't really uh, matter. The truth. <laughs> I get you. I, I see it. I see it. Yeah. I like that they roar with like it looks like your toad school toad school kind of popped off a little bit too there. Did you see that? <laughs> toad school pop off. <laughs> Someone chat 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 says toad school is so cool. <laughs> so true, bestie. <laughs> I love how like people immediately liked toad school. <laughs> this they thing is not gonna be able to deal with your toad school. It's super oh, not gonna be able shit. to. Just spore nappy, it. Nappy. Yeah, why not? Oh, this is so mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, what should we do? And this one's up to you. So we can get a little damage in Rotom, but it might be better to take out Grimmsnarl to see what their last Pokemon is, just so we have like more information. But either option is fine, in my opinion. Yeah, I'll get rid of it. Because we, we can take out Rotom when we want. Yeah, we can the Rotom. The Is that fire? Oh, well, that's actually... Yeah, whoa. It might have Terra Blast. Oh, that's oh. actually kind of heat. I'm not going to lie. You thought we got Rotom Wash? Just kidding. It's <laughs> Rotom, Rotom Heat. heat. <laughs> <laughs> he was tired of that Toad Skull. That one felt personal. It was definitely it was definitely <laughs> the correct assessment of the threat because they were about to take another nap. <laughs> Whoa, the the trainer just did like a little spin. I don't know if anyone saw oh. that on hunts. Check check the disc. Check the replay. Check the um, disc. This one's up to you, Jaden. I feel like both Pokemon are good here. Hydreigon's better against what they currently have, but Meowth might be better yeah. against one in the back. So, personal mm. preference. I might bring out Hydreigon. I, I think. like that. Yeah, for, I like that. Did you haven't Terra yet either? So it's like Garchomp. Yeah. Oh, nice call. Super nice call. So they have Reflecting Light Screen up. So on Dark Pulse would normally KO, you might want to double it here. Okay. So uh, Dark Pulse, Dol Goldango. I think and... so. Because the Rotom shouldn't be able to damage your Hydreigon. And Gout, Kowtow Cleave, let's, Goldango. Let's Sucker Punch it, actually, because it's it's oh. it's actually like King Gambit's actually really slow. Oh, Okay. Oh, okay. That's fine. What's he though. cooking? Probably... What, what was he cooking? It's probably nasty plot, but that's fine because you're high... like we just don't want this thing attack. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Probably... I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. <laughs> we it's probably okay. Policy. Oh lord. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If that thing attacks, we are our Pokemon are not surviving. Do we live? Uh, can we just? Uh oh. It's okay. We still have Miascarado with Focus Sash in the back. We're fine because basically Hydreigon can kind of just clean up this game, I think. This is like yeah, part of... So whenever I'm teaching people like the basics of competitive Pokemon, I tell them that like natural speed on your team is really important and this kind of shows why. Like imagine that we had Pokemon mm -hmm. slower than Goldengo here. We'd just be screwed. But because we're faster, we're fine. Yeah. Um, can you do me a favor and hit Y, Jaden? Hit B and then Y. And then uh, click on uh, Rotom or Goldengo. Okay, cool. Let's. Why don't you want to protect with both our Pokemon here to start stalling these screens? Okay. This protect. also scouts for protect, which is nice because like they have okay. no way of getting speed control here, so like we don't need to worry about that. Mhm. Mm nice. Yeah. Ah, yes. They love Terra Blast. <laughs> Rotom Wash loves Fire Terra Blast. 
So this one's kind of up to now. you. You want to you want to make sure you're taking out this Goldango, but the how you want to do it is kind of up to you. You can go for Dark Pulse Flinch on the Rotom and knock off. You can knock off the Rotom's item and Dark Pulse the Goldango. What would the item be? It could be Specs, in which case you might not want to want knock it off, but like it's probably fine. You gotcha. could also Flower Trick to get the crit. Like you could like Terra Grass Flower Trick into um, Rotom and crit through the Reflect. Hmm. Uh, what do I need to do to get rid of Goldango, though? Either Dark Pulse it or knock it off. Okay. Um, I'll just Dark Pulse. Yep. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, no, that's no. good. That's fine. Okay. Ah, ah! Oh, oh, shit. Oh, no. It's fine. It's fine. You got it. You got it. You got it. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That's actually... Oh, yeah. That's totally fine. I didn't want to knock off the, the specs. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think that, that actually makes sense. Nice job. The trainer did another little twirl. When their Did Pokemon got knocked out? Some kind of weirdo what? math guest. They did like a, yeah, they just did like a, the model spun in like one circle. <laughs> Don't know what that's up for. Okay. You can uh, just dark pulse it. You're fine. Like you could Draco if you wanted, but dark pulse is fine. But you should uh, so dark pulse it. But you should you should go for Terra Grass Flower Trick and just see how much it does. Cause like it should do a fair bit. Oh yeah, we haven't terrestrialized at all. Yeah. What do you think about the the Terra um, mechanic? So I think it looks kind of silly, but I think it's like it's of the of the kind of major gimmicks they've had in the last four generations. It's by far my favorite. I think it's actually really cool. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, I like the lot. idea of it a lot. I like their little hats. <laughs> I, I like the hats too. Like I, I know people think they're silly, but I personally I, I feel like Pokemon isn't a super serious franchise in the first place. So like yeah, you know what I mean. Um, and what I like about terrestrialization competitively is like. For the other mechanics, there was never really a downside to using them. You know what I mean? Like, it was like when you use them mattered a lot, but like, there, you were never like thinking, is there a drawback to this? It was only, should I save yeah. this for later? Whereas with Terra, like in the first game, we lost, right? Like, we Terra'd our Skeletors mm -hmm. right away, and then we were Fairy type, and we lost to two Steel types. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's kind of cool. Like, I think that that, that being a thing is kind of cool. Yeah. I think, I, I don't know how they would have done uh, Terra if they if not for the little hats because yeah. like the the coolest answer would be like oh they just remake every pokemon every as a single design type. but that's yeah. just not <laughs> it's not feasible we don't live in that that timeline unfortunately no. <laughs> zg zg look at these friendly guys this so the, the thing that you should be aware of is that a zoom roll can use belly drum um and amoongus yeah. has like redirection so that's like, mm. and uh, a lot of Dragonite are Terra normal is the other thing. Oh, I see. With extreme I think for big it damage. looks like we bring, is it Skeletor, Meow, Skirata, and then someone else, someone else? Yeah, I like Skeletor's a ton here. Um, you you could do Toad School if you wanted. You don't have to. Um, this is actually not a bad matchup for Annihilate because of the Meow, Skirata. It's sometimes it's nice to just like U-turn and bring them down to Focus Dash right away. Mm -hmm. Um. But I like Skeletor's up front here. And then, yeah. I would say don't bring Hydreigon to this, but the others are kind of up to you. Like, you could do Toad School. You can do um, Annihilate. You can do... You could do Miascarada, but I would probably bring Miascarada in the back if it were me. Yeah. Um. How, how does, like, this go? Perfect. Yeah, that's great. That, that's like the that's like the non meme version. Like this is probably the best thing you could do. Like I would okay. bring Toad School because I like to, every time that Toad School even looks like okay, I bring it because it's funny. Um, yeah. But this is like the yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about it, but I was like, I also like we can get king a bit a lot. Yeah, it's I re like the thing. The, what's cool about this team? I also I, what I want to say is that I, obviously I built this team for this, but it's cool because in in working on this team, like I feel like I learned a lot more about competitive Pokemon. Like I was so impressed with king gambit when like in reality like it, it, like because this team doesn't like quote unquote support it super well but it feels good in like every matchup and i think that's cool mm -hmm. we're fighting shanks over here yeah so what are you feeling um, here um hmm. 
Um, it doesn't feel like Skilla Dirge does too much. I feel like Azim World is gonna do something here. It could do something. So, I recommend Torch Song and Grimmsnarl. Okay. Because I think don't when I use Annihilate, I almost always just click Final Gambit. So my brain says, let's just Final Gambit the Azumarill, make it a 3v3 and, and get a boost, whereas they don't have a boost. You know what I mean? Oh, true. Oh. But if they, and they can protect, sure. But now you're, now you're plus one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, oh, and now they have Scarf what is this? Grimmsnarl. Scarf Grimmsnarl. That it's sounds awful. Is, oh, it, is it, is it, is it, is it <laughs> scarfed into Trick? I actually don't think so. I think it's it's okay. Yeah, I don't think so. Has to do so. An another turn. Yeah. We do have to watch out though, because they might try and give your skeleturge the thing now. Iron ball. Can, what if I protect and then final gambit? The problem is that because of the iron ball, you're probably slower than them now. So I like protect, oh. but maybe we want to switch into gambit. You could also go for Terra Fairy here, but it might be risky. Like, let's start going for damage because they can't, like, mm. if they trick. Mm. Uh, I don't think there's anything kinda... wrong with slowing down the pace. Like, just going for a protect yeah. here. And then King of it. Yeah. King, ba King Bambit. King Bambit. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> protect. Wow, that's Skeletorge. Oh? Oh, they cry. Oh, spirit interesting. He's scarfed into Spirit Break. What's your Spirit Break? Is that just it's, a fairy type move? It's a fairy type. Oh my god, they did a lot of damage. Why did they do so much? Oh, he's got little nipples. Ah. I didn't know. <laughs> um, what should we do? I've lost. Okay, this is a weird position. Why don't we just torch song the Grim Snarl? It's not like it's really threatening that much, right? Yeah. And go for Iron Head into the Azumarill. Let's just get some damage on it. And then we'll try and clean up with like... Like basically our plan will be let's try and win with Meowth's Grotto next to Skeleturge. Mmm. Rotom. Rotom Wash? Or no, Heat. Interesting. Ah. That's not, that's not Wait, so bad. Wait, does he... He doesn't have Fire Absorb, yeah. No. Yeah, he has uh, Unaware. Mm. Wait, no levitate? Oh, oh, sorry. Rotom heat. You're right. You're right. It has levitate. I'm sorry. Oh, tasty little berry. This Rotom's actually kind of a problem for us. Hmm. Huh. What are you thinking here? Should we like maybe terrestrialize Terra Blast? Because we're like plus two, right? Yeah, go for it. Let's try and take the out Rotom? the Azumarill. Or, or the Azumarill. Yeah, Rotom resists Fairy, so we gotta watch out for that. Oh, I forgot. Wait, yeah. is it. Which part it resists? I'm not good at the, the resist typing. Oh, uh, I didn't know. Yeah, Fire resists Fairy. And then Iron Head? I think, well, Bisharp might go down to the Fire move, so maybe Sucker Punch the Rotom. Ooh. Because we know that they have, um, like, Scarf Grimstone on the back, which we can probably beat with Meowth Skarada. So we just got to watch out for, like, like, if we can take out, if we can put both these mons in range, basically, or I, we're plus two. We should take out the Azumarill, right? I feel like. Wow. Oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. That might, if it's Nasty Plot. Ah, dang. Okay, oh, that's well, honestly okay. That's actually okay. I think that's actually that's actually okay. That's honestly really good for us. That's like okay. a best case scenario because now like your King Gambit can sucker punch it and you can slack off and go back to full HP, right? <gasps> You're so right. So it's You're actually so really right. good because if they'd gone to something scarier, that would have been bad. But like, yeah, Rotom shouldn't be able to pick up the KO here. I think I've been wrong before, but I feel like we should be okay. 
Maybe he just doesn't do anything. Yeah, maybe he just maybe he just clicks Willow Whisper to King Gambit again. He clicks run wow, away. Wow. <laughs> hey, Overheat. Come on. Ooh. Nice! Ooh. I love Skeleturge. That's so good. Oh, Skeleturge. Wow, wow. I'm glad it's so good. Yeah, it's really good. Honestly, this is the best all three starter Pokemon have ever been. Like the average, like all of them are good. Yeah, they all have like really good little, um, little moves that they have. Special yeah, moves. their signature moves are great. What does uh, the Quagsley evolution do? What's it his, it his has job? Moxie, so every time it gets a KO, it gets an attack boost, mm. and its signature move gives it a speed boost every time. Oh, I see. I see. Dragonite. This is kind of spooky. They have really good typing for us. We like, I like told you, I think I told you not to bring Hydreigon and like we definitely kind of wanted it here. Um, because it's going normal. It's probably going normal, right? I think you want to protect. I think you need to slow down this pace. Yeah. And, and then... it's kind of tough because you like kind of want your King Gambit to just go down. Maybe go Annihilate here, honestly. Like, and just okay. like, because I feel like, like we just switch? want to kill something with Final Gambit or at least get close to it. Mm. Okay, that's actually really oh. good for us. Let's see if they Terra. Because, oh, if they Terra, Jaden, then um we can close combat their Dragonite, which is kind of wild. Oh, oh, true. Oh, no. That's so oh, good. Oh, no. Say it isn't so. <clears throat> Uh oh! Come on, come on, come on, come on. There it is! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is the best Dragonite's ever been, which is cool. Aww. Oh. Wait, why do they tear up? Wait, why do they tear up? They're gonna be Iron Head. That's fine. Whatever. Weird. Weird. Maybe they were scared of just the the fairy typing on the the field. That's fair. That's super fair. Yeah. So, um, what should we do with Skeledurge? Just You're Torch probably Song? dying, or but yeah, I would say, yeah, maybe let's just go for Torch Song, right? Because if Dragonite goes down, Miascarata yeah, can probably win, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like, like let's hit Dragonite Grimstone? just in case they hit us with something weird, because Grimstone's not okay. that threatening, you know what I mean? You're right. So close combat and this <laughs> yeah, Dragonite. Yeah, let's do it. That's so, I love hitting Pokemon with, like, not very effective moves for super effective damage, you know? We do have the Iron Ball. Aww. Oh, oh that's good. No, no, that's good. That's super good. <laughs> oh? I wanted to hit the dragon. We do want to hit the Dragonite, but... Oh, Jaden. Okay, watch. Watch, 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 watch. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that part was bad. We'll forget... Don't watch that part. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. So we're in a Rotom now. We just got, like, such a boost. Yeah, we're, very, we're definitely taking out Rotom now. Huge. Big if true. This is a real slobber knocker. What does that? No, what does that? That is a disgusting word. Oh, it is. What is that? I don't Who's know. Is it like a fight? Slob, like a real slugfest? Slobber knocker. What's a slobber knocker? Someone else it... said that like a while ago. What does slobber right. knocker mean? I googled it and it's a fishing thing. Wait. A fishing thing? That's even grosser. There's Maybe. fish involved with a slobber knocker? I don't know. You pick the move up. A violent collision experience. Oh. Slobber knocker. <laughs> extreme speed. Ooh, okay, here comes the speed. boy. Come on. Whoa. But he lives! Oh my god, I lived! Aw, oh, Annihilate goes down, though. That's fine, that's fine. Because, like, basically, what was really nice there is you forced them. They couldn't double one of your Pokemon, right? So that was actually, like, I my first instinct was, like, oh, I'm scared, let's protect. But not protecting here was super, super smart. So who does uh, Miyoscarata take care of? Grimstar, right? Both, but you can, because it, well, normally it wouldn't do that good into Dragonite, but because it's Terra Normal, you can just Flower Trick it. Okay. The once well-trained. 
I think that means like that's the mark you get for full even training. Ah. Uh. Um, should I just torch song? Should I? There's slack not like off? a right answer here. Let's slack off just in case, right? Yeah. And then the flowers are your best bet. Right. Yep, super good call. Nice, because no, if Dragonite goes down, King Gambit should win. Oh, I thought they were gonna get Skeledurge. They probably thought they probably hoped that you weren't Sash, because if you're not Sash there, then um. If you're not if, you, if you're not sash there, then they could in theory KO both with like spirit break. Mm. Since we knew you were sash, you didn't worry about it. Gotcha. <laughs> we get a slack off too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the thing with Skeleturge is if you don't take it out quickly, it will just like it's like did we led Skeleturge and had him on the field the entire game and it's still like it's still like yeah. at like what, seventy five percent? With like what plus three or something? Yeah, plus three, I believe. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I feel like we got it. You should, yeah, Iron Head is super effective here. Spirit break doesn't work, buddy. Not gonna, not gonna be enough. I love the bird. Yeah. Love the bird too. Yeah. Nice job, Jaden. That was a kind of a Thank hard you. one too. Like there was a bunch of weird Pokemon. ZG 904-9064. I don't know, but they were good. Shanks guy. Woo. I've been liking the the AI professor theme a lot. Me too. That's like the one I use the most. I think. I need to like just sit down and listen to the OST. You're really schmoving. We're we're almost in great ball territory. I know. Okay, this next one, I'm gonna run to the bathroom. You you take this one on your own, okay? Is it cool? Oh, okay. Yeah. You got this. I'll be right back. If you come if Wolfie comes back and it's <laughs> like the worst team ever put together. Okay. Oh, tiny talon flame. We got tiny talon flame. Okay, we got I feel like Skeledurge is here because it takes care of um, Yaskarada, Hydreigon. Um, mm. What's good? Well, I feel like there's a lot of setup Pokemon. So maybe we do Toad School? Maybe it's a Toad School one. Maybe not. I want Annihilate. No. Yes. No. Yes. I don't know the opening. Uh, I feel like there's a very, okay, what I want to do, I, I would do Toad School, Skeledurge, because I don't think anything threatens it, um, um, what do we, we need Annihilate too, for, uh, Mouse Hold, and then maybe just like, there's a lot of fire types, so I guess, Hmm, maybe, okay. I don't remember the, I don't think Hydreigon's like, there's a lot of, hmm. I'll do this, I'll do this. Let's see what happens here. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel like that was wrong. I feel like it's wrong and then if Wolfie comes back, I'll be super confident. <laughs> Oh, look at this guy. Talonflame mouse hold. Okay. I feel like I... I don't know what mouse hold does. I feel like I want to spore... No, I feel like I protect here. Because I feel like Talonflame goes after Toad School. I feel like Toad School is not the... Whoa, do not... <laughs> I feel like I protect here, and then I I uh, I torch song I torch song, the mouse hold. Maybe I don't know what mouse hold does. You need a break. I'm worried this is draining. No, this is on purpose. I, I'm, I'm doing great. Hello, 
I think I did everything wrong. <laughs> okay, they've got the mouth. Oh, I protected. Nice. <laughs> nice protect. Nice, you with the mouse. Nice. This is a big hit, Jaden. Let's go. Thank you. Uh, they got a tailwind up though. Show me what you have in the back. Okay. Uh, this is this is what I chose. Okay. I feel it's like high dragon could gonna work super else. well here. The mice will kill all of your Pokemon that aren't ghost type. They kind of have to keep using the move that's that's the normal move. Okay. So you could, one could switch their Toad School into Annihilate and just kill a mice with Skeleturge. Oh, okay. Ooh. I'm down for that. Come on, Toad School. So Annihilate, mm -hmm. and then, and then uh, Torch Good Song. Ball. Yeah. So Population Bomb hits one to ten times. It's a ninety percent accurate move. And uh, mm -hmm. it attacks until it misses. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I've heard about this one. Oh. I may have led you astray. Taunt. Oh, that's never fine. Mind. I did not. Sorry, I said I wouldn't. I said I wouldn't backseat you. Okay, that's my one turn. No, I no, didn't, no. I didn't actually, I like I didn't actually help you at all. So uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. I'll leave the rest to you. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh dear. First of all, what's Rage Fist? It's it's a fifty base power move, but every time you get hit, it gets ten base power stronger. Oh, I see. I see. Or sorry, sorry, fifty base power stronger. So if you get hit twice, it's hundred fifty mm. base power. But they need to hate you for it to be actually be good. What if I close combat the 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 talent the flame? The okay, mice. Okay, well, yeah, up to you. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of I was thinking like I feel like torch song. I guess torch song is good on talent flame too. It doesn't absorb fire, right? It's got no. It else. doesn't absorb fire. I'll do. I'll do this. Follow me. Oh, that's fine too. Catch I said this I could choose punch. Your target. Oh. Uh oh. What? Shit. It's actually okay. It's actually honestly, it's actually a pretty good trade for you. Okay. Because they're gonna take a ton of recoil. Mm. And you're plus two now, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, what if I bring out Toad School again? <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's that's super good. That's what I would do. Oh, Jaden. Whoa. Oh, I like how he lands on his little tippy toe like a little ballerina. <laughs> so who do I who do I spore? <laughs> do I spore a hide dragon? So it's up to you. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna no, you. I want. You want I want, want some tips. I want tips. Okay, so you you have Terra Fairy available still, right? Yeah. So you could just protect and Terra Fairy and kill the Hydreigon. Oh, you're right. And then they probably go after. Yeah, it that is a better move. Pool, right? Or like maybe they Dark Pulse you, but it's not that big a deal because you'll resist it all of a sudden. Yeah, I forgot about Terra. I always forget about. Um, it's hard. The the gimmick. It's all it's really hard. Like I played in a tournament and like after playing like 50 games of the ladder I still forgot about Terra like every game <laughs> Whenever I play random doubles uh, On on showdown, uh -huh. I normally play with Jacob and we we have this rule of like we're not gonna Dynamax because it's not that fun It's cheating. Yeah <laughs> So I always forget about Dynamax and Terra and everything That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Haha, -ha, you fool. What a what an awesome turn. <laughs> <laughs> this this turns all you, because I think this is an ambiguous turn. There's not like a clear right or wrong answer, so I think just make the move okay. that's in your heart. I'll just try to do this and then this. See what happens. I feel like Toad School dies. They seem to want to taunt it. They don't seem to want to brave bird it. But I think yeah. you may survive. The oh, question wait, is, yeah, are they going to tear yeah. their high dragon? Uh, what, it might be steel? Yeah, that's actually okay, Ooh. though. Unless they have flash cannon, in which case, uh oh. <laughs> uh, I should have I should have uh, torch songed it. It would have been a been really hard read a good old... to go torch song there, is the truth. Yeah. I need to learn what the what the most common um, 
Terratypes are. Terazar. Yeah. I love the steel hat. I do too, it's really cool. Still Not does bad. a lot. I think we need to switch Toad School out. I agree. <laughs> I feel like he just stands here. With Taunt, can you not protect even? Yeah, you can't protect, unfortunately. So, whoopsie. And then, can I just Torch Song, High Dragon? Yeah, you just had. Yeah, you can do it. The Paldia Champion, High Dragon. Ah, you bitch! <laughs> Oh, it's a lot. Ugh. This stupid talon flame. It's been a real pain. Yeah, he is. Hmm. What if I did a tailwind slack off? I think you might want to protect your skeletons this turn because it's going to go down. You might just have to hope that they mm. make a mistake, basically, where... I think you just try and get rid of this talent flame because if talent flame goes down, you can win. True. I think. Can I dra Draco meter? Or or would... Super low HP. I don't think yeah. you're gonna get the chance to attack, but I think that's like that's what I would recommend. Okay. Because they could miss Draco meteor, in which case you're back in this. Oh. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> so true. I imagine he just hits his head. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's okay. You may still be able to win this. Possibly. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Toad School. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you get to make a call here. Do you think their talent limb is going to brave bird you, or do you think it's going to taunt you? I feel like it's going to taunt again. Okay. I'll be honest. Then you should protect your toad school and torch song the talent flame, if that's what you okay. think. Okay. Yeah. Because they still got like a bunch of Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, oh damn it. Oh, that's tough. That was no! A oh! Oh, if no. we protected this board, we would have been so good. Oh, wait, did we Damn. bring her to last turn, though? That's my bad. That's okay. It was a good attempt. It was a good attempt, for <laughs> sure. Their town lane was just so hard to get rid of. Yeah. What was the ideal team to bring? Can well, you show me their fucking... team? Can you hit the end then plus? Oh, yeah. Arcanine. Oh. Uh, this, is, this is a tough one. Um... I probably would have done Skeleturge up front, maybe with. This is a weird one. I probably would have had. You probably would have had to do Skeleturge with either Meow Skarada up front. There was like. This was a really weird one because they had Talonflame. And like, Talonflame plus Mousehold plus Meow Skarada is tough because normally you use. um You would use like uh, Annihilate into a team like this, but the problem is that they also had Talonflame, which is really good into Annihilate. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> he tried. Toad School. He just took, takes it all. <laughs> yeah. I, one of the big advantages of Toad School is that it has a Rage Powder, but we didn't really have a chance to use it this fight. Mm. I'll Mirror yeah. Coat. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> He'll live. Oh. <laughs> he, he, yeah. He did his best. Unfortunate. I also don't like this weird 60 second timer thing. Like in the... <laughs> Yeah, it's like not it's, going it's away. the move gets stuck in the middle. <laughs> Damn. It's okay. It was a good effort. It's like, it's about learning. It's not about winning every fight. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that was a weird matchup. Like, now we know, like, like now we would know, okay, like, maybe if they have Talonflame, Toad School, like, can't come, you know? Because it was so mm. bad into Talonflame. Yeah. God, we lost a lot for that. It's rude. Really mean.
Cordell. Cordell? Now Ooh. this is a total <gasps> match. Gastrodon. Gastrodon. Gastrodon, my beloved. What? How do you normally see if it's a Toad School match? No, I see they have Garchomp, Garganackle, Tikitar, Gastron, and Amoongus, and none of those Pokemon can get rid of Toad School easily. And they have Arcanine, but we can mm. Terra Water it, and like Terra Water's totally good here. Gotcha. So um, this, in this match, we're gonna I'm gonna show you a new mode with the team. I think let's do Hydreigon up front. Okay. Um, and then we can do like, in, let's do, we definitely want Meow Squad here because Grass hits like four of the Pokemon for super effective. Yeah. And then you're going to want either King Gambit or Annihilate here. King Gambit is like a little bit more consistent, I would say. But Annihilate is really nice because it's like super good. Into, you can just like, there's some really bulky Pokemon here. And it could be nice to just like eliminate them immediately. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm, I'll do I'll do King Gambit yeah, because that's, that's we, we've, we haven't used him in a bit. Yeah. Oops. Oopsie. Oopsie. <laughs> Amogus. Ooh, Cordell. I really like this music. It's such a jam. Woo! You want to be really Garchomp. mean? Yes. All you the can time. tear water your Toad School and spoil the Garchomp or, or, the, or the Arcanine. It's up to you. <laughs> I will. Tear water and then spore. Um. What's better? What would you I say? I think Gar your Garchomp's more scary, right? Because it can it can sleep your yeah. uh your, your it can it can kill your Hydreigon. Yeah. And then Drake I would meter just protect. Because oh, like, Garchomp's true. faster than you right now, right? Oh, I see, I see. So like it's like kind of like a like a bait and switch where you're like, oh look at my scary Hydreigon, it's so strong, and then you're like, just kidding, the Toad School's the threat. He's <laughs> <laughs> the smallest guy in the field. What's your favorite hat? <laughs> the favorite the Terra steel hat. one's good. Um, I like the ghost one. I like the steel one. I like I like the fire one conditionally. You know what I mean? Like not all the mm -hmm. time, but sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you poor oh, thing. <laughs> oh, <what> misled. <laughs> nappy nappy. My chat's saying that they like the dark hat, but I don't like the dark hat very much. Which one is the dark hat? It's like the weird face. Oh, I can't picture it right now. Well, can I just do this? Spore Arcanine? Yeah, go for it. Like, are they going to do about it? And then Draco Meteor Garchomp? Yeah, just press... Do, yeah, 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 do that. Bye-bye. I really like the dragon hat. I think the dragon hat's really good. What does the dragon hat look like again? I forgot. It's like a little dragon head with like big red spiky. Oh yeah, wings. with the wings, right? Or like the yeah. wings. Mhm. Mm I think the air, the balloon hat is the funniest in my opinion. That one's really funny. Oh no! <laughs> Whoa, he was prepared. Oh, and he survived. <laughs> oh my god, let's go Toad School. <laughs> Putting in work. I like the water hat on Toad School. I think that's I do really too. cute. <laughs> uh, what I like about the hats in general is that. There's some Pokemon where they just look like really good on. Like I saw an Arbolivo with the grass hat and it it's like it holds its arms above his head and it looks so good. Like I don't normally like Ooh. the grass hat, but like there it was super good. Mmm. Among us. <laughs> oh wait, they can actually spore us now. Oh no, um, it's a spore can we what? What? Okay, well, you have Miascarot on the back, right? Uh I believe so. Oops. So you're gonna wanna switch I think you just Protect and switch into Miascarada. With wait, protect with who? With Toad School. Ah. Because you don't want to. You don't want to take a nap. Yeah. And you remind us to special attack as well. So like that's that's why I think switching yeah. out there is better. I love Toad School. I didn't like it before this, but now I really like it. <laughs> yeah, Toad School's a little guy. Well, he's just doing his best. Nice. 
So here we're gonna use a move we haven't used before. I think let's just Rage Powder just to make sure we can protect your Miascarada. Mm. And you can just knock off the Arcanine, right? Like, what, what are they gonna do about it? Yeah. Assault, Assault this. Great, now you know it can't protect. Oh, that's actually pretty bad. Ooh. Yeah, because you're four times with the bug. <sighs> eh, that's actually kind of bad. So here, I think you want to spore into the Arcanine again. Okay. In case it wakes up and go for Flower Shrick into the Arcanine and just kind of hope that one of these, one of these works. Because they probably have extreme speed is the problem. Okay, nice. You got the return mm. sleep. That was really lucky. Oh my god, it didn't kill. Damn. Oh, that's actually pretty bad. <laughs> uh. How come he was able to pollen puff me out Scarada? So grass types aren't affected by rage powder. It's why it's worse than follow me. Oh, ah. Uh. I think you want to just go King Gambit and just hope. Basically, the plan here is we go King Gambit. We go mm. for rage powder and iron head and, and hope that Arcanine KOs itself. So it's unlikely. Make it a 2v2. You fall asleep. But then hopefully Hydreigon can just clean up whatever's in the back. Oopsie. Iron Head, the Arcanine. We really want Arcanine gone, because, like, ah. yeah, like, Amoongus can't do damage is the nice thing. Oh, that makes sense. I guess we could have protected here as well in hindsight, but I feel like that doesn't help us that much. Nice. Okay, good thing we didn't protect. Hopefully it KOs itself. That'd be so... If it KOs itself here, we're in really good shape. Oh, man. This thing just won't go down. <laughs> Finally. Tanky, tanky dog. <laughs> so this game, yeah. if you're going to win, it's going to have to be it's going to have to be because of King Gambit. It's like kind of the mm. make or break. But a good, it's really good that you took out the, Gar the, um, the Garchomp already because that is one of the biggest counters. Let's see if it's the one is like Tyranitar or what else is on this team? Oh, Garganagle. Gar Gar Garganacle. Minecraft temple ass looking guy. I call him Minecraft Donkey Kong. <laughs> Minecraft Donkey Kong. <laughs> okay, so what what's the plan? Ah, oh, it sucks. I, I think you actually have to Draco Meteor yeah. into the um, Among Us. Or Dark Pulse the Among Us. It's up to you. Draco Meteor will do more damage, but Dark Pulse can flinch. Ooh, I'll do try flinch. Yeah, try flinch. And then you're, this is the first turn of sleep, so it doesn't matter what you do here. Oh, true. Oh, if you flinch here, you're in such good shape. Have they teared already? They haven't, right? Oh, oh I man. did. Also, the really Amoongus is faster than the Argonacle. Salt here. He's going to do a ton of damage over time. He's been salted. Is that like a, a like a sand tomb fire? Yeah, nest yeah, thing? It'll, it'll, but you're stuck in it forever. Oh. And it does more to steal and water types, so it doesn't matter what you do with Hydreigon here because it's stuck sleeping. Yeah. I guess maybe just pray that Kowtow Cleave takes out the Amoongus. It's your strongest move. With the, you want to do Kowtow Cleave, Cleave, I think. Amoongus. You might. You're probably not gonna wake up here. It's a one in three to wake up. Man, Amoongus mm -hmm. really messed us up. I didn't play against that money in practice. But, and Arcanine as well. Dang. Uh -oh. Damn. This Amoongus like came out all our all our mons. Jeez. What the heck? Oh, my battery uh -oh. is low. That's why we lost. Trust. Yeah. Damn, my battery. <laughs> Look at how much this does. This is so much Holy damage. Holy shit. That is a lot. Get Rage. rid of it. Wake up. Get rid of it. 
Among Us messes up so badly. Or maybe this was, I feel like this was just a, this might, this one was on me, Jaden. I think this was a team building issue. Mm, Skeledurge. You know, yeah, actually we probably should have brought Skeledurge in hindsight now that, now that you said it out loud. <laughs> well, now we know how, how scary Among Us is. Yeah, oh, we know, okay. If Among they have Among Us, Us we have to bring Skeledurge. Minecraft Donkey Kong? Whoa, that... he's a tower rock? on a tower. <laughs> I like the rock one, actually. I think it looks cool. <laughs> it makes me think of the White House. <laughs> That's very valid. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, creepy, freaky, and weird. <laughs> thank you. Okay. <laughs> You're just maxing out damage. Damn. Wait, can Poor you? Guy. You can't stack them, can you? What's that? You can't, you can't stack, stack them, no. No, okay. that, would, that would be wild. If you could hit them twice and then get double the salt cure. <laughs> I'd like, honestly no that, that, that cow toe cleave will KO, but it's worth it's worth finding out, I guess. I really don't like King Gambit's like animation where he gets out of the chair. <laughs> I the, My one wish for King, uh, King Gambit I don't like, know if I'm I pronouncing right. You do not have to copy my pronunciation. I'm, I have I'm no. Not... I, I I use both. <laughs> King I'm, Gambit, King Gambit. I am like notoriously bad with pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, we have to wait for like the anime or something. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I I wish it was a split evolution because I think Bisharp oh. is really cool. I I think uh, King Gambit oh, like King is just Queen a little Gambit? too much. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been so cool. Yeah. No. We're fine. We're still ranked six. We're still ranked six. Still ranked. Okay, we got to change the music. It's it's bad luck yeah, now. Yeah, one hundred percent. Arvin. Uh. Oh, I guess we're doing oh, Arvin. Arvin is. Oh, Lilligant Corkle. Okay, this is a notoriously. Whoa. So you're placing off. This is a hard team to deal with. I I believe in you. I believe you have the tools. <laughs> but it is hard. This team is like... Okay, I'm going to give you like... <sighs> okay, here's the plan. Th th I'm going to coach you in this one because otherwise you're, there's no... Like, you got like you have to know what you're doing or else like it's over. Yeah. Let's do Skeleturge Annihilate here up front. Actually... Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah. Let's do Skeleturge Annihilate. I Drygun and... Actually, wait, 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 wait. Let's see... I think we need Meow Skorata as number three. And then I guess it has to be, can it be King Gambit here? No, probably shouldn't be. Let's do High Dragon. Okay. So basically there's there's kind of two main modes here. There's the Trick Room mode and there is the um, Torkoal Lilligant Sun mode basically. And they're both really scary. And it's like, you just need to, like, it's like, you kind of need to, this is the kind of thing where without experience, it's really difficult. So I'm going to kind of coach you through this one. Mm. Okay, I that's, see, uh, that leads in our favor. That's actually a super in our favor lead. So they want to go for Trick gotcha. Room and they're going to try, basically the strategy here is they want to go Trick Room and Final Gambit to uh, oh. use Final Gambit, but we let double Ghost type. So we can actually Final Gambit them and Torch Song. Torch Song who? I think Annihilate here because we'll kill Oranguru with Final Gambit. Hopefully. Okay. And they won the speed tie. That's unfortunate. Oh, it's actually okay. As long as we don't flinch. No! Okay, well, that's <laughs> suddenly not very good at all. <laughs> okay. Oh, interesting. I'll play. Huh. Huh. So where does that put us now? I think in a better spot than before. We can just whack off this turn and uh, final gambit again. Okay. Like, they need Trick Room Up or they can't beat us. Oranguru? Yeah, yeah. So we can just win the speed tie. Okay. Oranguru is kind of the main threat here. And the thing is, like, if they go for Trick Room, then Annihilate is stuck. Their Annihilate is stuck on the field doing nothing, basically. Hmm. Okay, nice. We won the speed tie. Edge. Oh, 
Wait, this music is good. I never yeah, played this. Is this. Sick. this is the Arvin music. I like it. Oh no, my god! No, If this is my <laughs> fault, this is it's my not fault. Your fault. No, no, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Um, <laughs> it's okay, my they luck. Mulligan, Torkoal, Hariyama, and Mulligan, Torkoal, Hariyama, Orangru, Annihilate. What's the last mon? I can't go look. It's okay. Let's do Hydreigon here. Hydreigon. Come out, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, hey, Kelsey. Hey, Kelsey. <laughs> My friend Kelsey's in chat. Oh, hello. Hydreigon, the Paldia champion. I like his tiny. I like Hydreigon's tiny little feet. <laughs> they just like um, dangle. What are you feeling here? Uh, I still want to slack off, but can we do that? We'll live. We'll live one. You could tear a fairy if you wanted to take less damage. Oh, fairy. Oh, uh, true. Terra fairy slack off? Yeah, I think so. I always forget about Terra. Yeah. And you want to just slow this down and go for protect? Like, what are they going to okay. do about it? True. They should do something. They should try to break through the protect. See what they're happens. They're trying something. They're, they're trying. Uh oh. They're cooking up a way to beat oh, protect. That's me. Never mind. That's not, sorry. I forgot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why would they dare here? I don't get it. <laughs> Oh, and Gigi's the last. That's right. Okay, no rock slide flinch, please. <laughs> please, one time. Miss, miss, even. Miss, please. Miss, miss, miss. miss. Nah. No. Don't flinch. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're not out of the woods, but we are approaching wood ending Avoided territory. Avoided flinch for the first time in my life. <laughs> Ooh, interesting close combat. Yeah, so... Do you want to just get rid of this Annihilate because it's being a pain? Yeah, I do. Okay, let's, um... Oh. Oh, the burn. Actually, maybe uh, we wait, should tear it. Wait, but they in the back. Should we... Maybe... <sighs> I'm kind of starting to get scared of Hi Hariyama, though. Yeah, that's the thing. I almost feel like... We could, like... Okay, we should Terra Blast here. Who do you think we should target? It might be better to target the Hariyama. Yeah, I'm thinking Hariyama. And then, I like that. Maybe, maybe Drake would oh, be the, the annihilate. Or do you want to? Do you want to double? Like, I think the thing is that like, I think let's Drake would be the annihilate because I, Drake would is not going to KO Hariyama. Mm -hmm. Terror Blast might. I'm not sure. Hippo Stop, again? bro, I'm bro. One, we're gonna flinch. Oh, we hit. Okay, that means that this is done at least. That's enough. That's enough. Enough nonsense. Thank you, the controller. No, my God. Stop. No! What are the odds? No. Oh, it's just nothing. Okay, we're fine. We're super fine. <laughs> Why? It's literally every time. Uh, so it flinched w w three out of four times. We flinched. It's <laughs> oh my God. I what? What curse do I have? Do I have upon me? I feel like you must have done something. Yeah, it's okay. In it's a past cool. life, I did yeah. something unspeakable. Something super bad. Every day I wake up shocked. I like Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> can I just do it again? You can. You can also slow down the pace. Like... It's up to you. Like you can protect here. There's no reason not to because you get more leftovers recovery. True. Oh, you're just right. launch Draco and let them because oh, oh yeah so here's the reason we want to protect here and just I guess Draco the Torkoal because if they want to take out your high dragon they have to drop their defenses and then we then, we, then you'll definitely KO you know what I mean mm. unless they have like faint which would be bad okay I really said I feel like I like almost willed it into existence <laughs> heavy slam Oh my god, they almost reset your drops. Whoa. Skeleton dirge. I like the like disco in the sky. Oh like, yeah. The sun's Is that the out. Sunlight? Yeah, it's like like a I crazy didn't... disco party now. I didn't know, yeah, being sunny was such a party. <laughs> okay, well, it seems like Torkoal is gonna try and get rid of my my stats. Yeah, but but you do have Terra Blast like Torkoal's HP is low, you know what I mean? Do There's I no wrong answer here, him? I would say. But I would, yeah. Mm. I mean, you have a super effective movie. May as well just launch it, is kind of my feeling. 
on on Hariyama. Yeah. And then get rid of Torkoal with Draco Meteor. Does yeah, it kill? Sure it'll be close if it KOs or not. You might KO, you might not, but it's good just to get the damage down because you can finish it off with Dark Pulse yeah. later. Nice. Just KOs, right? Oh, just barely. I've been wrong before. I'm surprised we haven't seen into uh, seen any other uh, Skeledurges. Yeah, that's a good point. A really good point. I feel like everyone runs Skeledurge or would. Oh my god, Corruption. this is gonna be so sad. Oh no! <laughs> oh god, a crit. That was a <laughs> Wait, what's Eruption? Eruption's 150 base power, but it scales based off HP. So when you have 150, when you have 100% HP, oh. it's 150. But then if you so have it's like fire, water, HP, sport? you're doing nothing. <laughs> Poor guy. Tiny Torkoal. Tiny little minuscule Torkoal. Tiny little por uh, polygonal <laughs> Torkoal. <Aww>. Poor Torkoal. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Nice yeah, I, I like the Arvin music. Yeah, I like it too. I, I was kind of jamming. So I like that, like, in the gym leader one, when you terrestrialize, the music changes. But if you terrestrialize early, then you get it the whole fight, then it feels kind of lame. Mm. Yeah, not epic. Not Ooh. very epic poggers. Okay. Uh... So in many ways, this is a bad matchup for Toad School. Mm-hmm. Tiny little Murkrow. Um, what are you thinking here? Um, I feel like Skeledurge. I like Skeledurge. <laughs> uh, I feel like, I'm so, I feel like all Rotom washes turn into Rotom heat. Heats. <laughs> Wait, we need we need Annihilate for Goldengo, right? We want King Gambit for Goldengo. Oh, King... oh okay, it was King Gambit. Okay. Um, it doesn't seem like. I mean, it doesn't feel like Meow Skarada does that much. Yeah, do we that's bring true. High Dragon. Do we bring the middle four? Yeah, let's do that. In what order do you recommend Skeletor think... up front? I kind of want to say King Gambit up front here. It's a little weird. Why don't we do King Gambit Annihilate up front? It's it's a little weird. And then the other two in the back. But basically, my thought process is that there's a good chance they want to lead Arcanine here. And if they do, they'll both your Pokemon have Defiant. And King, we want to leave King Gambit here because of the Goldengo. Goldengo's super strong. But, like, and, like, King Gambit's basically our best Pokemon against it. And, um, yeah. I don't know. Like, it's nice to just have Final Gambit up front. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. That's honestly so good, Jin. That's actually super clutch. Ooh. Now? <laughs> God, the, the Arcanine looks so bad. It's yeah. so sad. His little nose. <laughs> Defiant. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so here, I mean, it's up to you. You can go for Final Gambit and just take out the Arcanine. You can also just start launching close combats. Yeah. You uh, probably either want to protect your King Gambit or you want to terrestrialize into flying here. Uh, I'll protect and see what happens. Yeah, that's cool. Just a little bit. Cheeky protect. Uh, <laughs> um, is do we need annihilate for anything else or should we just? Well, he's plus one, direction? so if he sticks around, it's like kind of good. Yeah, you know? that is true. Yeah, just, just, just send punch it, it. You know, Yolo. Nice, no protection them. This isn't gonna KO, but it should do like 66%. Oh, is it more than that? Did a lot. A lot. That might be like Choice Ben Arcanine or something. Nice try. Nice try. <laughs> Holy shit, nice try. Whoa. Nice protect. Very nice protect, Jaden. 
And we just punch the dog again. I think so. And this could be a good time to tear a flying, right? Just get a little like cheeky iron yeah. head off into the Hariyama. Punchy, punchy. Man, An Annihilate is so cool. I really, Annihilate, I'm, I really like it. I think it's so good. I really like Gen 9. Like, Me too. I think it was really good. It was really necessary for them to have so many hits. Yeah. In terms of like the Pokemon designs, you mean, or just in general? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, this is, um, I think, my favorite generation of new Pokemon, at least since, yeah. it, it, since you know, maybe Gen It's 5? been the best Pokemon game in a while. I think so, too. I really like yeah. it. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> the flinch. Oh no. We're hounding on him. <laughs> we're, we're totally, they're getting totally hounded. <laughs> can I just do it again? You can just do it again. What are they going to do? Oh dear. I think basically like a lot of people aren't really respecting Defiant because Intimidate is like way less good. Like uh, this is the worst Intimidate's probably ever been. So people like just oh, don't respect Defiant anymore. But like, yeah, like if you get like, I mean, we've started the game with both of our Pokemon at plus one, you know? Yeah. I like this music. I'm jamming. Yeah, I like the Arvin music. There's so many good tra like I didn't. I'm not really a big fan of a lot of the overworld music, but I like the trainer. Uh, the trainer battles are really, really nice. Yeah, I agree. Can I ask your chat? Can I talk to your chat? Is that cool? Yeah, of course. Um, okay, hey Jin's chat. Um, it's me, Wolf. I'm curious. I guess I'm curious. Like, I imagine that like probably your viewers are less familiar with competitive Pokemon than my viewers. So I guess I'm just wondering like what mm -hmm. what's kind of their what's everyone's impressions here? Yeah. I'll let you. Yeah, I'll chat. let you kind of take, kind of get through the end of this battle. There's not like a. This is still like a little tricky, but like I feel like. Cowtail Cleave is the good one against Goldango, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll just do that. Wait, what if I final gambit the Goldingo? You're, you can't because it's a ghost type. You're also locked into close combo right now. But if you oh. didn't want to play final gambit, you could always switch an Annihilate out. You don't have to, but like that's still I'll just, you can use I'll it, just punch the, the Ice yeah. Dragon. Someone says my impression is I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> Really cool, but intimidating. Stressful. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's oh, fair. that's the dark one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the dark one. And you just hit it with the mega punch. Oh. Oh. Bye -bye. Nice. I like Max Caliber a lot. I think it's super under, underrated. I love Max Caliber. I just wish they made him not bald. <laughs> they could have so put bald. like a little like a spike on him or something, or like a couple yeah. dragon spikes. I like him a lot. I just, yeah, wish he wasn't bald. <laughs> I feel like I like. Here's my opinion on a lot of the the new Pokemon. I like them, but it feels like they they uh, played it too safe. Like Meowth feels like they could have been pushed a little more. Bex Calibur could have been pushed a bit more. But I like the I like the designs. I wish they did a little bit more though. Yeah, that's. I think that's very fair. I also think it's. I think it's funny when you and I specifically talk about Pokemon designs because like. I feel like you're you're very strong visually, and I am super bad with any like when it comes to anything like design oriented. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. <laughs> we did it though. Did we swept him with like the first two guys? Yeah, that was that was really that was, and you made a bunch of really good calls there. Like I probably I think I would have done things differently, and I would have done worse because of it. Like just like oh. overall, I would have done pretty much the same stuff, but I probably would have like maybe I would have tear a flying turn one, and then I would have taken that big flare blitz. You know what I mean? Mm. So I think you did really well there. I really like. Uh, what's your what's what's been your favorite Pokemon that they introduced? I I really like Slitherwing. I oh, think I, I, I haven't looked at the Paradox Pokemon yet. Um, oh. Competitively, I'm really I've been on the Annihilate train for a while. I, I think I mm -hmm. like Palafin the most actually because Palafin like. It's such a cool really? Pokemon. Well, okay, because I like I like the Pokemon that they do, which are like they change the game in some way. Like they require you to play the game in a different way. Like I think the fact that like they made a super broken Pokemon, but in order to get it strong, you need to like switch it out first is super like mm -hmm. unique. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think like the the de design uh puts me off, but I feel like in like a year, Palafin will be fine. Yeah. I'm like, whoa, weird all might dolphin? 
<laughs> Wait, yeah, it is all my dolphin. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, what should we do here? So you want to bring both Skeletors and Annihilate, maybe up front, because Corviknight's a problem and you need to respect it. Um, gotcha. Um, you could also... No, that's good. I think you want Meowskarada in the back. And then maybe... Maybe King Gambit as the last. Okay. It's King Gambit or Hydreigon. It's kind of basically King Gambit is nice because it's better into Gengar. But Hydreigon's... Mm. Uh, it should probably be Hydreigon, actually, because Hydreigon's better into, like, Corviknight and... Yeah, it should probably be Hydreigon. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. I love the new Salamence, too. Yeah, I like really can't wait to, to learn the new Paradox Mons. Yeah, I'm excited to play play Scarlet. Yeah. I wish, like, I would love to have my main game be Violet if I could just ride Coridon. <laughs> That's the only thing I want. I like Coridon. Because I love Coridon. Too, yeah. All right. Oh, we got the Japanese guys. Yeah, that's, yeah. We're fighting the Japanese. Yeah, um, I'm going to let you play this one. Is that cool? Oh, dear. Yes. You got this. Uh, I'm going to do this. I feel like I want to just... It's, it feels like... Okay. Hmm. Sure, why not do this? And then I'm scared of Rotom Wash because he, he, run a, he ran a muck for a while. He did. Do I just kill him Up with myself? Yeah. This is not a, bad, not a bad move. That's definitely something that I think is really cool about Pokemon is there's like not there's very rarely like one right move here, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. Like you could have final gambited either Pokemon, you could have Terra, you could have not Terra, you could have protected, you could have switched. Like there was there were so many ways you could have approached this, and I think that like what you found is like it's, it's totally fine, right? Yeah, gotcha. Earthquake. Do some damage, but you should be okay. You're actually big chilling. Bing chilling. Bing chilling. <laughs> Kill it, please, Skeletor. Please. You probably won't kill it, but you'll probably. It's actually Whoa. okay because now it's in the Oscarada range, right? So you're like actually oh, you're still right. chilling. Good job, Skeletor. So it's something that I think is cool is like sometimes it's better not to take a KO. Like sometimes you prefer. Like mm. remember that Azumarill real game earlier where we could sucker punch and slack off to heal up. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes like leaving a Pokemon in the field, being like, "I will deal with you like next turn," is better than yeah. Otherwise, so they only do like one move that turn. Yeah. Annihilate. He's coming in to take a take a guy. Yeah. Well. Okay. So uh, a lot of Annihilate are scarf like ours, but a lot of them are are actually bulk up and they make themselves super bulky. Oh. So him coming um, in here actually isn't that bad. Yeah. Go ahead. You, there's not like a, yeah, not a right or wrong answer. I feel like I can just Terra Blast him and take out Garchomp, right? Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. That's a totally good move. Okay. No. It's okay, because um, you can just do it next turn. True. Unless he takes out someone. But you're Sash, so you should be okay. What's he doing? Yeah, Would... That that tells you Whoa. that it's the bulk upset. Oh, okay. Wait, does Final Gambit not work on Focus Sash? It won't work on Focus Sash, and yeah, this yeah, so you still would have survived, which is nice. Oh. Nice damage. Like, so the Meow Scarada design, I feel like they could have done something with, like, the sleeves or the pants or put, like, a little yeah. design on his stomach, like a Blaziken thing. I didn't like the... Just I something. don't really love the design, is the truth. Mm. I'm just going to do it again. Go for it. They I feel like they could have gave, given it really cool boots. <laughs> yeah, it's a little it's a little bland, right? They just made the cat stand up. I like the magician yeah. idea. I don't love the execution. Oh, they got the <gasps> double. He got the double protect. You oh bitch. Oh my god. He went for the double and got it. That sucks. If that if that hadn't happened, you would have just auto automatically won. Ah, uh, rage. Oh, but the fist. rage fisting into who? On Skeledirge? You only hit it once. It's not that powerful. Yeah, it's totally fine. Weird. What? 
I don't get that one. Yeah, I think that maybe they thought me, like me, they maybe thought like, oh, I need to get rid of Skeletor's, or maybe they thought that Meowth might protect, which would have been valid too. But um, yeah, I just yeah, I did the same me. thing again. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like they overthought that one, yeah, <laughs> and I just go sure. do it again. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, what if he gets the ter the triple protect? It's a one and nine. They're not going to get it. Grim oh, we're, Snarl. Oh, you do need to watch out for this thing because it can get fake okay. out. So maybe just play defensive for a turn. Protect, protect. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I feel like Meowth could get faked out. Oh. oh, here we go. Terra Garchomp, please. Oh, shit. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. What are they going for? Gr Fire. Fire. Oh. That's unusual. I feel like we can still get rid of it because we it's can. Low, we definitely right? can. Oh, but. Uh, let me run the calc. What about that? The calc. How does how uh, the calc change or Terra affect uh, uh, calcs? It's, like just it changes them like it. like for like it changes them a lot. Like we were doing neutral damage and now we're doing not very effective, right? Yeah, but like how do you input that into the the calc? Oh, it, there's so a special calculator. It... Only there's like a new calculator that we have to use basically. Uh oh, which yeah. is funny. Um, fire, Terra, Focus Sash, Terra Active. So flower trick with one HP. It's 34 to 40 percent. Okay, that looks like it might be in range. Is knockoff stronger? No. Oh wait, hang on. Yeah, knockoff will kill. You can slack off and knock oh, off. Oh nice. Here. Yes. I love slacking off with with Skeledurge. Yes. Unless they reflect, I guess would be bad. But since they went for Spirit Break last turn, I. Okay. That, okay oh my God! Got, this you got them. this guy. You super got them. <laughs> Does he get rid of my Meow Scarada now? Yeah, but if, I guess it's kind of like they're screwed regardless because if they get rid of Meow Scarada, then your I mean your Skeletor is at full HP. Yeah. Bonk. Bonk. Is your Skeletor plus one or is it neutral? I think it's just neutral, right? Uh, I think it's neutral, but I can check, right? Yeah, you can. This is so much more annoying just because they got the double protect. Like it would have been fine otherwise. Yeah. Damn. That's okay. We're probably. I think we're still fine here. Um. You're neutral, but yeah. We can yeah. Yeah. I think. I mean, at this point, you there's a chance you live Dragon Claw, so you can probably you can just like start Torch Song and Dark Pulsing into the Garchomp because you always beat um Grim Snarl and the one versus one. Hmm. You have leftovers and Slack off, and you're faster, and you have Terra Blast. That makes sense. This game doesn't look very good, but somehow I think they did the they were able to do the crystal texture really well. Yeah. Like that's the 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 crystal texture is the best looking thing in the game. I agree. I, I super agree. Which is kind of important cuz you're supposed to be using it like every battle, so I feel like Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it's also in the trailers and it's bro. Oh, no. Double. They went for the tr <laughs> double double. Double double. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you get two free? <laughs> you don't get two. You don't get, you don't get two. two. No, even against me, you know you don't get two. I think in the finals of a tournament, my opponent like triple protected against me and then got a double and went for another triple like what? in the same game. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, I was like. Did you yeah, win or did you lose? <laughs> oh, I tried oh, it. It's fine. You're plus one. Uh, now you're chilling. You're being chilling. Did did you win that that I tournament? Did. Yeah, I you did. did? So wow. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> Thanks. It was like six years ago. No, wait, it was like seven years ago. It's so funny. You should yeah, just tear a blast and kill it. Yeah. They're thinking about it. <laughs> They're like, hmm. They're like, maybe I can protect again. <laughs> like, wait, where's the protect button on my Garchomp? <laughs> I think I might order food. 
Go for it. Hmm. Have, you, have you eaten lunch? No, I'm not a, I'm not a breakfast eater. So I, I normally eat my first thing of the day, my first meal of the day, normally around noon or one. Oh, that's kind of late, but if it works for you, it works for you. Yeah, I just never really wake up hungry. I, so I if I try to eat, I, I feel kind of sick. Yeah, I get that. I can only eat like something really um, inoffensive in the morning, like a banana or oatmeal. Mm. You know, like, yeah. Like, until I've woken up. Light breakfast. They hey, did it. it was like, yeah. It was really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to switch to Nimona music now. Go for it. Do you want to order food before we jump into the next one? I can oh, order it real quick. <gasps> great ball tier! Oh, Go. rank middle. Rank middle. 20,000. Rank elf. middle. Okay. What do I want? The thing is, I'm, I'm not really, like, a big food person. Like, I'm not a big foodie. I'm not a so big foodie it's, it's, either. It's so hard to figure out what to eat because nothing ever really sounds good. I, to I totally feel you. <gasps> Brother! What? They have, they have, they have big, they have, like, a big sis. Look at the a last big one. They have, uh, they've got the toad. Unload the toad. <gasps> oh, they got... <laughs> I like how he just says hello. Hey, hello. <laughs> He's like, hi. I did not Look expect the, the color palette of, of, I don't remember his name. I was expecting, like, like a big old mushroom. I know. Yeah, it's weird. Um, which Pokemon do you want to bring here? What are you feeling? Ooh, I don't know. These um, are a bunch of weird ones. So if you want, we guidance, haven't seen a really lot. Of, cool. I guidance, please. <laughs> okay, I think let's do Skeletor because it's like there's a lot of like fire and fire weak Pokemon on this team. Um, yeah. Let's do let's Annihilate up again. front because we might want to use U-turn to break the Focus Sash on the Kilowattrol, and like it's just like a good, good Pokemon to have. Um, mm -hmm. And then in the back, I think we probably don't want Toad School. So like, I think King Gambit is pretty good here because it's just such a good Pokemon. It's good into like the fairies, and there's mm -hmm. two fairies and a nice type. And the last Pokemon. I feel like Meowth has been better for us. Let's do Meowth because um, Toad Scroll can spore, and it's nice to have a spore immune. You know what I mean? Oh, you're right. You're right. Good call. Good call. Thanks. I might get, like, uh, a while ago, I or I ordered this, like, tofu uh, curry. It was really good. Good. I, I feel like a good curry is just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. You're making me hungry and I already ate. I had Chipotle for lunch. <laughs> I had Chipotle yesterday. Yeah, I like, I try, I like, yeah, I haven't had to, I like went through a period where I didn't eat Chipotle in, like for forever and then I'm like, wait, I, should, I like this stuff. Why don't I just, why don't I just get this? I do the same thing. <laughs> I forget about food so often. I know, it's hard, right? It's like you get into your rhythm and then, yeah. Yeah, I've had, it's YouTube. gotten so bad that I'm like, I need to write down what I normally like to eat for lunch yeah. because I will forget. <laughs> lunch is hard too. Like I feel like dinner is easy, but yeah. lunch is. What do I eat for lunch? Mhm. Mm what are you feeling here? Okay. Um. Hmm. Rimstarl can be annoying, but I guess maybe we get rid of the Tinkaton just because it's there. So it's not really threatening not. that much. I kind of like torch fogging right. it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And I don't think you need to pull Final Gamba yet because these Pokemon aren't that scary. So you could just U-turn on out of here and say bye-bye. Okay. On. Does it matter? Probably I would say Grimstar is because like, it's, it's, it's double not very effective on Tinkaton, so I feel like let's yeah. just do the one that's more. Okay, nice. Oh, a free torch song? This is really nice because, oh, they gave us Defiance. Oh. Or unless they're Flash Fire? No. I guess Arcanine's a little bit spooky with, with what we brought, but it, it also isn't like, okay. Aww. That's okay. A lot Not of damage. Bad. Yeah. Huh. So this is kind of tough because I didn't tell you to bring a bunch of Pokemon that don't do anything to Arcanine. Um, there's not like one right or wrong answer here. Um, maybe what we do... Okay, here's my thought, Jaden. Maybe we go Meow mm -hmm. up. We Flower Trick to get rid of the Grim Snarl, and then we just, we just keep Torch Songing because Arcanine can't really like do that much damage. Okay. Yeah, that's right. And then, like, we'll just deal with the Arcanine later with um, Annihilate with Final Gambit. 
true. So true. So true, bestie. Uh, Torch Song, just like Grim Snarl or something? Oh, yeah, just in case it survives. And then Flower Trick Grim Snarl? Yeah. And if they Flare Blitz, they'll take Recoil, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. so they'll like, focus on setting. Because, like, we can't get rid of Arcanine quickly, but we can start setting up on, on them, right? And the more boost we get, yeah. the stronger Skeleturge becomes. And we know that Tinkaton can't beat uh, Skeleturge. Ooh. Yeah, nice, nice call on the double. My chat is talking about drinking milk. Uh, are you a milk drinker? No, so I actually have a condition called milk curse. I may have mentioned it before. I feel like I might have. Um, milk curse? Milk curse, yeah. So basically like, you know how you have like super bad luck? Yeah. All my bad luck is concentrated into when I come into, like when I, when I like uh, go into the vicinity of milk. So like weird stuff happens when I like, when I start to like, go in your milk like um like it will like the milk will explode it will go bad the day after you buy it it's like i've just stopped buying it because milk curse is so powerful but i can do with like milk substitutes like oat milk or soy milk or whatever <laughs> That's it's not so that i'm lacking funny. intolerant like i can drink it just fine but i just can't be near it or it will go bad or it will <laughs> like my body is That's it's so not my body that, it, that, that rejects it it's my spirit <laughs> <laughs> Wait, before we elaborate on that, um, what do you recommend with Kill at Watchroll? Uh, I think let's just keep clicking Torch Song into, I guess, like into the thing that's not Arcanine. Yeah, did you say it's Focus Ash? It normally is Focus Ash. You can Sucker Punch it and just see what happens. If you're feeling okay. Cheeky. Like, it probably won't work, <laughs> but you never know. It didn't work, but you never, you never no. know. There was, I, like, the the odds of them letting your Meowth Skirata survive here are pretty low, so I feel like it's not that, like, silly to do. Yeah. Yeah, that makes Snarl. sense. We could have like oh. sucker punched the Arcanine, but it really wasn't that worthwhile in my opinion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> milk curse. Milk curse so, is a problem. I don't know what to do. do you when know did you realize like, it was milk curse? Like well, how long I ago? I was like, I'm I, like, oh, I'm a big boy. I have a mini fridge. I'll buy some milk. And then it exploded. Mm. And then I was like, well, I was unlucky. And then the next time, like something else went wrong. And then the third time, something else went wrong. And, the, and eventually I was like, wait, hold on a second. Am I the problem? Like, wow. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's tough. You know, when I live with people, you know, I've had a roommate since I graduated college. And like, um, I'm like, guys, listen, like we got to have a talk. And they're like, Wolf, what's up? And I'm like, <sighs> like, you can't, you can't buy milk. Like, I'm sorry. There's like, you just like, it's not, like things will go wrong. They're like what? No milk in the milk. house. <laughs> Wait, uh, an annihilate? I think King Gambit because they have tr they have King um no one up and we want to be able to like use protect to stall mm. it out and like use sucker punch. Oh okay. <laughs> uh, I'll just torch song the bird again. Yeah. You could um Terra flying oh. sucker punch here if you wanted with your King Gambit. Oh. To make sure you don't take that much from Flare Blitz. Sucker punch on Arcanine. On Kilowatt Roll, because like that way it like can't really do like they're really struggling to even damage your um what's it called? Whatever the thing's called. Skeleturge? Yeah. But I feel like just like continuing to apply pressure to them is nice. I guess they could like will o view, but even that's alright. Mm. Oh Aww. my god, good. Actually, this is actually okay if you can if you can if you'll believe me. Um because we want the tail, we don't, the one thing that I'm worried about here is Tinkaton can like learn knockoff and like maybe, I don't know, like, I don't know, maybe like, you know, tailwind's still up and then, then they knock off your item mm -hmm. and it's a cool hit or whatever. But like with this, like now what can happen is we can sucker, but we can do the same play again. That's the third turn of tailwind. Then we can protect with both. That's the fourth turn of tailwind. And then you just KO the Tinkaton and win. Gotcha. Yeah, Skeletor is just doing whatever he wants. Yeah, like they just can't do damage to it, and and having sucker punch pressure is just like, yeah, they just can't do anything. Unless he gets the double protect. Well, no! Oh my so god! Double protect Why is everyone so bold that they double protect? I don't know. It's the amount <laughs> I guess of he didn't want this super. In the, in the corner. Oh! Oh! Nelly. Oh, can no give it is so good. <laughs> Damn. Another boost. Mm -mm. What are we at? Like four? I think I want to say. What are we at? 
I want to see. Because they use snarl three. once. They use snarl once. Uh, it's two or three. I think it may be three. Because gotcha. we torch song in turn one, and then we that's another one. I think we're at three. You can check. Yeah. 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 Nice. Three. So I think here, why don't we just protect with both to stall the last turn of Tailwind? True. And we're also stalling their screens. Yeah, I really like Terra Flying King Gambit. Some people like water, which is also good. Oh, what's this? Steel? Steel. Oh, for Gigaton Hammer? Gigaton Question Hammer, mark? I guess. It just wants to hit really hard, I guess. I wish Tinkaton were better, because it's like such a cool Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like Tinkaton, but I feel like like Tinkaton has grown on me, but I there's so many parts about it that just Okay, so th that's just a me thing. Tinkaton was not made for me. Mm. I'm not really a big a big fan of like the the pink cutesy vibes in Pokemon. Yeah. I'm not really a big fan of doll vibes, and I don't really yeah. like caveman vibes, and that is all Tinkaton. Yeah, that's very fair, but I think the fact I that like... it's Corviknight is super funny. That makes me upset. I love Corviknight. I, I like Corviknight, uh, too. It, it makes me not like Tinkaton. Uh, I do not stand He's like Tinkaton. He's like the anti-Jaden Pokemon, basically. It really is. Like, I, I understand I like Tinkaton, but so much more of me hates it. I see, yes. Like, there's like, it's not like a, it's not an all encompassing hatred, but you, you, there's a lot to dislike. Yeah. Uh, do I torch song it right away yeah. or do I yeah, just yeah. get rid of, all right. Torch song. You can sucker then... punch because you're probably going to die here into the Arcanine. Like, just get a parting shot. Uh, oh my god. That's terror okay. protect. He did a good job. King Gambit with Terra Flying kind of makes me, it like gives me up vibes, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's up like what vibes. it makes me think of. You wanna be, do you wanna just like really mean? Yeah. You could, um, final Gambit the Tinkaton and give them no chance. <laughs> and then just like, oh, yeah, no. do whatever you want to the Organine. <laughs> I could be really mean and protect. I think you can just KO them. Like, you don't yeah. need to. You know what I mean? Yeah, like... I know. It's just extra stalling for, for no reason. <laughs> what I really like about Annihilate is, like, if you're ever in a 2v1, you just win. You're like, oh, like, I have two Pokemon left, you have one Pokemon left. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything that Final Gambit doesn't KO? Um, Amoongus. Amoongus is like oh. one or maybe like two or three. It's not more than like five base HP points higher, but so if they're max HP, which they probably should be because of, you know, uh, because of fire Annihilate. Of and I think Dendozo oh, no. can survive. There might be something else as well. Mm. Skeletor it just took so itself here. Out. They couldn't do anything to it. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Nice job. Continue battling. All right, what else we got? I don't, I don't know the trainer battle OST because... I don't know either. Yeah, because they're okay. all optional. <laughs> I, I don't think I fought, fought like more than two of them. Yeah. I, uh, I didn't get the Earthquake TM and I was like, how do I get this? How do I get this? I looked it up and then like it was like you had to beat six trainers in the desert. I would like spend too so long to find them. Oh man! Wait, why do you have to beat? Like, it's like a the bunch guy gives. Oh, oh, this is weird. Goth. Goth normally is taunt, so we gotta watch out for that. This is definitely. This is a weird team. This is definitely an, an annihilate matchup. Oh, up front. Yeah, we're gonna need like if we can final game with the goth that's really good for us. Um, oh. Oh, this is a weird one, Jaden. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, we definitely <laughs> want to bring Skeletors because of what the Amoongus thing. Yeah, but up front too. That's a tougher question. Okay, we want to bring Skeletor. We want to bring Meow Scarada. And the last Pokemon is going to be Gambit. So yeah, let's do Skeletor up 
front, I think. Because if they lead badly, it gives it gives us the ability to just start setting up. And like, if we can get two, one or two torch songs before Amoongus hits the field, gotcha. then we're in good shape. This could also be um, a Parish Trap team, which where the it's like Parish Song plus Shadow Tag. But since we have double Ghost uh. type, I think we should be okay into that. We just have to make sure that gotcha. like the Azumarill could be like Sap Zipper or something weird. Oh, this music. Okay, oh. I know what this is. This is um. So you remember how we were talking about that leftovers bulk up annihilate? Oh uh, yes. So it was like it's like basically the set is leftovers drain punch bulk up. And the idea is um, they make themselves super tanky. They use like reflect and light screen um, and then they become like super, super tanky and hard to remove. But we can, there's a, there's a really fun way to beat it, which is that we're just not going to attack it until we're ready. So here you will probably want to U-turn into the Grimmsnarl and Torch Song into the Grimmsnarl. Okay. Because basically the, the theory behind this is you use bulk up and either reflect or light screen to make yourself super tanky and you can just tear it to make yourself tankier as well. Oh, um, so we're getting tanky alongside them. They're going to get super tanky, but the thing is, like, they, um, their attack Rage Fist gets, like, a little bit stronger every single time they it takes damage. But if they never take damage, it never gets stronger. <laughs> so if we just don't gotcha. attack it, they end up being, like, super weak. <laughs> <laughs> who, who are we bringing out? I think Meow Skorada, because we want to save King Gambit. Mm -hmm. Oh, they oh, went for I early see. Rage Fist. Okay. <laughs> All right, so they're just like accidentally letting us set up on, on Skeledurge. Mm -hmm, exactly. So we can just... We're just going to slow this down and get a ton of boosts. So... Uh... Protect? Yeah, protect is great. Like they can't really, basically they can't really threaten Skeletors and if they ever look like they can, we'll just Terra. Gotcha, and then Torch Song again. Yeah, yeah, just like keep keep at it, you know what I mean? See. <laughs> Why did they Terra to fire? They were probably worried about a good, well, they probably were worried about either like a fire move or a, oh, that's unusual. Uh, a fire move Why? or a fairy move. It's like a pretty good defensive type, but the thing is we can also beat this thing with Final Gambit now. Hmm. Interesting. Do you want to make a, a really aggressive read? Sure, why not? So I feel like them bringing a zoom roll in here might mean that they have sap sipper. Because oh. like, why would you? Why else would you bring? Like, why else would you bring a zoom roll in here? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So do you want to predict the drain punch and like protect maybe and go back into our own annihilate so we can just final gambit? With Mia Scarata? Yeah, because they're gonna—they're not gonna rage fist us. They're gonna go for drain punch here. Okay. So we're immune to fighting. We can go here. And then, and then just keep um, torch swinging. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we don't need to Terra, right? Or do no? Because I don't think they're gonna go for a water move here. I think they're either going to because they can't Terra. Like, they're probably gonna protect switch or they're gonna like not be huge power, in which case they don't do any damage. Hmm. It's, this is a little risky, but I feel like it'd be really bold to... Oh, interesting. Mm, I may have been... We may have been too bold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that answers our question. So this is... They're going to try and trap us in, but it doesn't work super well because we have a bunch of ghost types. Yeah. Um, we never set up light screen. You want to just final gambit their annihilate and get it off the field? It's kind of annoying, right? <laughs> sure, why not? It's got to go sometime. Yeah. And then. Your options are you can Terra Blast here for damage. It won't do that much, though. Or you can slack off and just make sure you're healthy. Um. You don't, you, but if you Terra Blast, you won't Terrastalize because you need to stay Ghost type so you can switch. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll slack off. Why not? Well, 
I just want to deal. Oh, oh that's didn't we super want to get ideal. rid of this? That's <laughs> super good. Oh my god, it protected. Yeah. <laughs> so you you well that was the perfect move, I think. Assuming this isn't like focus ash got the tail, which it normally isn't. Yeah, okay. Now they now their Paris trap strategy is not in play. Ah. The only problem is that Annihilate is actually kind of a problem with what we brought. Wow wow. Wow wow. Oh wait, this is actually kind of bad. Okay, 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 okay. We can do this. We can do this. We're gonna go into Meow Skarada here. I think this might actually be a problem. Ooh. Um. Oh, it's Grimmsnarl. You're fine. Okay. And um. Okay, you're gonna flower trick the Grimmsnarl. And you're going to Terra and Terra Blast into the Azumarill. Okay. Because we were delaying Terra Blast because we didn't want to, like, we didn't want to, we were just delaying Terrestrialize because we didn't want to, um, we didn't want to get, end up, like, being trapped with Shadow Tag. But with this, um, we're, like, not trapped anymore. You know what I mean? Because we killed the Gothic Hell. Yeah, I see, I see. Light screen is fine. Oh, if you KO Grimmsnarl here, we're in really good shape. Because then they can't switch out, even if we don't KO. Ah, oh, damn. We're doing so much damage, but it's not enough. <laughs> oh my god, it's so tanky. The berry. The berry. Oh. Sing. He hit the sing. Hit the sing. Okay. Well, you need to switch Skeletor's out now. Uh, Azumarill's going to switch into Annihilate. That's what, one thing we know. Mm -hmm. This is such a pain. There's so, this is so annoying. <laughs> we need to get a KO somehow. Um... I'm worried. Oh, okay. I see it. I see it. Okay. You're going to flower trick into the Grimmsnarl. Yeah. And you're going to switch out into the King Gambit. Okay. The problem is that we brought a bunch of fighting week Pokemon to this. I guess the whole team is <laughs> fighting week and we're asleep, which is also a problem. Oof, you're right. It is fire type as well. Yeah. Like normally they're water or steel, so it's like we can KO it with, you know, air blast or whatever, but here it's actually kind of bad. Maybe it final gambits. I don't think it's going to final gambit. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay. You have to get Meowskarada back into um, Skeleturge. So we switch in Skeleturge here? Yeah. Because basically, like, they're they're going to try and run with Parish Song. Mm. And I guess just and protect then... the thing. Yeah, like, it comes down to whether or not you can take a Drain Punch. I think you might be able to. Basically, the, the goal here is if Azumarill goes down, then Skeleturge can win the 1v1 against Annihilate because... I'm not even sure that's true. This is actually really, this is surprisingly difficult. Okay, nice. Oh, it protects. Okay. And now, Skeletor doesn't matter, can't wake up yet. Yeah. And then, I guess, Iron Head and just Prage. Prage, you live. On... On a zoom roll. Like, if a zoom roll goes down, you should be able to win this. Yeah. The reason why Parish Song is, like, a, what we're worried about here is because even though they only have two Pokemon left, if... Oh! Oh, that sucks! Oh, my lips too strong. 
Um, if it's a, if there's only two Pokemon left, or like if, if all Pokemon faint to Perish Song, then um, the winner is the one who uh, is whoever faints last, which is the slowest Pokemon. Mm. And but you might just need good sleep turns, in all honesty. Oof. Which is yeah, not 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 the most encouraging thing to hear. Okay, let's see. Well, maybe Porch Song the Azoo to get the boost and protect, slow down the pace. Okay. Brain punch. Okay. Oh, we woke up. That's really that's really fortunate. <laughs> Did nothing, but it's okay. We're plus one. They go for Parish Song. Okay, so we win this uh, if we KO Azumarill. Okay. So we just go crazy on Azumarill? Can you... We're, let's check how many turns of Light Screen are left. Yeah. Oh, wait. How do I check that? Is you it check their one? side. One of their Mons. Oh. We're on like a zoo or... Three, so yeah, three turns left. Okay, I think you're okay. Do you want to? If we okay, you should torch song into the annihilate here. I think mm -hmm. to get the boost, and I guess just knock off the Azumarill just in case. Because they're probably gonna protect Azumarill here. Oh, they didn't go for it. Oh, they're going for Sting. Uh, I think they might have gotten us. Basically, no we way. lose on double break and we lose if they hit Sting. That was my bad. I let you astray. I think we probably had enough oh. damage. Uh, I don't know. It misses though. It misses. Sing it misses every misses. time. They already hit one. They missed this one. They missed this one. Come on. Come on. No. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, that's How my bad. Hit they, they, they made a really good call there at the end. Like, because they've been playing so defensive with their Azumarill. Yeah. That's my bad. The Annihilate was just such a. Like, they were just so hard to hit things. Mm hmm. Man. Damn, Sap Sipper Azumarill. Thanks, Sap Sipper Azumarill. Oh, it had an attack. Oh. <laughs> Tiny little Aqua Tail. Aqua is a weird one, too. Like... Huh. Okay, here's the plan. They're gonna throw. All you have to do is get the one turn sleep, and then Terra Blast, and it picks up the KO, and then we're we're big chill. And they don't protect for some reason. Okay. But no, I think they're I think they're probably too good to to fall for that. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. They they played well. They played really well. Sorry, it was yeah. Sorry, it was it was a tough one. That was just hard. It's hard because like we didn't know what any of the sets were, you know what I mean? Like without knowing, mm -hmm. yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if it wasn't Sap Super Zoom World the whole time? The whole time and it was huge power, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. It's okay. So sad. That's okay. Live and learn. Like I showed the music no. for a second. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Poor guy. Whoa. You hear that? He's like, wow. Wow, wow. I do think it's funny when it's zero zero, like no Pokemon remaining. Yeah. Like, oh, Everyone's just <laughs> cheering. <laughs> <laughs> Continue battling, though. Yeah, back at it. I think let's do a different music. I didn't like that one very much. Yeah, no, me either. Ooh, t what's the Titan music? I should don't know. I like the sandwich I... making music. 
<laughs> oh, I, I haven't heard it. I, I didn't make a sandwich until uh, yesterday. Sorry, I, sorry. I like the music that plays when Arvin, like, Arvin makes his sandwiches. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, look at this team. We see all these guys. Yeah. Um... I feel like I, I feel like I backseated a little bit too much uh, last game, so I'm oh. gonna get some water and you you do what's in your heart. Oh oh dear oh dear. You got um, this. Hmm. I guess nothing. Well, I guess Dragonite kind of takes care of Toad School. Maybe we bring out Toad School. Maybe it's a Toad School game. Uh, Skeletor's for sure because of all the dragons. And we need King a bit for the guy. And then... Uh, let's see here. What's Gengar do? We haven't seen Gengar. I guess maybe Annihilate? There's lots of dragons. What does Annihilate do, though? Maybe just Hydreigon? I don't know. Sure, let's do that! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see. All right, I'm oh, back. Oh, shiny! Hello. <laughs> I brought I brought Toad School. Okay, I was hoping you'd bring Toad School. <laughs> oh, Clonebre! Whoa, this is oh. my lead. I look angry oh, yeah, there. Okay, this is, I brought uh, these two. Uh, Mal Malvalame, cornbread, 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 <laughs> <laughs> cornbread. The Murkrow. I like that name. Okay. Uh, e uh, who do we want to get rid of? Do we want to get rid of Murkrow, or sleep it? Uh, if you can, yeah. You're in a little bit of danger, but yeah, it's like, yeah, it's not a bad idea at all. Should I protect instead? Or like Terra? Uh, I think you gotta press A at this point because you're running out of time. You're right. And then you torch long into it. Right slot. Yep. This is right slot, right slot. Yep, yep. It's, it's, it's a flash fire. Yeah. They often run ta uh, taunt, which is okay in all honesty. Mm. Should have protected. Oh, look up. Block up. Block up. Big damage. All right, I think Toad School got to He's got to go. Gotta, no, he said. He said my people need me. He said, "Oh, well, that's all I can do." <laughs> he's like, I, I, "I did what I could, guys. Sorry." <laughs> uh, who do we? So. So King Gambit is weak to fire, but High Dragon resists it. So that's probably. Yeah. What's a shiny? Uh, do we just Torch Song again on yep. Murkrow? Yep. You want to delay your Terra this game because if they have Goldango in the back, you you really don't want to turn into a like a fairy type too early. So you need to confirm what their last Pokemon are before you really go ham. Makes sense. Shadow Sneak. Oh, Shadow Sneak. Wow. They're probably oh, a crit? oh, I was guessing that did way more than I expected. <gasps> that did a lot too. But you might KO here. And if you KO here, you're in kind of good shape, I think. Okay, you're in good shape, I think. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, thank you so much, J-Dog. That crit was pretty bad. If they hadn't crit you, you'd actually be in really good shape. Mm. But it's okay. It happens. What do you think about the Cer uh, Ledge shine? I like him. Oh, I don't do know what the like shine looks like. I will look it up. Uh, it just turns the eyes red. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Because this is the shiny right here. Oh, it is? Yeah. Um, okay, Hydragon, here. Hydragon. So you're, you're both, you have a speed tie at your ha on your hands. I'm going to let you know you probably want to protect your Skeleturge. And the question is, do you want to go for Draco Meteor, or Dark Pulse, or Tailwinds? You probably don't want to go for Tailwinds. You probably want to go to one or the other two. You can also Terra mm. here if you want, but you make your Skeletor more more vulnerable if you do that. I want to, I want to keep my Terra. Do I just? I'll maybe yeah, just I'll just it. dark Send it. Draco meter. 
Yeah, and just protect. And protect. Yeah, I think that's a good play. It gives shiny you like a little Dragon leftovers. is such marijuana. <laughs> I love Shiny High Dragon. <laughs> nice. Nice. We did it. We did yes. it. We did it, Joe. Battle cry. I love the little more. So the question is, what's the last Pokemon? Dracolos. Say, Dracolos. Oh, Dragonite. Dragonite. I see. Okay. They didn't bring the guy. They didn't bring so the language. We can yeah. Terra, right? If we can just get your health back up, yeah. So True. I think you want to switch your Hydreigon out here because you want to deal with, with these guys later, right? Yeah. You can probably can go bring King Gambit, like, back or King I think King Gambit's fine here in all honesty. Okay. And the question is, what do you want to do here? Because if you you could if you think that you can get away with it, you could tear a fairy and slack off here. If you think they're gonna shadow sneak you again. Hmm. Did we lose to Shadow Snake? We, it's gonna be close, but uh, yeah, yeah, maybe is the short answer. What if I did Terra Protect? Uh, I, I would Terra Slack off in that case. Do you want to do that? Off. I'll try it. I feel like they just double hit Ske Skeledurge. That's what I would do. Yeah, but I think that they, they might be choice band is the thing. Mm. And I think they're really worried about High Dragon here, because like they you could go for like um Dragon Claw or like or you could go for Draco Meteor, you could go for Dark Pulse, you could have gone for Tailwind as well, I guess. Um Okay. Should live this. We nice, yeah, we definitely need Terra to take that. Do like a dragon. Oh! Oh! Holy shit the reed! Holy sh shit the moly, okay. Uh that's fine, because you got the slack off off. Yeah. Wow, wow. If I saw that, I'd be like, ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I also like the the old, like, grandma in the background. Oh, I hate crazy. the grandma. Like, she's Yo! my least favorite. So I think Hydrogen... she's funny. So Hydrogen can KO either Mon here. So I think what you want to do is go Toad School. Mm-hmm. And... You're plus two, right? You could. So this uh, is a good time to use Rage Powder, right? To just keep your your dude safe. Yeah. Oh, true. Maybe you want to go for like Rage Powder, Terra Blast here, and see like force them to Terra, basically. To on Dragonite. Yeah, on Dragonite. Because if they don't Terra Dragonite, it'll just die. Mm-hmm. Ooh. That's fine. I didn't know uh, Extreme Speed beats out Rage Powder. It only beats it because Toad School is a stupid ability, I think. Oh, that. Oh, oh right. This one, my bad. They haven't terrored, right? I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm on out of my mind. No, I don't think so. Maybe they also forgot. That would be nice. This really should KO. We're plus oh. two. It's a salt vest. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay. That sucks. I think it might still be okay. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> you can protect both here to get a little turn of, like, a turn of leftovers and scout for the Terra. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm <just> freaked out. <laughs> Basically, so you're, um, one of your, like, one of, um, English Wolf, one of the strengths of Oh, Dragonite's the max. Okay. I feel like that's a little too a little too late. Unless I feel like next. it would have been better to get to get Ledge here. In all honesty, because I don't, it can't KO your Hydreigon. Uh, definitely not. I don't think it can KO. I, like they might be able to KO you with a double up, but yeah, I think you can just. Yeah, I think actually that seals it. I was more worried about Terra Grass, Sarah Ledge, in all honesty. Hmm. Oh, yeah, Terra Blast. Okay, so they revealed all four of their attacks. So you, you, um. Neither Pokemon is protect here. So you actually have a safe Dark Pulse into the Mavalame. Yeah. 
And then Torch Song into the Dracolosi, I think. All right, here it comes. See how much this does. A lot, but not enough, yeah. Ooh, nice. nice. Yeah, that was a close one. That was a very close one. They they came back in the end there. Yeah. I was shocked they took plus two Terra Fairy. Uh, Terra Blast. Oh, yeah, Terra Blast. Yeah. Woo! Nice job. Thank you. Oh, I like their little trainer card with their Sylveon. Oh, true. I didn't even see that. I'm going to change the music again. Yeah, I wasn't crazy with that one either. It was okay. Didn't go as hard as I wanted it. Continue battling, of course. Uh, I want to go back to Team Star Boss. I'm going to go grab my food. I'll be, I'll be right back. Yeah. How's it going, chats? It's your boy. It's your boy, Wolf, here talking to you about being a streamer. You guys might think that uh, that you know me, but in reality, did you know that I wear glasses? Um, let's do some pre-match analysis. So this is the same team that we just played against. Why is this happening to us again? Uh, Genjar, Dragonite, Serulegi, Hydreon, Murkrow, and Gold Golden, Golden Ego. Um... So if it were me, I would probably lead Toad School here and lose. Um, Hydreigon actually looks pretty good here. King Gambit's pretty good up front. Um, Annihilate, not so much because they have speed control. Meow Skarada, not so much because... Ah, Meow Skarada, oh, yeah. not terrible. I'm back. Welcome back. Um, This is very similar to the team you just played against. What are we doing? So I would say... I mean, I like Toad School. Maybe, Toad maybe school. falsely. Oh, this is a very similar team again. Yeah, it's basically the exact... It's at least five of the same six that you just played. Yeah. Um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll help you with the Pokemon here. So let's do Toad School, Skeleturge up front. Hydreigon definitely in the back. And I like King Gambit here, um, personally. Okay. I just ran, like, up and down a bunch of stairs. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> just for fun? So... <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> to get the food. Oh, oh, the food came. Good. I'm glad that yeah. you will be nourished. Wah. Gonna eat some curry. You did get the tofu curry. Yes, I did. Cool. Tofu curry. All right. So, Murgro's probably gonna taunt you. So, you could just, like, protect and torch mm -hmm. song you could also go into um hydragon here if you wanted but that's probably bad actually don't do that <laughs> okay <laughs> and then torch song work row i think so you Will might die. eat like an earthquake but i think that's okay i didn't realize toad school yelled when it uses protect wow. oh interesting they, they could have oh, taken a nap. what that's really that was really risky why would you taunt what did they think i was cooking I have no, they did not respect toad school there at all that's i don't agree with that play personally weird maybe they thought it was pr protect or something i don't know yeah, i don't know that's really weird we have to win oh. now they didn't respect toad school so they're probably gonna taunt they're probably gonna make the same play again but this time into toad school so if you want to get cheeky what you could do is um this is like they probably don't have that much speed control in their team so what you could do is terra fairy and terra blast into the murkrow um mm -hmm. And switch into Hydreigon because they can't taunt it, and then you're immune to Earthquake. And also, like basically, that should put the speed in your favor this battle. I think it's a little bit risky because you're tearing a little early, but I think that can work out okay. Okay, wait. So go into Hydreigon. Is that what you? That's said? what I would say here. It's a little risky. Like I'm not sure it's a good play. So if there's if you'd rather do something else, it's totally fine. But this, I would probably I'm get aggressive here because it's just like such a free taunt. Yeah. Oh, you know oh, what? I, you know what? 
Wow, wow. We could have been Terra Dark Toad School in hindsight. Because, oh, like, yeah. that way they couldn't taunt us. And that way, like, in a position like this, we could just, like, oh. launch four. You know what I mean? <laughs> and just. Yeah. That, that might have been better. That, that's a that's a sneaky one. Yeah, I totally forgot that you could block Prankster. Okay. They're, oh, they're foul playing us. That's fine. But they really are not respecting Toad School. So I hope it bites them in the butt later. It better. They gotta respect Toad School. They gotta respect the Toad. Unload the Toad. We gotta learn. We gotta teach them. We gotta teach them. You're gonna start hearing like eating sounds. Sorry about That's that. That's fine. That's, I mean, it's fine for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure the taunt and skeleton actually ends up playing a big role here because we can't like uh, protect, protect or like tell when and slack off, for example. Mm -hmm. Golden ego. Okay. Let me run a cow really quickly. Okay. Um, if you want to be risky, we can Tailwind and Torch Song into Goldango. Okay. Because if I'm them here, I'm going for... Oh! Pause champ? This should KO, unless I have Calc wrong. Wait, what'd they do? I was looking at I, they didn't go for Extreme Speed, and they didn't Terra, which both of which I thought were likely. All right, well, that's oh, fine weird. with us, right? Damn. Interesting. So, yeah, that's actually really good. What are they cooking? What were they cooking? Declaw. This probably kills? Maybe not. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's time to unload the Toad Jade. Enough messing around. Mm hmm. The taunt should end this turn. Mm hmm. That's really good. Yeah, that's super, super good. So, this Dragonite nice. is likely a Salt Test, same as the last one. It was Gengar. Oh, it was a dragon. Okay. Huh. Two dragons. Interesting. Two dragons. Yeah. So I feel like you should just protect Skeleturge and spore the Dragonite here. It gives us a turn of leftovers recovery, and if we get this, like, I think they're kind of forced to go for extreme speed and Skeleturge because we haven't revealed protect yet. Yeah. And like, there I feel like know. they have to like, and if they do anything, if they don't tear a normal, like, if we get the sleep here, then we just straight up win immediately. Especially with speed control, thanks to the Tailwind. So here we go. The question is, is it going to be like Terra Fire High Dragon, or is it going to be... Okay, it's... Oh, it's... High... Okay, interesting. Fire? Uh, High Dragon? Yeah, they've started doing it because it still resists Fairy, uh, and also you can assume, like, more damage on Heat Wave. Oh. Let's see what they do with Dragonite. Oh, Lord. Come on, Toad School, hang in there. Live it. Live hang it. In hang there, in there. Look, Look guys. Whoa! We did it! The question is, what's Dragonite doing? Earthquake, Earthquake it'll live, it'll live, it'll live, trust! It was? Yeah, it should live. Come on, Toad School, you got this? You got me? Seven! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm covering Toad School, is his, his help. But I don't know how we get rid of this high dragon now, which is kind of a problem. Can we not Terra Blast it? It's, fi it's fire now is the problem. Oh, actually, that's a good idea, Jaden, but we might die. Not, wait, uh, did you say Hydragon or Dragonite? Like, the, so the Hydragon's the problem here. So what we could oh. do is, we could go for like, let's let's get risky. Let's go for Slack Off and Spore here, I think. Or we could okay. just attack it and try and move Hydra. Let's, yeah, let's like off and spore actually into the High Dragon. Basically, say like if they make a mistake this turn or if they miss Heat Wave, which is like 20% of the time, they're just in like huge trouble. Gotcha. Oh, they hit both. Unlucky.
I think that there's a chance we live a heat wave. I'm trying I'm calculating it now. In in King Gambit? Yeah. King Gambit? Yeah. Okay. It looks like a roll. How much HP in this one do I have? It's a roll that's pretty heavily in our favor, so we're gonna risk it. Oh nice. So um your King Gambit. Oh, it's not hang on wait, what are the actual odds here? Your last full time spot. It's just, we have a two, uh, two and three chance to survive with King Gambit. Um so I think let's just mm -hmm. double it. Let's go for like Tau Tau Cleave and Terra Blast. Or maybe, him. yeah, yeah, it's fine. Sucker Punch might be better, but Tau Tau Cleave is probably fine. Actually, we should Torch Song here, by the way, because it's slightly stronger. Like okay. it's slightly better. Should we Sucker Punch though? Yeah, let's Sucker Punch because like it's not likely going to survive both attacks anyway. So this gives us a chance even if we go down. So you said yep. Torch Song him? Yep, Torch Song into it. Because basically both Torch Song and Torch Song and Terra Blast are the same base power, but Torch Song gives us the boost. There's the yeah, sucker punch. Enough. Miss, 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 miss. Oh! Oh, Tailwind's still up. I forgot. Oh. Nice. Woo! That's a win, right? That's a, it should be. Let's see what Dragonite does here if it wakes up. Oh! Okay. Nice. Yeah. Let's just do one turn where we protect with both. Yeah. Just to get a little more leftovers recovery, and then we should hopefully be fine. Gotcha. God, this music is so cool. What did you think about the the Team Star fights on the car? I liked them. I um I thought that <sighs> they were surprisingly challenging. Like they were harder than I expected. Mm -hmm. Um. And I, you know, I wasn't crazy about like the the boss characters themselves, but I thought they were like fine. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like the design of all of them. Yeah, the designs were good. You can just like Terra Blast. I don't know, like Cow Tow Cleave, I guess. We just got to hit it, right? Yeah, as long as we don't die here. No crit. No crits. Yeah, I hate the HP bar lag. It makes me so mad. Mhm. Mm I wonder why, like, no other game has had problems with the HP bar lag. I know. Like, how do they even, how do they even get that problem to happen in the first place? <laughs> <laughs> we defeated JC. GG. GG JC. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. We might have ranked up maybe because we just won two in a row. Oh yeah, you get extra when you beat a bunch in a row, right? I think so. It's like, this is a little weird, but yeah, the, yeah, nice. Oh, hell yeah. Heck yeah. I know so we weren't going for Master Ball. We're kind of trucking along, trucking, trucking along, trucking along. Let's <laughs> try Dr. Clavel. Trucking along. Trucking along. Dude, Toad School was so good in that last fight. Mm-hmm. They let him ball. They Dude let they sick. let him they let my boy ball out. They said, <laughs> hey, sir, you have permission to ball. <laughs> Volcarona. Volcarona, yeah, yeah. I feel like versus Volcarona, you need to bring Skeletor, so that's gotta come here. Um Other than that though, if you wanna if you wanna take the wheel on that one, I'm kinda I'm down to just play support. Hmm. Uh I like I'll give you I would say no Toad School this match, because they have too many ice types. Yeah. Um, we need a not. We need King Gambit. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like it's the middle ones. I just don't know the order. Yeah. Maybe just King Gambit. I, I think when in doubt, an Ilyph's always a decent lead because it just like ah. gives you a lot of flexibility. Yeah, it's fair. What do you think? Uh, like the 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 new world world cup is gonna be like for for pokemon the new world cup the world, oh, world championships. championships yeah it's gonna be this the the first year of regeneration is always like super cool basically like 
the first year of regeneration is normally where like team building takes center stage where like the most important thing is like, you know the kind of teams you build mm -hmm. um and i think that's really cool personally oh what music is this jaden I, I like this this was clavel yeah clavel yeah cool hmm well you gotta get rid of murkrow right yeah we just torch song it yeah and then close combat bomb assail? do we need that, to I, I i feel like well, u-turn is not bad out. i feel like they're not gonna they're not gonna let you like they're not gonna let you um tow torch song them right so they're probably gonna either protect or terra here so yeah i think you turn is totally solid gotcha what the heck they would have just let you do it i don't get <laughs> it Murkrow's like, I got one job. Don't know <laughs> what like... happens to me afterwards. <laughs> Who's balling out? We're balling out. Uh, I guess just King a bit, right? Yep, exactly. Because Kaijurigan is weak to ice. Yeah, that Aurora Veil is going to cut your damage output, which is okay. So my recommendation here is don't be afraid to slow down the pace. Um, like, because you're stalling out Tailwind and Aurora Veil, right? So it's okay to like, not oh, rush the true. turns. Maybe like a double protect? I feel like King Gambit's not really that pressured. So I would say maybe just watch out for the foul play. Protect here and then with King Gambit. I don't feel like you need to protect King Gambit, but you can, of course. But I don't, I don't personally think you're that threatened. Okay. Maybe like a good old Iron Head? Or yeah, Iron Head's great. Cow -tow cleave? I think Iron Head's probably good here because it's it's better on like these mods Obama specifically. Snow. Interesting switch. Oh, nice, nice. So call, Titan. Do some big damage. Oh, I like shiny things a lot. It's all how Halloween like. Mm. Switching, why would they switch a bomb cell for the Titan? The Titan, your guess is as good as mine. That did nothing. This thing is tanky. Hmm. <laughs> I'm Can yelling. It's starting again? to become really funny. What's that? <laughs> Can I torch song? Yeah, they're probably going for like earthquake plus outplay here. Is my guess. Mm. Can my Torch Song get here. rid of Cytaten? Yeah, that'd be really good. The thing is with Aurora Veil, like it's it's pretty tanky. Yeah, maybe like Iron Head again. You could Iron Head again, yeah, because you like you might take an Earthquake, but I think that's okay, right? Yeah. Oh. You don't have to take a not, here. I guess maybe they're not. Oh. Okay, so your Skeletor is so good here. Do you keep your Skeletor alive? Uh oh. Wait, but they're not what's, Earthquake. What's what are they doing? Up? Oh, they are earthquaking. Mega earthquake. Mega turbo earthquake, yeah. All you have to do is keep your skeletons alive, and you're gonna win this, I think. Oh, that's not good. I gave you bad advice. Oh damn. Uh oh. He should survive. He should survive. No. Get fun. Whoa. Jeez, He's that's, oh, they crit. crit. Too? That's actually a huge crit. You were fine otherwise, I think. I was. I'm shocked it did that much. Oh, that's actually really bad. Um. Well, now we know why it switched into Cy Titan. Yeah, ah. So getting rid of the Titan is good, but the Volcarona has become a huge problem, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, here's the plan, Jaden. Here's mm -hmm. my vision. We're gonna try and get Annihilate to deal with the Volcarona, like just 1v1, like one for one it, and then use the Titan, or use King Gambit to beat the Murkrow and the Oboma Snow. That's the vision. Okay. Oboma's back on the field. They're they're holding off on bringing Murkrow out. Yeah. I think you have to let Skeletors go down. You can click Slack off just in case they mess up, but like. What happens? Yeah, this if is I the protect? last of Talon. So you was that? What happens if I protect? The thing is, if you protect, then you're just in the same position next turn, and King, King Gambit's kind of the focal point now. So I think you're better off just like clicking Slack off. 
even though mm -hmm. it kind of sucks. If they hadn't crit you there, you would have been fine, but they they did. Yeah. Um, and and I think head yeah, I think protect because you here's the idea. The idea oh. is that stall at the last turn of Tailwind. Hopefully, they don't quiver dance on you. Go into an Ape and then use final gambit into Volcarona to like clean up basically. Mm. The slow Volcarona. Or it's Scarf Boma, which doesn't make that much sense to me. <laughs> we just don't want to see Quiver Dance. Uh-oh. Okay, that's not ideal. <laughs> Volcarona does love to Quiver Dance. It does. I think right, you just got to go Annihilate and, and pray that this works, basically. Pray that you're faster than Volk. You can also, like, King Gambit is so good here that you could switch into Kydreigon here mm -hmm. with King Gambit, but you, no, you probably can't do that. Okay, then just Prage. Just, I think just Final Gambit and Iron Head and pray that it works. Oh! Nice! Super clutch. That's so good. That was close. Huge. Big if true. We can still lose to Freeze, but King Gambit is so bulky. Nice. Nice. Oopsie. Oh, I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'm gonna finish this up. Just um, don't forget okay. you can Terra Steel, which I think will just steal this one on your on your High Dragon. Mm hmm. What should I do? I guess I just Draco Meteor on Murkrow. Because this gets rid of Bombus now. Yeah. Oh, Tailwind. Oh. Oh, no! No! That's unfortunate. That's just so unfortunate. You didn't Terra? I didn't? How come I didn't Terra? I thought I did it. <laughs> well. <laughs> I thought I did Terra it. What happened? Well. Either way. The battle was cancelled. <laughs> Miss Double uh, Blizzard. Oh, he's got his pride and joy to Titan right there in his in his little card. <laughs> Woo! Continue battling. We're doing good. Do Let's do. What's the Cassiopeia music? Why not? Isn't the Cassiopeia music really good? Hmm. Everything good? Oh. Yep, we beat him. Nice, good job. He double uh, missed Blizzard weird. at the end there. Oh, <laughs> I don't think they couldn't get through King Gambit without a freeze. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's Talonflame. So, what, do you remember what we learned from last time we played Talonflame? <laughs> it's annoying. It's annoying, and we, we're pro we probably shouldn't bring our Toad School. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so that is awesome. I'm going to give you advice on the Mons here, because this is a weird team. I think we want to do Hydreigon up front. Oh, yeah? With, um, next to Skeleturge. And then in the back, we definitely want King Gambit here. And I think... I think Meow. I think Meow Scarada. Really? Yeah. Why it's a uh, Meow Scarada? So basically, like the first three should definitely be coming, and then the set, like it was, it was between Annihilate or Meow Scarada, and I, I thought Meow Scarada was better here because this is kind of a hyper offense team, and I think the ability to have Focus Ash is actually pretty valuable. Oh. Because you take two hits. That's but Annihilate was like a little better offensively, but like. Yeah, I don't know. I figured that, like, I also think that against opposing, in case this is like a bulk up Annihilate set or 
even if it's a Scarf and Eyelids that I still like Miascarata better. And um, mm -hmm. like neither of them are amazing into Arcanine, but we have Skeletors for that. Gotcha. I see. I like the mono color tra trainers. Yes. It's fun. So I think that we might just need to be aggressive with our Terra here. Um, you can either Terra steal your Hydreigon, or you can Terra Fairy and just try and one shot the Hydreigon yourself. Um, this is mm. tough though, like because basically, like in all honesty, you'd probably rather. Oh, this is just tough. You, um, I think actually, Jaden, you take the wheel on this one because there's not. I don't see a great answer, so I think better to play based oh, on intuition. Um. Oh. It... <laughs> Shit. Sorry, I kind of um, threw in the fire. Dragon Meteor. Mm -hmm. Terra. I. Uh, no, why would I do that? No! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. Uh oh. What's coming out? Probably the Hydreigon. If this is Terra like Steel, you are the most cracked player of all. Jane, Holy shit! Holy shit! I did it! <laughs> you are so good! <laughs> You are so good. Holy oh my cow. god. Oh my god. <laughs> that is unbelievable. What a read. Oh my god. That might be game winning. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. <laughs> it's okay. You still survive. As long as you don't flinch, you're actually in pretty good shape. Because you take out the Terra right away. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Oh, oh my nice play. <laughs> it was all it was all planned. <laughs> <laughs> this is still a little dangerous, but definitely off to a good start. <laughs> you know, I'm just I'm just in their head. <laughs> You're just a little different. It's casual. It's another day on the job. I know a Terra Steel High Dragon when I see one. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the wildest thing about that is that even if we knew what Terra type they were, it was still like a really, it was still like, it, like I don't know if I would have made that play, even if I knew they were Terra Steel. <laughs> so the fact that you made it like, <laughs> <laughs> you definitely are thinking about it. They're like questioning everything they've ever, they've ever known. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now no what I do. <laughs> yeah, so I don't see a reason not to just protect with both. Let's just slow the play, like slow the pay uh, the piece a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we want to see if the Arcanine is like close combat. You know what I mean? Mm. This stupid talent flame is such a pain. Yeah. What is the plan for getting rid of it? Just hitting it hard? I we're gonna have to figure that one out together. Gotcha. We still have our Terra, so we have like a pretty decent option there. The question is, do they have close combat on this Arcanine? Oh, Brave Ward. Brave Ward. Hey, rough. Okay, that's good to know. Mm. Arcanine gets so many different moves. I know. So this is tricky because we could Terra Steel, but then they could make the read right back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm hmm. What would be why why would we want to Terra Steel? If we could just get like one Tailwind up or one Draco Meteor into this Talon Flame, we'd be in pretty good shape. Because like we'll mm -hmm. die to play rough, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So this turn um, we need to do something. Basically, do you think they're gonna play rough again? Or do you think they're gonna go for the flare blitz? Uh I could see them play roughing again. Why not? Okay. Yeah, I, so for me I'd be like, why not? Yeah, let's tailwind then. And, and then, maybe slack uh, off in case they decide to try and cover both options. Hmm. I like this song. I like the Cassiopeia song. This one. This is a, song. You're going to have to show me what this one's called because I forgot. It's Cassiopeia. Okay. Do you know this Cassiopeia is, probably one of my is top like a, songs. a historical hmm? figure? You know what I mean? Like, Because well, there's it? also a league character named Cassiopeia. Oh, really? I think so. My, maybe chat knows. I only know from I've never TFT. heard of it. Okay, bird brave. No. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I think. Skelly dirge. Question is, do they flare? Which do they play rough? Oh, oh, damn. oh, they got us. They boomed us. Damn. <laughs>
so sad. This town Talonflame is a real problem for this team. I'm sorry, because like we didn't. Everything on the team is weak to Talonflame one way or another. Mm. Oh, people are saying Cassiopeia is a constellation. Oh, okay. I think we could still win this. I believe. Wait. Sorry, it's it's dumb. It like makes you choose if we want to the like, left or the right what? now. I was like, wait, what if I want him on the left? <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to play. We gotta, we gotta make a big move here. We're gonna double sucker punch the Talon Flame, I think. Oh shit. Or the Arcanine, but I think we have a higher chance of killing the Talon Flame. Yeah. Hopefully they don't Willow us. In which case, we'll just be super doomed. But if they have, honestly, if they have Willow us, Jaden, like even if we kill the Arcanine, we're losing for sure. They're thinking. They're thinking about it. They're Hopefully starting they're to cook. The what can, looking at their cookbook. What are they cooking? What recipes we got? <laughs> Jaden, open the book. <laughs> Jaden, <laughs> turn to page 67. <laughs> no, not 67 yeah! recipes. Okay, we're still this, maybe. Okay, we really need them to do flare blitz. Nope, not that slug. Come on, King Gambit, you got, if nobody else got me. Oh. <gasps> he got huge survive. King of it lives like everything. He's so bulky. We're not even that like we only have like a hundred HP EVs out of like a maximum of like two hundred fifty-two. Wow. Okay, Tailwind's down. Double Dark versus Arcanine and and what? What? Show us something tiny. Something small. Tiny small maybe thing. Wash. Gold Gold Dango. Dango. Oh, wait, Jaden, we're. We could win this with oh, air balloon. Can we? Yes. I think, okay, we have to make this turn correct. I think, okay, try, okay, knock off the Arcanine. Yeah. And I think, um, Kowtow cleave the Golden Go. Because they can't Terra, and I think that. Oh, it's gonna be close. There's a chance that they expect, since we just showed Sucker Punch, they might expect us to Sucker Punch again. Yeah. If we win this, we're honestly so cracked. Oh! Wait, that's, that's, I think we can win. I think we win now. Oh, we definitely win. We won. Oh, oh! Damn! That's so good. Oh my god. Oh, they play, <laughs> we got in their head. We absolutely got in their head. We did. That was uh, that was a nutty comeback. That was looking doomed. <laughs> so I think uh, now we have to use, we can just knock off with um Meowth Grotta and we can sucker punch with King Gambit and that way like whether they attack or whether they just try to set up they're just like screwed regardless. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, whoa! Oh my god! That is a Wait, crazy a game. Crit? That is ridiculous oh, damage. Damn. Well played, well played, and I think you know, it, all came it all came back to that turn one torch song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they have the cool uh, salamans. <laughs> Roaring Moon or, or... Roar, uh, is it called Roaring Moon? I don't know yeah. the names. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was a crazy game. That was a that was a wild one because that was an awful matchup. Like. <laughs> And they got the the flare blitz into that. That was funny because both Terra Steel Hydreigon got KO'd by fire move. Yeah. <laughs> they, <turned. laughs> they got us back. I, okay, I actually, I wonder, like, do you think that it's more, like, do you think an opponent is more likely to, like, use a fire, like, do you think because we hit their Hydreigon with a fire move, they were more likely to then go for it into ours to, like, kind of, like, prove, you know what I mean? Ooh, Big pig. Maybe. I hope they have Lechung Lechungus. Oh, Whoa, look at these weird oh, guys. Pelipper, yeah. this fucking toilet ass bird. <laughs> Sableye scary. Um, there's some scary mods here. Um, Sableye's actually all a, different ones. There are a bunch of new mods. So, so they've got Toxtricity. Um, you definitely want to bring Meowth Garada to this. I mm -hmm. feel like Annihilate is not bad here, though it might have some issues. Um, King Gambit, I think, is pretty decent here, and, or maybe, I think, okay, let's do Hydreigon, Meowth Grotta up front, mm -hmm. with King Gambit and Nihilape in the back, I think. Because I think one of the scarier Pokemon here is the Sableye, 
and I think just being able to like so because like because you're like because your dark types are immune, are immune to prankster moves I think it's like pretty, oh, that's pretty yeah, useful. Yeah. yeah I see I see oh apparently um my oh Aaron, you know yeah Aaron Zhang apparently uses this on his channel um anyone know you want to any any item tell me yours any tell me what the items are I can actually pull it up. Right, I'll, I'll, Jaden, I'm, being I'm, I'm opening the cookbook. Aiden, I'm, I'm figuring out what they're cooking. I got oh, the family recipe. the cookbook? I'm opening uh -huh. it up. I'm opening it up. Okay. Hang they're on, trying wait, to, don't, to don't rain on our little cookbook. Wait, okay. there's only rain on the battlefield. That's so cool. Yeah. Um. I think just Tailwind and Flower Trick here. I'm trying to pull the that's... Foul Trick uh, on Dreadnought, right? Yeah. The quad. Please. Okay, Scarf wow. Serena. That's fine. Teleport looks awful right now. Why does it look so ugly more than know. normal? They have like low poly versions when they can't load correctly. Yeah. Did nothing? God, this song's good. Aaron won't show me the King Gambit. I can't find where the King Gambit talks about King Gambit. Wow. Hurricane. Whoa! That's fine. That's honestly fine. As long as we don't get confused. Okay. I can't find where he talked about the King Gambit. Aaron, what? Oh, oh it's just Solfa's King Gambit. Oh, okay. Do you remember what we have in the back, Jaden? Um, yes. We have uh, King Gambit and Annihilate. Fine. Okay, let's... Okay, here's here's what I'm thinking. Let's, um... Let's Dark Pulse the Pelipper and switch me Grata into... Um, our... Annihilate. Wah. Wah. Stupid ass bird. Stupid bird. I don't like Pelipper either. I'm glad we're united on that front. <laughs> yep, Sucker Punch fail. Oh, nice. Pelipper does not have protect. Honestly, like nothing less even protect. I thought that's like flinch, 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 all flinch, it flinch, does. Flinch. <gasps> oh, huge! <laughs> You can just uh, dark pulse in close combat. They're they're kind of pinned because nothing has protect. Okay. Take that. Yeah, like they, there's no real easy way to switch into this. Unless they have like what Sableye in the back. There's nothing that switches into this. It's probably Serena as the last. Serena. It's the music, uh, Wolf. It's the music. It's popping us off. It, it's it's powering us up. We got the music. We got the cookbook. We got the we got the music cookbook. <laughs> we got the sheet music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Big not pig. gonna be easy to switch into. Ah, you're red now. Okay. <laughs> He's like meow Scar meow Scarot is out. He can I'm cook. <laughs> <laughs> it has protect. It's uh. 118 times 2 divided by 1.5 is faster. Okay. Um, cool. Ooh, I like uh, King of It in the timer ball. That looked really oh, cool. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I, I'm not very good at choosing good balls. My ball, my Just ball. Just the animation. Is... Yeah. The animation of like all the clocks around it was so cool. That is cool. Oh, Pelipper comes back out. <laughs> yeah, but no, they, no, they're kind of just in more. danger because, like, okay, Serena. Serena's here. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking, Jade. Mm -hmm. Can I call you Jade? No, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> no, so it's okay. It's has okay. Protect, and then Serena doesn't. We could just dark pulse uh -huh. and close combat the Serena. Like, they're kind of in danger okay. if that happens. Serena's such a weird Pokemon. Why it would is. they have, like, a mainland, uh, main, like, a character named Serena and then name a Pokemon Oh, Serena? yeah. I didn't even think about that. Like, that's why I was like, what in the yeah. world were they doing? <laughs> oh, it's gone. it's gone. Wow, we kind of washed them. Yeah, well, we still have to clean up the end, but we should be okay. Okay, that's not going to KO either. Tailwind is gone. It's not ideal, but... Oh, actually, yeah, I think we have guaranteed game here. Well, guaranteed the minus box. Yeah, yeah so it, yeah, because their rain's about to end, so all, <laughs> which is a uh, uh, funny saying, but yeah, I think we just have to double the uh, Pelipper here because it can't protect. 
Mm hmm. Just hit hard. Yeah. Because if, if Pelipper goes down, we definitely win. Okay. Oh, yeah, we didn't even Terra. Oh. Yeah, we haven't needed to yet. Because we have two Pokemon with. We have, um. Dreadnought, or um, King Gambit in the back, who should be pretty good here. Oh, he missed. Or they missed, sorry. Yeah, that's Aww. the game. Oh, so Hydrogen survived. They needed to double flinch us to still win, so it's not like that bad, but mm -hmm. yeah, it still feels bad, I'm sure. It feels good to knock out Pelipper. Yeah, it always does. Why do you hate Especially Pelipper with so punches. Much? It's ugly, and it's just such a downgrade from Wingle. I love Wingle. I like Wingle, too. And I just, I would be happy if Wingle did not evolve. It was just a one-off Pokemon. <laughs> it was like Love Disc. Yeah. I love Wingle. Pelipper like Wingle is just too. not, it's also just annoying. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like the Zubat of the sea. Yeah, and I'll, it also, like, you run into one, it doesn't let you run, and then it protects for no reason. It's like, bro, <laughs> let me go. That's funny. I don't like Pelipper because it's bad, like, competitively. Although, maybe right now it's better, but, mm. yeah. Continue battling. We do one We're more. close to Ultra Ball. Actually, it might be two more. That went up not very much. I'm sticking to Cassiopeia. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't gonna. Song. I wasn't gonna ask you to, but I'm happy that you are. <laughs> <laughs> We've been having good battles with Cassiopeia. We music. have been. We've gotten like it's cool. Like right now, there's so, there's like a ton of Pokemon diversity. Like it's like everything is, is like viable. Mm -hmm. You know. Nate. I'm just shocked we haven't seen Skeledurge. Yeah, we oh, still look at all need these one. Guys. Oh, what the? This is a weird one. Okay. You know, it's not a bad matchup for Toad School. <laughs> we don't have to bring it, but it's not a bad matchup for it. We haven't seen him in a while. He's been we chilling. Give the little, let the little guy cook. Wait, you know, you know who looks really strong here, Jaden? Oh. Well, what are you, what are you, what are your instincts in terms of maybe not the order, but what you think is strong? Um. Uh, does anything take out King? Gab King Gambit. That's what I'm thinking. Like King Gambit looks so strong here. Yeah. Can um, you lead so, with King yeah, Gambit? Yeah, let's lead. Though? Yeah, why not? Like, yeah, what are they gonna do about King it? King Gambit and his little friend Toad's cool. Yeah, and then in the back, I kind of like Annihilate here because it outspeeds the it outspeeds both Dragapult and Meowth and um, mm. Kilowattril. And I, the last one, I think either Meowth or Hydreigon. Your 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 choice. Um, I'm down for High Dragon. He, he's cool. put, he's, uh, put in the work. He's been good. I agree. So I guess, um, people might not know. So Toad School has an ability called Mycelian Might, which is really bad. Basically what it says is that it's anything that's not doing damage will always go like second um oh. <laughs> uh but it ignores abilities which is good huh so here we're like things look pretty good for us but we have to keep in mind that um sylveon often run terra fire terra blast so you might just want to keep that in mind when you're making your move mm. gotcha gotcha um well then if it's gonna terra then i want to score it yeah i agree and then ooh. Well, maybe you could just protect well... it because it will do a lot of damage. Oh, true, 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 true. Yeah, there's the Terra. Yeah, there it is. I guess the danger here is that they double you with Air Slash and Terra Blast, which I hadn't really considered. We could have gone Terra Water here as well, but it, it seemed risky because they could have just protected. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, they just go for Tailwind. That'd be kind of cool. Nice. Yeah. That's super good. That's less good. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Ha ha ha. 
Unfortunate for them. Unfortunate for them. Very fortunate for us. Okay, so here, do you think they're gonna air slash into your Toad's Cool, or do you think they're going? Ah, what? I guess like air slash isn't even gonna do that much damage. What? What's, what's your instinct here? Um. Well, what are the what are the options we have? I think you either go for Spore Kilowattrol, and I think you always go for Cowtail Cleave into Sylveon to get some damage down. Okay. And then you either, if you think they're gonna air slash, then you Spore, and if you think they're gonna Thunderbolt into King Ambit, you Rage Powder. But the truth is that like Thunderbolt's not gonna do that much, so you're probably fine just to spore it yeah i feel like yeah i agree and then kowtow did you say yeah i think so into sylvian because it's a fire type now oh i hadn't thought about electro ball <gasps> my kill that's not good <laughs> that's my bad well now it's asleep yeah ah, i didn't i totally that's my bad i totally forgot electro ball oh and king gambit was our ace too oh no <laughs> We can bring it back. Yeah. We have to use Hydreigon. That was the problem. <laughs> the Sylveon's eyes are still open. It's creepy. That is creepy. The the Kilowattro's eyes are closed. Yeah, appropriately. Okay, is I think we just need to get lucky terror? with sleep turns here. So let's go for Spore. On Sylveon? On Sylveon and Dark Pulse into Sylveon. We really need Sylveon. If Sylveon wakes up here, we just auto lose. Okay. Phew. Oh, okay. Okay, so here. We could get a little cheeky. We could go for Mirror Coat, Terra Steel, and Tailwind. If the Sylveon wakes up. Um, oh. Like, it'll KO itself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sure. You want to go for it? So we mirror yeah. coat, pray for a wake up, Terra Steel, and uh, Tailwind. Tailwind, I think. Yeah. We hope we get the two turn sleep on Sylveon and the Kilowatch will stay asleep. It's doable, it's just difficult. Okay, that's good. We, now we want Sylveon to wake up. Come on, Sylveon. Enough sleeping. Oh! <gasps> Hyper voice? No! Oh! No! <laughs> Why would they do that? Yeah. Wait, we're gonna yeah. live. We're gonna live. We're gonna live. Oh. Okay. And then? <laughs> I thought it was going on high dragon. I was, I was freaking out. <laughs> yeah! That's so cool. <laughs> we did. <laughs> that was such a funny play. <laughs> Damn. Toad School's first kill. That's his first kill, and it's on a terrible Toad School one. blood. <laughs> He's popping off. I want a shiny Toad School now. Yes, Garada. Oh, yes, Garada. That's kind of spooky. Ooh, what a nice shiny. The problem is Toad School can't really do anything here. I guess just spore the kilowatt roll. Actually, Jaden, there's okay. a chance. I think this is winnable. Okay, I see the vision. Spore the kilowatt mm -hmm. roll and Dark Pulse the kilowatt roll here. That's my advice. Yeah. What what's cooking? Because here's what's the thing. In the, they, what's in the pot? <laughs> both of these Pokemon oh. cannot have focus sash. So there's the focus sash on the kilowatt roll, which means if we either get the flinch or the three turn sleep, then Miascarada is like in range of Annihilate. Oh we got the three turn sleep! Oh damn. Hopefully they take out Toad School here. Oh Yes, yeah. that's super good, okay. Because now Miascarada, like uh, it it can't do anything about close combat. So you can make this into like a uh, a, two, a two v one, I think. Oh. Because we know where the focus ash is. It's on the kilowatt roll. So you can just close combat mm. the Miascarado and dark pulse the um, kilowatt roll, and Watchel. and they might be able to protect kilowatt roll, but they can't protect their Miascarado from you. Oh. You should kill oh. right. Okay, yeah, hold on. Does. Oh, we it got didn't a crit. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. Feels good though. If the fact that this is even possible is like pretty wild given how bad it started. <laughs> it's the Cassiopeia music, Wolf. It it's is. The it ca we above. got double crit. We got double crit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Toad School's popping off. A oh, Dragapult. Okay, I forgot there was one more. Yeah, but the problem is that we locked into close combat, which is my bad. But but you have Oopsie. Drago Meteor. 
So you have to keep clicking close combat into Dragapult. Uh, it does nothing, but Draco Meteor will KO it. Okay. But if they have Protect Don't and miss. Tail, it might end, and you could miss. Actually, sorry, Dark Pulse is better. I, that was really dumb of me. If we lose on a miss, then that's my bad. <laughs> Cassiopeia doesn't... Uh, we're protected. I like the Come little... Come on, my dragon, 90% um, like, of the time. The maybe they'll just forfeit. Maybe they'll expect us to not make a mistake. Maybe. Maybe they, they give up. <laughs> Moment of truth. My dragon, Drago, Drago Meteor. It hits. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> what a comeback. <laughs> I want to say Toad School's the MVP because we were not getting through that Sylveon. And we yeah. also needed, we definitely needed the three turn sleep on Kilowattle there. <laughs> Damn, so lucky. <laughs> Toad School. I'm going to go shiny hunt a, to a Toad School. Heck now. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We might make it to Ultra Ball with that. Maybe. I don't want to jinx it. We might need one more. Mm. Continue battling. Oh. We did! Wow. Hell yeah. Holy, 20, holy shit, so many oh, league you're rich. points. Yeah, you can buy me a Slurpee. <laughs> league point Slurpee. <laughs> league point Slurpee. <laughs> league point Slurpee. Machine broken, sorry. Wait, so rank 11 is uh, Master Ball? Yes, yeah, so if you get one more, if, oh. we, get, if we rank up one more time. Interesting. Why not three more ranks until Master Ball? I don't know, man. I don't like the rules. And we've played oh, a team a bunch. Oh, we've played derivatives of this team a bunch. Mm hmm. Oh, they're already well, standing the by. Holy one. shit. What was that? You take the wheel on this one. Oh, geez. Um, I feel like. Well, a night. No, King of It comes because of Goldango. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, looks like Skeletor might rock out here. I like Skeletor here. Um, Skeletor up front, about, I think. Yeah, but in the back. What about what about what our about boy? That's cool. Our I, I, cool. I would say I, I would I would say let's go. And then oh, okay, who's at, who's at the end? Maybe like a good old a good old. Hmm. Maybe like a I'm thinking either Annihilate or High Dragon. Mm -hmm. They're both they're both good. Um. But Nihilate can be better into Dragonite because it's immune to extreme speed. Um, High Dragon is oh, like I think a, a little bit better into. Uh, maybe do another. Uh, uh, High Dragon is better into into uh, Goldango, but you have King Gambit and Skeletor. Yeah, we already cool. have Goldango. This has been so fun. I'm having so much fun with our. I'm so little glad. Team. I'm so glad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that I'm glad I was able to do it. Like. I, there was definitely like two, it was definitely like two days ago and I was like banging my head into the desk being like I know Skeleturge <laughs> and Meowsicron are good but what else is gonna work and like I'm glad I feel yeah. like this, I put together a good team here thank you for putting together this team I love them all so much <laughs> okay Sylveon Murkrow yeah so what are you thinking here well we always torch song the Murkrow yep, yep. we exactly. always do that so true and then maybe just spore the Sylveon. Oh, they might well, taunt you. I guess, do you want to? Yeah. Do you want to try and get a mirror coat off? Oh, a little, like just, bit, just a little nasty. A little, be a little mean. You know what I mean? Like uh, imagine they like mirror... Terra Fire, Terra Blast you. Oh, you're right. Sure, Toad Skull. Try it again, buddy. Oh. Okay. Nice. Well, that's a little bit of damage. What is that? Throat spray? Yeah, oh. throat spray. I feel like whenever we cover for the taunt, they don't go for it. And whenever we don't cover the taunt, they go for it. Yeah. These Murkrows out here being weird. They're weird, weird crows. I love Murkrow, though. Murkrow. Ooh, nice. <laughs> nice damage. <laughs> so you'll uh, take another well... one of those easily. So you could, um, you could spore. You could, um... You probably want to spore rage powder or mirror coat here is my is my hunch. Okay. Can I just torch song the Murkrow again? You're I'm worried about you taking too much damage because they, they'll kill you with oh. play for the same move, you know what I mean? Ooh, true, true, true. Protect? Yeah, I think protect and maybe try and get a cheeky spore in. A good old cheeky spore on yeah. on who again? Sylveon? Sylveon here, right? Because it's actually doing damage. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Super nice. Great protect, Jaden. That was a really smart call. <laughs> nice. Ooh, wait. Oh my god, they're in so much danger now. Whoa. They're really not. They're they, people out here really let Toad School ball. They're they're not respecting the Toad. They're they're letting us load the Toad. And <laughs> he's winding up his little feet. <laughs> Um, okay, now can I torch song? <laughs> you can, you can. You could also slack off, right? Like, they don't seem to have a way oh, to slack, you're slack right. off the floor. Oh, you're right. I, for, I always forget about slack you off. All of your health back or, like, yeah, like, uh, or take a nap, right? Was. Yeah. The style play won't KO you without Sylveon's help. Yeah. Do they, do they taunt now? If they, no way they, they, can, they can taunt now, but the thing is that gives you, you still come out on top in that trade, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Does this Murkrow not have taunt? It might not have taunt. They're kind of playing like they don't have taunt, right? Oh my god, they're just balling out with Murkrow. Yeah. <laughs> god, that's so good. Oh, now Sylveon's eyes are closed. Huh, then it was just a bug, god, I guess? It looks weird. It looks so bad. Look how bad S Sylveon looks right now. It doesn't now. look very good to me, I'll be completely honest. It's all por uh, polygon. I keep saying porygon. Yeah. Okay, now we can torch. Now song. you can torch song, yeah. Ah, the ah, Sylveon's ah, boosted, ah. so you might want to take it out, but the Murkrow's still yeah. annoying. Like, I'll get rid of the the thing. Yeah, and then I, you not. should just pour into the Sylveon again, I think. Because, like, Murkrow, Sylveon could wake up, but Murkrow can't. Mm hmm. Oh, oh. what? Oh, it's terrifying. What? Fire, but that's very risky. They're like, they're done with Toad School, but uh, this could very much backfire for them. <laughs> Wait, are his eyes open? No, you're asleep. Does it wake up? Is this a spoiler? Nope. <laughs> oh, it's probably the oh, Terra. They, it's they probably didn't, they didn't animate the Terra. closed eyes Terra Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Nice. Oh, it's crit. crit. Holy crap. I don't believe that it's asleep. I don't believe it. <laughs> Good old game freak. So now you have a choice. You can take out the Murkrow or you mm -hmm. can take out the Sylveon. You should definitely Torch Song here because you'll KO either one you touch. Um, yeah. The question is, do you want to take out Sylveon or Murkrow here? I feel like Murkrow because I, I feel agree. like anything else can take care of Syl Sylveon at this point. I agree. Um, and then you could just protect here if you want, like, cause they're they're probably going for Terra Blast, right? Mm. Yep. Oh, sad. Sad. <laughs> they they're so. You can tell when people are like done with Toad School. They're like, get this thing off of my field. <laughs> oh, they doubled it. <laughs> they're so done with Toad School, dude. Holy shit, they're and done. And now you have plus three Skeleturge. Ah, <laughs> uh, they don't respect the Toad School uh, Skeleturge. They go I after Skeleturge Toad School balls. They go after Toad School Skeleturge balls. balls. We're cooking. <laughs> These two. Chefs. <laughs> chefs. Absolute chefs. <laughs> oh. Re Annihilate, the reliable partner. Uh, they've had to be re re uh, reliably in the grave. Now you get to do something super mean? <laughs> yeah. So I think this is a good... Oh, well, actually, can you show their team again? Yeah. I guess you don't have to tear it yet. You can just Torch Song this thing, and um, you can Rage Powder just in case they're... Uh, final Gambit. Mm. Well, I guess that wouldn't really make sense, but yeah, I think I still think Rage Powder makes sense. Oh. Ooh. Interesting. What Very were they thinking? I don't know. Maybe they thought we'd go after Sylveon, but now we can just do that next turn. Yeah, I, I guess they just wanted to scout. Oh, oh there that's it is. What they thinking. Interesting. Let's just spread damage down. The thing is, if it says Earthquake, it might just be Choice Scarf. In which case, like, it'd have to KO their own Sylveon, you know what I mean? Mmm. I don't know why would they, why they wouldn't just, like, kill it now. 
because it doesn't seem like it can do much. You could, you could, okay, if there's Scarf, you could spore, you could protect here and spore the Sylveon if you wanted. Because what if they have like High Dragon or something in the back or Dragonite and then like, mm. oh, no, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Yes, yeah, spore the, spore the Sylveon. Because if there's, if there's Scarf, they're going to have to switch Sylveon out. Okay, never mind. And if there's Scarf, they also could Earthquake themselves, I guess. What? Wait, Sylveon's faster than Annihilate? Whoa. It's super slow Annihilate. That's really weird. Well, maybe they Earthquake it and it dies anyway. That would be super nice. I'd like that. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, Rage Fist. Yeah. All right. Um... We just go into our own Annihilate here, I think. Our own. Yeah. And you're just going to try and take out the Sylveon with, um... Probably, so I think you want the Terra Fairy here. And I think you you can actually Torch Song because it will KO anyway. Oh, Terra, Terra, Terra Torch Fairy, Song? Terra Fairy, but use Torch Song, yep. Into the Annihilate. Um, Annihilate? Yeah, and then here, Rage Fist will probably KO. But Close Combat is technically a little safer. It's like Rage Fist mm. is super weak. Maybe just Close Combat to be safe, you know what I mean? Okay. Because if you, even in the worst case scenario, like... Where, like, in a worst case scenario where the close combat causes you to die when you wouldn't otherwise, you would still have, like, in that scenario, you're still fighting up in a two versus one. And I think that's based on what they have in the back. Like, nothing should have a super yeah. easy time against Skeledurge plus King Gambit. <laughs> I can't believe they just let Skeledurge set up so many times. I know. Well, I mean, they were. They I were can't believe to everyone does. I don't blame yeah. them. Yeah. I like the idea of Skeledurge and, and Toad School being really good friends. They totally are, right? They totally are. Because one of them's like <laughs> fast, one of them's slow. You should live this. Yeah. Damn. Hey, that a crit. We would have had a problem. <laughs> nice. How do you get uh, these Pokemon so quickly? Um, I asked my subscribers to help, which is like I'm very grateful for. Mm. Um, yeah, they're they're a huge help. So they're here we have. Uh, you're actually going to protect here. Oh. Sorry, you can do. Sorry, you can do what you want as well. But, no, um, tell me why. Well, so I, I want to know why. Okay, so basically in this position you have a 100% guaranteed win condition. So what you're going to do is protect and switch to uh, your King Gambit. Mhm. Mm because basically the the Dragonite is their last Pokemon, right? Yeah. So if you hit Dragonite with Final Gambit, you'll always win as long as you have a partner alive. So we're going to alternate protecting one Pokemon. Well, like, because the idea is, like, if one of the, if, like, let's say you attacked here and they got Earthquake Omega Turbo Crit and killed both your Pokemon, you could no longer <laughs> Final Gambit. Um, mm -hmm. But if you, like, make sure that only one Pokemon, like, that you always have a partner alive, then you can always Final Gambit and win the game that way. You know what I mean? Mm. So now this time you can Terra Blast and protect with King Gambit. And basically gotcha. just say like, yes, I'll let you have a KO, but if that happens, then you'll lose to Annihilate. Oh, oh, yeah. Or this can just happen. Wah. Yeah! Nice job. <laughs> Skeletor's, I mean, honestly, Skeletor's carried here, but Toad School was really, I think, the MVP. The two of them. Oh, I love you them. I love them so much. <laughs> this definitely makes me like, when I first saw Toad School, I was like, that's an abomination. But the more, like, playing <laughs> games with it, I'm like, I love this thing. It's so good. Yeah, me too. I was like, oh, what a silly little guy that, like, runs really fast for some reason. <laughs> and now I'm like, this little guy balls. Yeah, this, this, guy, guy, this guy absolutely balls. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're so like close. Two more. Yeah, like two, two more, more yeah. Ah, uh, I gotta Cassiope stick with yeah. Cassiopeia. We started go doing so well as soon as Cassiopeia. I know. 
so the cool thing I started to explain basically Toad Skull's ability means that it, it always moves last when it uses moves that don't do damage but it ignores abilities that prevent its moves so for example Goldango is good as gold which stops status moves but you can still spore it um mm. oh lord almighty okay Look this is a really weird scary ones. this is a, uh yeah oh god okay you definitely want to lead Annihilate here for sure okay you're gonna want to lead I think High Dragon as well. I think High Dragon is going to be our chief, like, our, our prime Terra uh, can oh, here. Oh, interesting. You're going to mm -hmm. want King Gambit in the back. And... I think probably Meow Skirata here. Ooh. This is, like, a really... This is a very threatening team. So, like, yeah, sorry for kind of taking no, control I... over the team preview. No worries at all. What's, what's the... What do they do? So, basically... Armor Rouge is the only expanding force user in the game. So this team is like a really scary combination of Trick Room on like the, um, on the, uh, like with Ndidi Armor Rouge, which both of whom are getting Trick Room in this game, but they also have Tailwind with Murkrow. They could also have Trick Room on the Meow Skirata, and they just have a lot of offense. So like, mm -hmm. we're going to try and like out offense them rather than trying to like try to like slowly set up on them. Okay. So here, we're definitely going to lock into close combat, I think. Okay. And I think it's the mice. That's my instinct. <laughs> I love I love the mice so much. And I think you want a dark pulse into the Miascarada here. Okay. Because I'm a little worried about Trick Room, which is why otherwise we'd Tailwind, but it could be Trick Room here. Unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Okay. Ooh. If they don't Damn. set Trick Room up, it puts us in a really nice spot for the next turn. So if they flinch, or if they just didn't go for Trick Room. Oh, they went for Trick Room. Okay, that's fine. Flinch, flinch, flinch. <gasps> oh, we got a flinch. flinch. That might be a win. So now what are you thinking? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so you're Annihilate is faster than both their mons. Mm hmm And you're locked into close combat. Yes. Oh, so I, I, wait. I just hit the, the cat, right? Yep. Mm hmm Okay. And then this guy... Uh, no idea what to do with High Dragon. So he's, so he's a dark type, and uh, his, like, uh, Armour is a psychic type. Oh. You can just dark pulse it. Oh. They, well, they, they gave quit. up. They gave up already. <laughs> Turn one, they gave up. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> wow. The one flinch. They were, they've the been having. It, it was pretty impactful because at that point, their armor probably didn't have protect. So they like probably could no like we were probably just going to get T like four KOs in two turns. Oh. Uh, damn. I don't think wow. it, didn't, it, it didn't update the win yet. You were at 17 before, right? So like it'll probably update yeah. with the next one. So you're 17 and four. So like we'll have to pay attention. Jelfy. Jelfy. Man. Oh lord. Reloom. Reloom is kind of spooky. We bring Skeledurge, right? I think Skeledurge is strong here. We just gotta watch. The Breloom is like pretty scary. Mm, I don't know what Breloom does. He, I know he it likes... puts you to sleep. Um, mm -hmm. which is not good. Um, so I think okay. Ah, <sighs> oh, jeez. I think Skeletor is just strong here. That's my first instinct. Mm -hmm. So I think let's lead Skeletor. Um. Let's lead Annihilate. Let's bring Meow Skirata in the back. Meow yeah, Skirata. And let's bring either High Dragon or King Gambit. Let's maybe do... Uh... Let's do High Dragon. Ooh. Ooh. 
They got some scary guys. They scary have some and little guys. guys. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough one. Verloom is really difficult. It's tough because they have Murkrow. Like without Murkrow, we could have gone Toad here, but we could have unloaded the Toad. But with the with the Crow, mm. oh god. So here, you have a choice. You can either go, like, it depends on what you think they're going to do. If you think they're going to spore Skeleturge, which I think is kind of likely, you should protect and U-turn it. Oh, true. I think they will do I, that. I think they will do that too, yeah. Who do we go into? Probably Meow Skirata because that way they can't spore us at all. Ah. Okay, and that's so good, Jaden. That's actually super clutch. I like the annihilate thing. It like when it comes out, it like crunches. <laughs> I did no damage. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, okay, they nice. went for Mia Scarada. Yeah. So the problem is that now we're probably gonna get Spore in the other slot, which is, I guess, okay. It just is kind of, it makes it difficult. Um, mm -hmm. I think you just have to take a sleep turn here and just go for Torch Long into Breloom. Like, hopefully they'll gotcha. mess up, but they probably won't. And then with Miascarada, maybe knock off the Hydreigon, like, just to um, take away its item. Like, this could this could just cut its damage output, which would be useful. Yeah. Oh, Mock Punch. Mach what? Oh, we're gonna get the Breloom here. Wait, why that's actually it... super good. I don't know why they why would do that. Why is he Maybe they not thought... threatened by I don't know. Uh, unless they dark pulsing at the flinch. That'd be bad. Wise glasses The wise again. glasses. Oh, into Meow. Okay, they really want Meow gone. Oh. That's fine, though. Okay. now we have a boost on Skeledurge. Do we? Do, do, do people not know that Skeledurge has, has, is, is good? <laughs> they probably over-predicted, is my guess. They probably thought oh. that, like, we were going to, like, that. no way do we let, just let Skeledurge fall asleep. But we didn't really have a choice there. Mm-hmm. The nice thing is that now we get to go back into um into uh, annihilate, annihilate. And we and we have a boost now and like yeah now we and yeah. we still have the terra fairy mind game all right i think now is the time to step on the ghost sauce so i think you want to final gamble one of these mons and i think you want to terra blast one of these mons I want a Terra Blast. Ooh, you're right. Um, I guess. Wait, what does it? What was? What was the Wise Glasses? What did it just powered do? up its special moves. But I, I think that um, I, if you're thinking about hitting the Hydreigon, I think that's correct. Okay. Because the Hydreigon is more likely to protect here, and I think you want to. I don't think you want to take an Earthquake. So by wait, final gambit the... here, you kind of like pin them. I think. Oh, final gambit guard jump. Yeah, I think so. That's us, right? Yeah. Okay, so they didn't Terra. Oh, interesting. That's actually, I think, better for us. Because we actually would rather... It depends if they Tailwind or if they um, Dark Pulse or something. I don't think they have Tailwind, though, Jaden, because they would have gone for it by now, I think. Yeah. Dark okay. Pulse? Fine. Oh, but if the last mon is Gold Dengo, we're gonna have some danger, I think. Hmm. They haven't terrored yet. Okay. My dragon's down. Okay. There it is. There it is. I think we have to protect our Skeleturge. Oh, we have to final gamba right into the guard chomp, I think. Sure. Does it kill anymore? It won't. But the thing is, we still have to do it, I think. Oh. Okay, it's not sex though. Hang on. Is he earthquaking? Probably, but uh yeah, probably. We hope they're not swords dancing. That'd be bad. <laughs> that would be oh, if the last one was King Gambit instead of Hydreigon, we would have been so fine. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so here's my thought process. We have Hydreigon. 
Mm -hmm. I think we go for Tailwind and Torch Song. Ooh. Into the into the Goldango. Yeah. Because it, like if we go down to Dragon Claw, then we lose regardless. But if we survive the Dragon Claw, like they might go for Terra Steel here. And we should still KO because we got the plus one boost earlier. So I think we go Tailwind Torch Long and hope it takes out Goldango and hope that Hydreigon survives. Because if we get the Tailwind up, we should win regardless. There's also not every buddies. version has Dragon Claw, but it really should. So yeah. we'll see. It is kind of nice that they're not choice specs though. Like, because that gives us a slightly better chance, but it probably doesn't matter. Oh. Oh. What's what's coming out? Probably Terra Steel is my guess. That's what we predicted. Oh, ghost. It's ghost. That's much worse. Iron Head. Oh, if we don't flinch. Weird. Flinch? If we don't flinch, we're, we're in the clear. Actually, it might not even matter. We might just need to survive. Which we, we actually probably don't. Oh. Okay, it probably doesn't do enough, unfortunately. Ah, oh. oh, not enough. Oh, I'm Make sorry, Jaden. I think I, I think I led us astray. Oh, no. I totally <laughs> did. Oh, man. We could have just Dark Pulse, but it was... Ugh. Uh, we thought it was, was going to be Steel, though. Yeah, they're almost Scalander. always Steel. Mm. Poor buddy. It was a tough matchup. I think we did pretty well. All. Yeah. I feel like we don't have Heat Wave. Yeah, dark you just Dark pulse. pulse. I guess Dark Pulse one of them. You. Yeah. Maybe it'll go for Earthquake. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah, okay. That was the right play by them. Ah, we were so close. It's super rare to see Terra Ghost because most of them prefer to use like Make It Rain like as their main mm. attack. But they yeah. honestly, they might not just not have had the Terra Shards. Damn. Damn. Close one. Really close one. Jolfy, we'll get you next time. We'll get you next time. <laughs> You know, the real problem was there was that we didn't bring Toad School. They, exactly. had the they brought a Pokemon that was closer to Toad School than we did. <laughs> I can't believe they were uh, they, they were playing Braylon weird. They were, yeah. It looks like that the DC just didn't count. Which I is guess stupid. Not. Like, it looks like we just didn't even get any I guess that's so dumb. If you can just disconnect on the ladder and not like have any points, that's super dumb. Maybe like, yeah, I had no idea. Maybe there's different types of disconnects. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how there would be. It's, yeah, it's weird. This went out and unplugged their router. I know. <laughs> See, that's, Whoa, yeah. look at these oh, guys. Oh, the Dozo team. Wait, this looks like Aaron yeah. Trailer's team. Um, hang on, I think I have the rental for this. Let me find it. <laughs> that's funny. Um. Okay, I think we do a Nihilate and Meowth Grotto lead. Mm -hmm. With Galadurge. And King Gambit in the back. Yeah, like that. Yep, okay. Nice. Let's pull up the... All right, let's pull up the rental team. This is my friend Aaron Trailer built this. Aaron, is that the Aaron that Not I the met? one that you met, no. Okay. Different Aaron. So how does the Dundozo and the Sushi guy work? So basically, they, the Dundozo, if, if Tatsugiri and Dundozo are on the field together at the same time, Tatsugiri jumps inside of Dundozo's mouth, and it makes it the battle of two against one, um, and in exchange, um, uh, Dundozo gets plus two in all of its stats. Which is like Holy pretty big. Shit. Yeah, so it's like pretty, pretty, uh, pretty big upgrade. Wow. Ooh, I like the character. Yes. Okay, I've got the team here. I feel like an export somewhere. Okay, I have this. Okay. So nothing on this team has protect. So you can actually go for. Close combat into the Hydreigon. 
because it can't protect. Mm -hmm. And knock off into the Meow Strata. Yeah, knowing the sets makes it so much easier. <laughs> yeah, it feels like you just have a little cheat sheet. Yeah, I, I literally do. <laughs> oh, nice. it's just gone. It's gone. Question is, are they is going there... for Trick Room or not? Oh, is Dendozo like slow? No, it's fast. Oh no. Oh nice. It's actually super good for us. That's a Geary. Hey, there's Tatsugiri. What happens if we kill the fish before the Dendozo comes out? And we're out? big chilling. So you're going to want to <laughs> double the Miascarada this turn with Close Combat and Flower Trick. Okay. The Meow Scarada? Yep. Okay. To be Icy Wind? Soak. Oh. Soak. Interesting. Okay. That's fine. Hmm. Hmm. Curious. So this is Choice Scarf Tatsugiri, so it's like, basically, if you KO the Dendozo, you just win straight up. And actually, we have a guaranteed win here. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so cute. Jeez, we, now we have to sit through, like, all of all the things moves, going yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, so we have guaranteed win here, so um, you're going to want to save your Annihilate and just switch it out into... Um, probably King Gambit because it's the most expendable. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to knock off the Dundozo. So to get rid of... <laughs> so basically this is because... We're, so again, we have a huge Pokemon lead here. So what we can do is we're just going to put this this um Dundozo in range of um Final Gambit. And then we're just going to Final Gambit to not deal with it. Gotcha. And then does the Tatsugiri come out? Yes, the Tatsugiri will come back it, out. Right? Okay. But it's Choice Scarf, and it's still, it, it like, locked itself into Choice Scarf Soak, so, like, once you deal with Dendozo, oh. you win here. Oh, why would they lock themselves into Soak? They probably didn't fully realize the speeds were the way that they were, and so they thought, like, mm. oh, like, oh, ow. Um, they probably thought, like, oh, okay, like, I can just, um, actually, I don't know why they would do that. Uh, they probably, <laughs> they tried to go for Soak and Flower Trick to pick up a surprise KO, but we were faster. Hmm. Now you can just go for like flower trick and cow tuck leaves. If it's okay nice. if you lose both your mons here, like it's not, uh, not a problem. <coughs> Bless you. Oh, excuse Bless me. You. Thank you. Crit, let's go. Nice. I love popping off for the flower trick crit. <laughs> Rip. Oh yeah, whenever whenever um John Dozo gets or John Dozo gets knocked out, my chat always says Rip Dozo. So like, <laughs> Rip, Rip Dozo. Dozo. <laughs> <laughs> Place him on the left. He always is on the left. He always is on the left. Oh, Skeledurge looking at a grass terra fish. I think to be safe here, you probably should. Nah, actually, it doesn't matter. You can just click Torch Song. Uh, to be perfectly safe, you should Terra Blast here. You should Terra Terra Blast. Terra Blast. Like, I gotcha. think it's like, yeah. And then Final Gambit. And it's very important that you target the Dinozo because if you target the Tatsugiri, the move will just fail, which is super <gasps> stupid. Wow.
There it goes. Rip Dozo. Rip Dozo. <laughs> Tatsuguri is like, I gotta get out of here. He's like, I'm done. He's like, hey guys, what am I coming out to? And then oh, it's, oh, boink. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he, there's no animation where he just, he just pops back up. Yeah, he just, he just shows up. <laughs> He's like, hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> is there a different, like, uh, also huge? Is there any difference between the, the three Tatsuguris or is it all just uh, cosmetic? Um, There is because Dozo has a signature attack called order up it's a dragon type attack and mm -hmm. um the way that it works is if it has like the orange one he gets an, like order up always gives him a boost if it's like orange it's attack if it's red it's defense if it's yellow it's speed oh which is like kind of a broken attack but whatever i don't make the game that's crazy they're really going in on like the competitive this this gen yes i think there's a lot of really cool stuff What's been your favorite Pokemon to use so far? I've used a ton. I like Mousehold a lot. Mm. Oh mm. no, Jin, they got the flame. Talon flame with his big old head. <laughs> they big old his head. head big. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't like playing against Talon flame. <laughs> okay, here's the plan. Ready? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That plan sucks. Never mind. The plan sucks. Um, okay, never mind. High Dragon? Galadurge? Ah, oh, wait, hang on. Do we want Skeladurge here? Uh, High Dragon? Galadurge? King Gambit? Annihilate. Nice. We're gonna try and like deal with the talent flame and then figure the rest out after. Okay. <laughs> yeah, talent flame's hard. It's really hard for us. <laughs> okay, that's not so bad. Okay, what do you what do you think we should do with High Dragon here? Oh, High Dragon. Well, is t does Talon Flame Tailwind? Yeah, it will Talon here. Uh, what if we do our own Tailwind? Is that an option? I think we want to get rid of this Talon Flame because it's gonna give us trouble. So what do you think about Dark Pulse? Meteor? Oh, Dra I think Dark, Dark Pulse should do enough. Okay. Um, the question is. Maybe, do you want to Terra Steel just to be safe, just in case they have something weird? Okay. Terra Steel, Dark Pulse, and then... I think let's switch into, um... I think let's switch into King Gambit. Because that gives us priority. And it also, in case they use, like, a rock or a... You know, a weird move. Mm -hmm. I'm a, like, Terra Steel's a little bit... I don't know, maybe unnecessary, but this thing learns Dazzling Gleam. So, like, just in case, I kind of figured... You know what I mean? Like, let's just not risk it. Yeah. Oh. On Talon Flame? Glamora. No, Glamora. Fairy. Terra Fairy. Oh, Jaden, good thing we didn't. We just Terra Steeled there. Oh my god. You're right. They did have something crazy. They did. They were like, look what I got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the little hat on. Uh, so oh, it cute. looks really cute. I, I'm totally with you. Oh, and it like flips over. I don't care about it. Wow. Damn it. Oh, nice. So much damage. What's your instinct here? Um, just Dark Pulse, right? I kind of wonder if we could protect with both to stall a turn. You know what I mean? Oh, because Tailwind's up already. Yeah, so now we can like start. I'm thinking like protect with both and then maybe try to set our own Tailwind. The Sucker yeah. Punch is kind of obvious, so, okay. It, it, yeah.
Okay. Fire Earth Power. Doesn't move again, okay. I think now is a good chance to go for our Tailwind because Sucker Punch will move first. So we can go for like Tailwind Sucker Punch. Okay. Yeah, I see into that. Into the Talon. And Glamour, is it like like Scarfed or something? I don't know. It's probably oh, not Scarfed, but it could be like Spexed. It could be Assault Fest. Like it probably mm -hmm. has a Poison move and a Rock move and it might even have a Ground move. So like, I think we can probably assume that like, it's like gonna be, like I don't think it can protect basically is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's just, <laughs> stuck doing it does right because like there's not really stuff. a reason to dazzle him. that's a good catch that's a great call Jaden. it might be specs because i don't know why it would gleam there right surely it has better moves against us than dazzle him, right yeah arma rouge arma rouge so that thing can't tear you could just dark pulse it if you wanted don't mind if i do don't mind if i do and then maybe iron head like we have they haven't shown anything that or into the glamora because like it's fairy yeah. type now Oh, there it is. Okay. Ah, baby. Okay, that's okay. Because now their tail is going to run out. So, um, yeah. yeah. So that's actually kind of bad for them. Oh, nice. Geez. Yeah, Life Orb High Dragon's really strong. Man, the Steel Hat is so cool. I love the Steel Hat. I, I like the Fairy Hat in certain Pokemon, though. Like, I really like the way mm -hmm. Glamora looks like with it. Yeah, that one looks... It's cute. Now their tailwind's down and they just protected. So this actually, we ended up timing this super nicely. Yes, Garada. Yeah, what are you thinking Ooh, here? Last guys. Um... Hmm. I guess. Hit Miascar hard with yeah, Draco Meteor. Perfect. I love that. Yeah. And then just Iron Head Glamora, right? 100%. Yeah, great move. Oh, nice job, Jaden. <gasps> oh, damn. Yeah, especially that was a really good move because since we have Annihilate on the back, like even if one of them survives, we can just clean up from there. Mm hmm. Damn. I'm always We're surprised when people, when people uh, just back out. Yeah, it's, it's like, <laughs> it was the trouble. <laughs> I think one more win will probably put us in Master Ball. Ooh. Yeah, one more. This is so exciting. Who's it going to be? Tony. Tony. Tony, what Tony. are you cooking? What's Tony got? Oh, he's oh, got the he's mices. Got, oh, he's, he's got, got, got the mice. mices. He's got Flivion. He's the got mousies. the Okay. What are you thinking here, Jaden? Which Pokemon looks strong to you? Uh, well, we gotta have Annihilate. Yep, I like Annihilate right nice. here. For and hmm. Annihilate and wait, how do we and Hydreigon for sure, right? Yeah, I so I think Annihilate, but we can lock in Annihilate because that's gonna be our lead. Mm -hmm. I feel like they don't have that much for Skeleturge, so I'm kind of down to do Skeleturge here up front. Yeah, I love Skeleton Dirge. Um, I think we want King then... Gambit in the back for the Sylveon and the Armor Rouge. And kind yeah. of the Mises too. And then the last one, I think it's got to be either Hydreigon or Miascarada, and that's personal preference. Ooh. I like Hydreigon. I do too. I do too. Because it's, nice, okay. it's nice to have a Pokemon that can just deal with Armor Rouge in the end game. Because Skeleton Dirge can beat a lot of the stuff, but he can't do that well into Armor Rouge. Mm hmm. Here we go, mouse on the louse. Oh wait, that's such a Ooh, funny trainer they card. got the Charizard. They got the Charizard. Awkward. We gotta looks, beat him. We like... gotta beat him. <laughs> it looks like when your friend is like, "Hey, take a picture," but they move too fast. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Not ready. All right. I have a theory. Oh. There is one strategy where they like. It's probably too risky. It's probably too risky. Basically, they could Terra Dark side quick attack here and activate weakness policy weak armor. Whoa, but that's a lot. It's a lot, yeah. Mm. You could just final gambit into the armor if you wanted and Terra and um Torch Song the Sylveon. 
Sure. Or you could U-turn out. Like, I think there's multiple good options here. I'll just, well, is Armor Rouge a, a threat? No, actually, you're right. It's not that much of a threat. I'll just, oh, wait, 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 wait. No! <laughs> oh, okay, it's okay, though. What does it do? Oh. We just kill it. We just don't know what it's doing, so it's not the end of the world to so just take it out in one yeah. shot. Like, Annihilate is useful to have, but we should have enough tools against the stuff that we need it against. Mm, I thought I backed out, like, all the way. Yeah, yeah, so it's, I yeah it's, you have to, like, hit B so many times. <laughs> we do need to be really careful with the Sylveon now. That was the only problem. Yeah. We do have two steel types, though. Even though, yeah. well, I guess it does go into yeah, possible fire. It's a Terra fire that worries me. Yeah, but we can go to King Gambit here, I think. Just hopefully they don't go into their King Gambit. Okay. Excalibur. I don't think that this thing went any fighting moves. Um... So you need to be careful not to hit this thing with a fire move preemptively because it, it powers up with it. Mm. Um, what's your what's your instinct here? I don't think this thing went to fire. Um, I feel like Sylveon might Terra into fire. Yeah. So yeah, maybe I agree. like Kowtow for Sylveon. I was thinking maybe a protect to slow down the pace. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Or you could you could also Jade and you could Terra your King Gambit here, but it's a little risky in case you get it wrong. Mm. No, I don't want to do it too yet. Oh, yeah. Unless protect we'll and maybe protect. torch longer then... to the Sylveon. Get a boost. Sure. Oh? Quick. This is like Meow Squad or, or King Gambit. We're in good shape, I think. Oh! It is. That's really good. Now we just need to figure out a way around this Vax Caliber. They don't protect Vax Caliber, which is interesting. Uh oh. Oh, uh -oh. that's fine. Oh, he takes it's a it. a lot of damage, but we're okay. It's a lot of damage. Does it kill? No, it doesn't. What's the downside to Glaive Rush again? It, what was, what? Next turn damage is doubled that you take. Ah. Damage received is doubled. Um, so I think you want to Iron Head the Vax Caliber here. Yeah. The question is, what do you want to do with your Skeleton Urge? You could, you could just protect. It's not that bad of a move. Like, because yeah. the thing is, if they read your Terror, you're in trouble. Yeah, I was thinking about protecting. Yeah, I think that's really good. Oh. Had oh no. That's fair. Very valid. That, I mean, that is. You a valid king. <laughs> that's a pretty good uh, setup with Glaive Rush and yeah. then just protect. <laughs> yeah. They go for Sucker. Awesome turn, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good, good job, everybody. <laughs> oh, but you know, you know, so I was going to recommend you slack off here, but you don't have to. What you could do is go on the offensive and go for like. Terastalize Fairy and Torch Song into the King Gambit and just Iron Head into the Vex Caliber and say basically like, okay, like, unless you hard call this with like an ice move, which would be really bad if you just slack off. Basically Terra Fairy here and Torch Song into the, Bex the King Gambit. Okay, I'm done for that. It's a little risky, but I think that it can work. Oh. Okay. Turn it into a dragon type. <laughs> dragon, dragon, dragon. Ice, ice, ice. Ground. Ground? Okay. Not too bad. Maybe they earthquake here? Oh, maybe. Oh, if they earthquake and protect, that'd be kind of bad, I think. Yeah. Oh, not that bad. We just need to basically like, get our Pokemon to the end game and we should be okay. Ah. Ah, oh, they got us. They super got us. Damn. Oh, they're playing really well. How much is this going to do to poor Skeleturge? Oh. Oh, a ton of damage. They live. Poor Skeleturge. Poor Skelly. All right, I see a way to win this, I think. We have to get this mm -hmm. turn correct. Gotcha. So we're going to protect Skeleturge and switch into Hydreigon. Oh, to avoid the Earthquake? Mm hmm And then next turn, we can threaten Torch Song and Draco Meteor. Mm.
I'm a little thinking. worried with how long they're taking because people will stream tonight, but I don't think you have stream delay on. And they've kind of gotten don't. every call correct so far. Uh. But they shouldn't really have any way to punish this outside of something super ridiculous. Fucker punch. Okay. That oh. was almost very bad. I was like, no way. No, I was like, there's <laughs> no way they icicle speared there. So we've seen all the moves at least, which is good. Mm -hmm. So I think you just send it. I think you just Draco me to the back's caliber and and Torch Song the King Gambit. Say okay. like, all right, like you're gonna you can save one of them, but not both. This all also right. is good because we know they don't have Ice Shard now on the Vax Caliber. We've seen mm. all the moves. They're really thinking. They're really thinking about it. If this was just a 2v3, we'd be in like really nice spot, but the Sylveon on the back makes things difficult. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Nice. Okay. Gone. Gone. Sylveon comes out. Sylveon's out. Oh, shoot, this is tricky. So, okay, we can go for Draco Meteor. But if they get the double Best protect, we might be in danger. Oh. You could probably Draco Meteor and slack off. I think that's not a terrible idea, actually. Okay. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay. Super good. So it's all down to the Sylveon. If it can take out your whole team, it can definitely take out Hydra. <laughs> the question is, what about the rest of them? <laughs> yeah, what do we have in the back again? Annihilate? Glow HP King Gambit. It also depends who's faster between Sylveon and Skeleton Urge. I put a ton of speed into oh. it just in case it's battered, and it looks like it will. Skeleton Urge heals up. Oh, How much boys? is that always going to do? Oh. 70. That's fine. Okay. The throat spray. Rage. Okay. Maybe close, Jaden. Ooh. We just Iron Head and Torch Song, right? I think why don't we slow down the pace? Let's protect with both because we can get a little leftovers recovery that way. Okay. True. 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 I'll yeah, do that. I'm mattering. So even though the, the Sylveon got a throat spray boost, Skeletor's ability is unaware, which means it the the boost from the opponent don't affect it at all. Oh. Um, so so Skeletor's base is it for King Gambit like the plus one matters, but for Skeletor it doesn't. All right, Jaden. And then send it all. Yeah. You could sucker punch, but frankly, I don't think it's worth it. Because if we don't know, you could be faster. There's a good chance you're faster here. Yeah. Like, oh. Comes down here's Torch Long. We need this to do like 50%. Oh, oh. It's going to be close. King Gambit's faster. <gasps> yeah. Oh, my God. We beat it. We did it. Oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> Damn. You're, you, you're calling so many things right. Holy crap. <laughs> that was that was absolutely a team effort. Tony. So don't hit find another opponent. Let's let's hit uh back out of this. Okay. And then um it'll like update it'll show us if we made it to Master Wall without us having to actually jump into a battle. Gotcha. Uh quit battling. Yep. And then if you go like to ranked battles again. Yeah! Let's go! We did it! Oh damn. <laughs>
All the way That's to amazing. Master Ball tier. With Toad School of all Pokemon. With Toad School. The <laughs> friends. Damn. Holy shit. Whew. That was that, intense. That was Those pretty quick. Games. Yeah, there's so many good games there. That was fun, too. <laughs> that was really fun. Man, thanks for setting up the, the team. I've of been course, having so yeah. much I'm fun glad, with I'm them. glad you liked it. <laughs> All right. How, how, how are you feeling? Uh, you want to call it or? I, probably, I think I, I, I told friends I get dinner tonight. So this is this probably gives me time That's to like fair. shower. That's uh, a beforehand. great timing then. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, super, actually super good timing. Um, But this was so fun. And thank you so much for having me on. I had a blast. Yeah, thanks for thanks for coming on. I was really excited to play some competitive. Yeah, yeah, um, awesome. Well, thanks so much. Yeah, I guess uh, bye to both chats. Thank you for for having <laughs> me. Um, and yeah, best of luck with the rest of your of your subathon. You're wrapping up soon, you. or? Yeah, we're wrapping up next week. Cool. Awesome. Final thanks stretch. so much, man. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you all for watching. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it for me. Uh, all right. Yep. Talk to you later. Thanks, Jay. Have a good dinner. Bye bye. Bye. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to go to the bathroom really quick because I really had to pee the whole that whole battle. So I'll be right back and then we'll do some fun stuff. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so what I'm, I've been actually thinking, I think I do want to complete the Pokedex on this um, save file. Put my headphones away. I think I do want to oh, put the, put the, <laughs> man, that was so fun. Oh, look at the friends. Look at the friends. I do want to finish. I do think I want to have Violet be my main thing. My main slot. I've been thinking about it because I didn't know. I didn't realize that uh, Violet, or I mean Scarlet, the, you can't, the pants are orange. <laughs> and I don't want that. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't want orange pants on my main character. So... I'm I'm thinking we can we can just like fill out the Pokedex. Do I have any mystery gifts? Any mystery gifts? Mario Kart later? Pro yeah, probably. Ooh, we got Pikachu. Oh, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> nice. Ah. I should I'm good. I want to send Wolfie a, a follow up message. Uh. Thanks so much again. Have a good rest of 
your night smile. Sorry to cut <laughs> cut the call a bit short at the end. I really had to pee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see, let's... I'm gonna change the name. Wait, the Pokedex. No, I want to get the shiny charm. Getting... No, no, I'm gonna say... Compl completing the poke. I can't, I can't do the, I can't spell right. Dex. There we go. Save. Okay, okay. Okay. All right, all right, all right. There's mass outbreaks? I want to see what the mass outbreaks are. Actually, you know what? Actually, I want to change my settings back to, like, daytime. To the normal time. I know it doesn't really matter, but... 15 and it's 3:44 p.m. There we go. All right. Okay, let's see what what the Wait, where's the Pokédex? How do you open up the Pokedex? Am I in am I an idiot? What what the map? Oh wait, what why do you open up the Pokedex through the map? That's weird. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Wait, where's the... Hold on. Okay, this is weird. Where? Where? Okay, Pokedex. Now, how do I order it? Oh, there we go. Okay. For filling out the Pokedex, you, you just... You don't need to have caught them, right? You just need to have seen them? Either way. Does it show? It shows, like, when you're missing a Pokemon, right? You need to catch? You, you do need to catch them? To get the shiny charm, you need to catch them? Oh. Alright. Well then, we're catching Pokemon. We're catching Pokemon today. Oopsie. What was that? Wait, what? Okay. We need a Sprigatito, and we need a Foycoco, and Quagsley. Oh, wait, we don't need this. Uh, we need Lechonk. We, we can go get this one. We can go catch this one. Yeah. No, just fight. Isn't there no shiny charm in this gen? Yes, there is. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? There absolutely is. Just spreading lies on the internet. Um, I'm just going to type in how to get a shiny charm. Violet. Okay. Um, to obtain this, you just complete the Paladin Pokedex by catching every single Pokemon in the game. Okay, yeah, we can catch it. We can catch them all. We can catch them all. Um. Alright. We have all those. We do have Hopip. I guess we can, uh, we can go into our boxes and see what Pokemon... You should go out front, and then you can go, like, here. <laughs> we, we can see... You, did you get the bonus items at the bottom? I don't know what that means. Uh, to the boxes, see what we can evolve and whatnot. Things take so long to load in this game. Um... Well, we can, we can have you here, we can evolve, we don't need to evolve you, we can catch one. Um, 
There's just like so many Pokemon we can go out and catch. You know, I'm just gonna go out and catch like random Pokemon. Actually, I will, I will evolve uh, Magikarp though. Can this get you to level 20? Nope. We need one rare, one large. No, actually, you're fine. You're fine. You'll level up eventually. Let's go catch some Pokemon. <gasps> you! Give me ghoul. The Pokedex, there are bonus items if you press X. Really? Oh. Oh, thank you. I had no idea this was here. We can get Raichu. Holy crap, we might be we might be going crazy here. Okay. Nice. We have to get to a bunch of Eevees. No, I guess we don't. There's like the evolutions all over the place. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's all. That's all. Okay. Uh, we can get Raichu, but any we can get Raichu at, at any point. Oh, I don't have a- I don't think I have Pachirisu. Nope. Let's- let's just throw a quick ball and probably just catch it. The final reward is the beast ball, so you should save your static legend for the beast ball. I already caught it. I already caught it in the, the master ball. Because I was trying to go- I was- We were- we were- we were catching all the- the violet exclusives. And then, um, no I don't want to name it. No, I don't want to name it. <laughs> we were catching all the- the violet exclusives and I was trying to hurry up because... I had to do a- I had to play Undertale with- with friends, and I just master balled it because we were running out of time. What else is around here? I should have- I should have, a uh, Pokemon that I can evolve in my party, just so they gain experience. Uh, like Hoppip. And... No, we don't need you to evolve. Uh, this one? Cheese ham! I remember cheese ham! And... Share you, why not? And... Floatzel. Oh, this is... Samantha, look! It's you! <laughs> okay, we can evolve these ones. Alright. Do 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 do. Let chunk. Let's go into like some random place. Uh, map here. Oh, I don't have bear scuta though. Um, rufflet. We don't have. We can just fly to. I don't think we have a lot of the ground Pokemon. <laughs> Use candy to raise XP. Yeah, I know that. Oh, we speak of the devil. Oh, there's so many Pokemon we can we can catch here. Hello, you, were you caught off guard? Hello, Rolly Coley. Catch. Maybe we'll run into a shiny. What's going on? We're gonna complete the Pokedex so we can uh, get the shiny charm. Good luck finding all the stupid coins. <laughs> I think we have a good amount. If you go out and find the... And fight the ones in the tower. Uh, no, I'm not going to deal with any of these things. Learning anything. If you fight the ones in the tower, they give you a, a bunch of coins. So that's how you kind of grind Gimme Ghoul. Hello, Roly Coley. Uh, I miss Arceus, where you can just throw the ball... 
I miss it where you can just throw the... No, not that one! No, not that one. I'll take this. You. There we go. You can turn off the learning move thing in the settings? Really? That's insane. Is that Voltorb is about to explode? There it goes. Uh, try to get a tiny uh, toad to first shiny. What? <laughs> that is not a sentence, but I already caught a shiny. Um, and options, you can turn off nickname and you can use Z, L, Z. You can cut them at the glance. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, let's turn that off. Uh, while recovering from a wisdom teeth removal. Were you the one who were, was going to have that? Did you, did you mention that you were gonna... Someone else was getting their wisdom teeth pulled out. And if that's you, I hope you've been doing well. Ah, <laughs> oh, these... If you catch Bruxish, will you catch... Um, I If I remember, then I will. But... Do I have you? Come on, come on. Sprout. Bonk. Oh, I forgot to turn the settings off. I, I immediately forgot <laughs> to turn the settings off. <laughs> I like the off script in Center Jaden. Thank you. <laughs> it's just it's just talking. Just talking. But but do. I really want to shiny hunt more often. That was really fun. All right. Everyone's learning moves. I don't want a nickname. Send to the box. Is it? It's just in the settings, right? Just in the normal settings? Hmm. I don't have a diglet either. Okay. Uh, options. Ooh. Automatic. Off. Oh, wow. We can turn autosave on, sure. Well, damn! Pokemon is so, like, I never, you never know what they're gonna, um, optimize and, like, change. Gotcha. Can't explode now, can ya? I can't believe they just <laughs> explode sometimes in, in the middle for no reason. I need a Doug Drio. Uh, Doug Drio. Nice. We already have a Q-Fin. We have a shiny Q-Fin. Oh, that's so much faster. Wow, that's faster. Rufflet, you bitch. Get over here. I will never see Rufflet the same. I have spares of all the starters if you want to trade. Oh, Crit Catch. I think I'm fine for now. <laughs> Jaden won't acknowledge it's her birthday because she's worried about losing touch with the kids. <laughs> that is so... <laughs> We've come full circle. We've come so... That is... I don't even... That's like out of the circle. We're in like an oval now. Come here, Makuhita. <laughs> what a statement. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Someone says Rufflet the toucher. <laughs> no. Oh, I want that diglet. I we need to get that diglet in the in the background. Doop de loo. As a kid, I n I didn't really like Makuhita because I thought it was just like chubby Pikachu. Come here. Okay, chat. Here's a here's a topic. Oopsie. What's I've been enjoying uh, asking chat topics and questions and stuff because that's what we did yesterday. What Pokemon did you used to hate and then um, for whatever reason you started liking? Like, what's a Pokemon you used to not like that you do like now? Oh, it's raining. 
A Zoomeril? Oh, that makes sense. Psyduck, Zubat. Someone just says, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for the contribution. Bulbasaur, Lucario. Interesting. Ooh, I already have the car, actually. Grimer? It's always saying, like, it's, it's, it's interesting because there's stories to all of these. Slugma, sure. <laughs> Whooper. I used to not like Whoop Whooper. Cryogonal. That's a good one. There's a story there. Swampert. Swampert. Uh, Magikarp is about to evolve. Miltank? Mmm. Okay, what other Pokemon are around here? I think what we're gonna do is just like run around, catch new Pokemon, and then once we're kind of in the final little stretch, we'll look up how to catch. Oh, we can get uh, Hamura Hariyama. Come here, buddy. Gotcha. Right? Okay, I was like, no way. <laughs> Noivern? Oh, interesting. Reshiram. Wait, why can't I? Oh. Gligar. Alright. Now I want to know the stories. I want to know the stories. Tell me the stories behind them. Vigoroth? Ooh. Doing Nuzlocke has, has made me like Poke uh, some Pokemon that I was not a fan of. Like Nuzleaf? Nuzleaf has changed. I don't think I fully like Nuzleaf, but you know. You know. Um, Goth Gothitelle looked stupid to me, but it got me through a Nuzlocke, so I like it. Yeah, there's a lot of stories like that, where it's like, um, I used an Audino for a bit. Yeah, using a Pokemon makes you use uh, like it more. I had a Zubra in a Nuzlocke that became a Nuzlocke, bro. Uh, little freaking gremlins. <laughs> I've grown an appreciation for little freaking gremlins. Nose past gender. <laughs> Hopip! I, I used to hate Psyduck, but then I realized he's just an anxious guy trying his best, and I resonate with that. <laughs> That's a good one. Or you just, like, understand him more. <laughs> People threatening to press B in my playthrough. How do you evolve uh, Skiploom again? Isn't it... Is it Leafstone, or is it just level up? I don't remember. Hello, Orthworm. I can check. I think I have a Leaf Stone. Wait, did I say box? I'm in bag. Level 25? There's a Pokemon behind me. Nope. Alright, level 25. We have the tumbleweed because I used it in the playthrough. A meowth. Oh, we don't have a Sandaconda. I don't even remember what this guy's name is. Silicobra. Level 27? Oh, gotcha. We'll keep him in the party then. Whoop a doo. How many Pokemon have you caught? I have no idea. I know I can go get the dog, but it might be faster to just level it up. Unless it takes a while to level up. Okay, let's let's uh change up our Pokemon that have evolved. Uh we can move you in. Because I don't really feel like catching this guy in uh, a bunch of times. Oh, we have you. Voltorb. Makuhita. I guess we get to finally just appreciate the world now. I have... Oh, I'll take you. 
We have the Dawn fan. I don't know if we have the normal Dawn fan, though. Man, they need to really fix the frame rate on this game. This has been the 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 most broken Pokemon game yet. Super sad. Let's go in the cave. Playing hide and seek yesterday was so fun. Oh my god. Oh, this isn't a big cave. It's just a little spitzy out. I'll zoom out a little bit. Evolve Gimme Ghoul. Uh, I don't think I have the... What's this? I don't think I have the the coins for it. I don't think I have 999 coins yet. Wow, this is rough. When you... <laughs> oh, hello Growlithe. <laughs> I guess we can catch this. You don't realize how bad the Pokemon game is until after you beat it. Like, how bad visually. <coughs> I know multiple people who, like, when I played Arceus, I loved it. I was like, sure, it looks not that great, but I'm having fun. And then after you play it, uh, I've had many people replay it and be like, Arceus looks so much worse than you remember. It's so sad. Oh, Growlithe. We can get an Arcanine right now. I know it's a Firestone. Might as well do that. We can do all the st stone evolutions together. Probably Coley's, bunch of guys. I already have that. I think we have the evolved ver No, I don't think we have the evolved version. We're I'm gonna have to look up how to evolve a lot of Pokemon. But I guess we can find- we can just catch all the babies first. Oh, we don't have Young Goose. Oh, we can catch, uh, the entire lineage. Yeah. Young Goose and Big Goose. Old- old Goose. Oh, don't jump off the, the cliff, buddy. We gotta catch you. We've got so much to live for. Um, my wife watched me play around an hour and played it because of the graphics and the visuals. Meanwhile, it's uh, one of the best Pokemon games so far. Yeah, it's it doesn't look good, but um, wait, do I already have gum shoes? Do I already have gum shoes? Why? It looked like I already had it. Um, it's more fun to play than it is to look at. Once you, like, after you play for a long time, you just get used to it. But, you know. The only Nuzlocke I won, I nearly had, uh, I had a nearly all big team. Glissopod. Ooh. Where'd he go? Damn, he just, like, jumped off the cliff. I should, I should have caught him first. So about the mines, he says. Oh, we need to catch a bunch of like Pokemon, uh, water Pokemon too. I want this TM. I'm surprised that they made TMs. Oh, um, one use again. Like I get, Nintendo's really hopping on the crafting train. You know, crafting in Pokemon in in games in general. No. We have you. We don't have you. Catch. Do we need both versions of a uh, Basculin? Probably not, but... Oh, there's Floatzel! We can catch a Floatzel, it's just easy. Did you get the fr the shiny Frost Moth? Yes, we did. We did, after five hours! And it was so worth it. It was sitting... It was sleeping under a tree. One will do. Yeah. It's cool. I gave up on Palafin. Ooh, yeah. I'm sure a lot are, like, hard to beat. Or hard to evolve. I heard that for uh, King, Gam King Gambit, you have to, um, like, beat up a bunch of other Pokemon. Like, other... Oh, give me ghoul. You have to beat up... Um... What, what are they called? 
The the small the middle evolution. Ponyard. No. Bisharp. Yeah, Bisharp, Bisharp, Bisharp. Thank you. You have to beat up all the alpha Bisharps with your uh, with your own Bisharp. Bro, what's the what's the problem here? The scary face animation is so ugly. Well, you're getting the Ultra Ball then. Bye, Sour. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, buddy. You think you're tough? You're, th you're, tr you're trying to show off to your buddies here? You get mercy. But you're being annoying. Just get in. I should've just threw like a, a net ball. Or a, a dive ball or something. Oh my god. Bisharp with e Eviolite. Yeah, I don't know if it's like that good, but it, it's very interesting. And that's like the funny downside or like, like side effect of why is he not getting in the fucking ball? Oh my god. What's the difference between dive ball and, and net ball? What is the problem? What are the odds? What What's his catch rate? Thunder wave. Um, yeah, that's that's like the the side effect of giving Pokemon um, evolutions is now that they now they can use Eviolite. <laughs> like it happened with uh, like Dusclops is the best uh, example of that. Dive only works with Pokemon in water. Does this count as water? Well, whatever. You're never seeing your friend ever again, you two. The blue striped... <laughs> He's the hostile Pokemon. <laughs> They're trying to go after me. It's so annoying how they just, like, spawn hit you. Oh my god, you're already evolving again? I'll take it. It's on or it's in or on water. Gotcha. What's well what's in water? Hello, Pavilion. Nice job, you learned gust. I'm gonna take this though. Mari, congrats on emotes again. Um, ooh, I don't think I have a fl Flamigo. Actually, I want to get this Floatzel, though. Yeah, I want that Floatzel. <laughs> yeah, you can stay in the water. Just get comfy. Get comfy, man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I already have- oh wait, there's like an Ar Arowana in the water. How do I get him? All right, let's go Ultra Ball. Are you shiny, shiny hunting today too? Um, probably not. I want to get the shiny charm because I think I decided I do want to have Violet be my main, my main game. Uh, so I'll complete the Pokedex to get the shiny charm, and then we can uh, shiny hunt in the future a little bit more. That's the plan. Because I I really enjoyed. Um, no, no, no. I really enjoyed, uh, shiny hunting yesterday. I'm pretty sure I have you. Can I please? I can't. Oh, there we go. No! <laughs> the range on that is so small. Excuse me. I'm gonna catch you. <laughs> I love the little animation. Wah! <laughs> uh, throw a quick ball. Uh, once Pokemon Home connects, I'm going uh, to do a, a Hisuian Mon only challenge of Scarlet. Ooh, are you gonna do any wacky challenges? Hmm. 
maybe now that I plan on streaming more, I'll probably I'm probably gonna start thinking of more fun like Pokemon runs to do. Because in the past, it I would either like have to do it for a video or it'd have to be for fun in my free time, and I don't have very much free time. But now I can use the extre the excuse of streaming, <laughs> so I'll probably do some fun runs. I'd like to at least. Is uh young goose spawned again? Ooh, what's this? Thunderbolt. Oh damn! Oh damn! We got thunderbolt. Excuse me. Okay, let's go over to the city. I feel like we've caught caught a lot of the the dirt Pokemon. <laughs> The dirt Pokemon. I've mentioned it before, but I'd love to do... I want a shiny hunt us to Salazzle. Ooh. That's such a good shiny. And it's so easy to see as well. I feel like that'd be a fun, a fun shiny hunt. Hello, Meowth. Oh, Go-Goat. We don't have Go-Goat. No. Just throw... <laughs> It's so slow compared to Arceus. Like, Arceus was the first Pokemon game where I completed the full decks. I had, like, a living decks and everything. And, like, all these games, it's just so slow again. Do 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 do. What, what level does Cheese Ham uh, Fido evolve? I should uh, swap out the Pokemon though. To something that will evolve! Okay, Orthworm is so flat. Let's go to the boxes. Let's swap out Jenny. Um, Anderson Jr. Uh, we already have Floatzel. Sorry, for Samantha. And we can. Let's bring up the friendship with Iglybuff. No, 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 no. I'm sure you can just catch uh, um, one in the wild. Uh, let's level up. How do you evolve? Um, how do you evolve this guy? Is do you have to do something special to evolve him up? Twenty six. Okay, we can do that. Oh wait, is this? Are you guys responding to Cheese Ham? Oh, do you- is there a special way to till- kill Sinisty? Ten- oh. Then we'll do that later. Uh, what about Mastiff? What about Mastiff? What level does this guy evolve? Mastiff. What about this guy? Oh, you also need armor. We'll do Shark Deck later. Um, someone says 32, just level up. Okay, well, we can level up these guys. Yeah, 30, sure. We can, we can handle levels. Oopsie. Oh, we can catch Curlia too. I should have caught the other one. Oh no, can we run? I want to catch the other one. Don't run away! Don't run away! I want to catch you. Rookity. Or whatever one it, this one is. Whoa, why does he look like that? <laughs> Corvus Squire. He looked, he had like, like 20 uh, polygons for a second there. <laughs> oh, Crick Catch, nice. Nice. All right. Corvus Squire. Yeah, it's so quick to just send it straight to the boxes. You just got a shiny? Congrats. What shiny is it? Uh, here. The low poly models are cute, TBH. Oh, Magnemite. They are... But you, it's also like, come on, they're not supposed to be like that. They're nuts. The tiny bird Pokemon. Look at Curlia. I don't think I have Curlia. No. Oh, there's a Meryl too. 
Yeah, we gotta get a, a bunch of Pokemon to catch. How many do you have in the Pokedex? Uh, not sure yet. A kiss. Imagine seeing, like, a robot version of yourself. Like, imagine when you're a kid, <laughs> you, you, you find, like, a robotic version of your adult self. That's what this Curly is experiencing right now. It's so goofy how the Pokeball just floats. Yeah, <laughs> like with the crit catch, it just goes, just floats for a second. I guess it's always been like that, though. We already have that one, too, the bird flying away. Because we use Paul. We use Paul. Do, 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 do. Oh, right. We can get this Mer Meryl here. Caught you off guard. Wahaha! You thought you were protected with the fence, but you are- No! Oh, great! What does this catch? Okay, I was gonna say, no way. No way that catches. <laughs> Damn. I accidentally did one extra. Bounce? Oh, great. Great. Alright, bounce this Iron Valiant. Oh, you got me! You got me! Alright, I gotta do... I gotta do... Ultra Ball. We can do Netball, actually. Why not? Since we have it. I should try and use the, the better balls when I can. Mero. Okay. The fairy Pokemon, like... When, when fairy became a thing... There's so many Pokemon, like normal type Pokemon and just other Pokemon, that you wouldn't realize deserves to be fairy. Like, seeing Jigglypuff and Clefairy, Clefairy especially, it's like, those can never be back to normal. Like, those are definitely fairy type Pokemon. The Magnemite went away. Oh, we don't have you. No! Come on. Oh, it's just so slow. Favorite Gen 1 starter? I don't think I... I don't even know if I have one. I always struggle because, like, I never... I didn't play Gen 1. I started... I mentioned it yesterday, but I, I didn't start playing Pokemon until Gen 3. So I don't know what my favorite Gen 1 starter is. It might be Bulbasaur. It might be Bulbasaur, but Venusaur is not like my favorite, you know. But I like the little Bulbasaur. Oh, hello, little guy. Oh, there's the the pig. Let's just catch it. There it is with the polygon. See, it just fixes itself. <laughs> Oink alone. Ugly Pokemon. Does anyone like this Pokemon? Like, everyone pops off for Lechonk, but no one talks about Oinkalone. Oinkalone. There's so many. It's Someone says, disgusting. Eat it. <laughs> the hog Pokemon. Mm-mm. Isn't there, like, a, a male version, too? What is this? Alright. Oh, it's you. We don't have this one. I kind of want the gray one, too. I'll just catch it. Why not? Look at it. It's- oh my god. <laughs> it's so bad. I'll catch this one. Why not? Someone just says, oh, Cologne doesn't do much for me. I respect it. Squawkabilly. 
Did I go catch Go Goat? I think I did. I think I did catch a Go Goat. I'll check. Yeah, I did. Or Skidoo, I mean. We have you. Come on, Deerling. Yeah, we have Deerling. I'm pretty sure you can just catch the other one whenever you want as well. There is some, there's a couple that we'd run by every once in a while while shiny hunting. <gasps> we don't have the Tauros! We don't have the Tauros! God, I love this Tauros. I love this Tauros so much. Holy shit, I love this Tauros. This is one of the, like the best uh, regional forms I've seen. Like, it's so simple, but I love it. No. Meow. Wait, is that shiny? No, it's not. The shiny is like, isn't the shiny like the horns are black or something like that? I think that like the the head kind of reverses. So I was gonna take a hit. It's just Ultra Ball. Nice. Oh yeah. Aquatoros. Yeah, there's I didn't know that there's different forms and stuff. How do you change the forms? The body and mane reverse colors? Yeah, something like that. Uh if you could have chosen two Pokemon to be given a past and or future form in this game, what would they be? Ooh. Hmm. It's very biased, but one thing I think they could do really a, a really cool job with is... Wait, why is this one pink? It's not the shiny, but why is there like a pink one and an orange one? I know the shiny is like actually fully pink. Is it a gender thing? Um, but I think I would love to see a past version. Gender difference? Oh, gotcha. Um, the past- ooh, Magnemite. A past version I would love to see is Blaziken. I think they could make him all beast-like and be super, super cool. But let's do- let's do non-biased. <laughs> because- Because everyone knows how much I love Blaziken. I just think past Blaziken would be super, super cool. Can you pick a Pokemon for me to shiny hunt? Uh, I like shiny Krogunk. I think Krogunk is a fun shiny. Um, but let's see. What other Pokemon are there? Hmm. Um, I didn't. I don't know if you missed this the first time, but you can open the Pokedex by pressing the minus button. Can you? Oh my god, that's so smart. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. Any Pokemon in here? In this blue ass water? Nope. I do have to catch a bunch of Pokemon on the beach, though. Oh, we don't have Marnie. Or Marini, whatever this Pokemon is. A bunch of great balls on the beach. Marini. Um, what other Pokemon are there? What other Pokemon do I like? I think the robotic Agron would have been really cool. Like, but that's just because Tyranitar looks, pulls it off so well. I think, uh, future par future paradox Agron would be really cool. But those are my favorite, <laughs> those, are, those are two of my favorite Pokemon, so it's very biased. Oh, you know, it'd be really sick. It's, it's super, uh, it's super basic, but I think they could have done a really cool job with, um, uh, future Paradox Gyarados, like the robotic snake. Oh, that'd be super cool. What do you guys think about that question? Like, what would you like to see past or future Paradox form for, an, uh, for another Pokemon? I wonder if Ross has done that for a Gardic phone thing. Past Paradox Metagross? Ooh, but I think a future Paradox Metagross would be really fire. 
I like the idea of Metagross, though. Like, what would past uh, Paradox Metacross be? It would kind of just look more rugged and rocky, but I think turning it all tech and robotic would be really cool. Paradox Celebi? Ooh. That could be cool. Alakazam? Future Alakazam? Ooh. That'd be cool. Future Jump Jumpluff? I don't wanna, he says. I don't wanna. Future Porygon Z. What would that be? Is there an item here? I guess I didn't see it. Wiglet. <gasps> you! Pikamiku? No, wait, you're not Pikamiku. Which one are you? Pinkurchin. Yeah, I love Pinkurchin. Past Lopany? Alright. I see what you're doing. <laughs> Future Aegislash. Ooh. Past Gengar. Ooh, I think they could have done something cool with that. Like, like taking the Annihilate route and made it really cool. Future Snorlax. <laughs> it's just a, a, an orb. Someone just says Hatsune Miku question mark? I like what you're thinking, but you're you're on the wrong <laughs> you're the that's not on topic. <laughs> Pass guard chomp. Oh, that'd be sick. Pass guard chomp. Pass Dragapult that isn't ghost. Oh, like before it's ghost? Ooh, that's a cool idea. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I like the idea of turning, like, uh, past Paradox Pokemon that are ghosts, like, into their, uh, non-ghost form. That's a really fun idea. Past Genesect. Ooh. Yeah, Genesect al already feels like a, a Paradox future Pokemon. Come on, the <laughs> poor Polygon uh, Sandy Gas is funny. Future Nactile. Ooh. Bless you. Thank you. I like the Wingle being named Anderson Jr. <laughs> I forgot a lot of the names, but seeing them again makes me laugh. Uh, I don't think we have you, actually. No, wait. Just catch this. Come on. Caught him off guard. I don't think we have this, do we? I should have checked. No, we do. Whoopsie. I should have just checked. Past Skarmory. That'd be cool. I don't know how you... Is there any past forms Pokemon that, um... Is that Feebas? No, it's Magikarp. Is there a past form Pokemon that are Steel types? I don't know how they handle Steel types. Who? Hello. I guess I can just run into them. Hello, you little guy. Clauncher. Clauncher is a cute Pokemon. I feel like more people would like Clauncher uh, if, if it came out in a different generation. I think a lot of people don't, like, really care about the X and Y Pokemon. Magneton has a past form. Yeah, you're right. But it is ugly. <laughs> It is ugly, though. That's probably my least favorite new Pokemon, Paradox Pokemon. Future Decidueye. Ooh. Uh, we already have uh, one of the you. We've got all these guys. See, all the Pokemon in this game are so small. Oh, poor Magikarp. Oh, Bruxish. Someone asked to be nicknamed- wait, that thing on the top of Bruxish's head is a flower? I didn't know that. Someone asked me to name it something specific, but I don't remember. Alright, Bruxish, you think you're all cool. You think you're all cool like that? Past Tigrat Dragon with nine heads? 
That's fun. That's a fun idea. But his heads are like... Like... Oopsie. This isn't gonna do very well. Past High Dragon, but his heads are more developed or something. I was gonna say. Oh, damn. Past Volcarona, it's just the sun. There is a past Volcarona. It looks so cool. God, I love the new Volcarona. I need to get my own. Uh, I don't know if you know this either, but if you hold Z L, you can lock out and see. Yeah, I have been doing that. Uh, I just forget sometimes. <laughs> I'm also, it's also like, why would, why do you have to go go up so close to the Pokemon? Pel Pel Pelfin, what are you looking at? Bruxish, you dumb Pokemon. All right. Oh my god, the game is really chugging. I gotta get out of this rain. Pronto. Ooh, I can catch this. Saves me some evolution. We gotta take it out, though, first. Whoa! The polygons were stuck to the floor. Did you guys see that? Restart the game if laggy. It's always laggy. Toxapex. We gotta take it out first. Wow, it took that. Oh, it's normal type. That's why. Terra normal is so sad. <laughs> I like Toxapex. I used to run it on a showdown team, and I know a lot of people are annoyed at it, but I, I like it. <laughs> I like it. I, I was able to, I relied on it a lot. Woo! Whoa, what's going on with the textures there? Spiritomb before it was locked in the keystone? Ooh. Or future... I love Spiritomb. Spiritomb is like one of my favorite Pokemon, honestly. It's been doing... I've been like doing absolutely... It, like, Spiritomb has done absolutely nothing. But it, it just climbs my, my favorite Pokemon rank. Like every... Oh. Oh, we could have just caught a Gyarados. Well, we have one already, so it's fine. Saves a Pokeball. Oh my god, tiny baby! Shell us! Come home, Shell us, come home! Car Paradox Gastrodon. <laughs> no, Gastrodon is perfect the way it is. No struggle. No struggle at all. Shell us! My buddy! Alright, once one of these Pokemon evolves, we're bringing Shell. We're putting Shellus on the team. Big Gastrodon, my beloved. Exactly. Alright, what's what else is around here? Oh, we can catch you. I don't know this one's name. I just know it turns into <laughs> look at that. Uh Steeny, Steeny. Gotcha. Bone Sweet to Steeny to Serena. I need to go buy more Quick Balls. Do you like the Hisuian form from Legends Arceus? Which what which one are you talking about? I like a lot of the Hisuian forms though. Hisuian uh, Typhlosion is awesome. I hate Cleaver though. They messed up the the Scizor line, and it's so sad. They could have just let it be. Cleaver, Cleaver just like is an anchor to that evolution line. I just forget about it. I choose to do not. I do not look. I do not look. Steeny. I love Hisuian Decidueye. It's had to grow on me. I don't know what my opinion on is is but it, it wasn't my favorite i love the samurott though i thought samurott was awesome 
The Tauros. You're not like the other forms, are you? No. Why is one darker than the others? No, I think it's just a shadow. Okay, well... Oh, I, I need Lit Leo, though. <laughs> this poor thing. Tauros, this is not your fight. Oh, wait, I, I already have a Lit Leo? Oh. Oopsie. Didn't realize. All right, here's a new topic. <gasps> Murkrow! Here's a new uh, topic for everyone. Uh, what if you... What would you like a Pokemon... Uh, so imagine, like, you know, you know Murkrow? Imagine him as a fairy type. Like, what, would, what Pokemon do you think would be cool to have an alternative uh, typing form of? Hello, Tauros. Like, Tauros is dark. If they turned normal Tauros to dark Tauros. Like, what would you like to change the type of? Someone says furry type? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello, Murkrow. Ice Charizard? What does- Oh, that's interesting. Someone says, uh, extinct fairy. <laughs> no, that's not. Fire type Ferrothorn? Ooh. Like- Pearl string. Dragon Superior. Oh yeah. Superior should have been I'm shocked we haven't had um a grass dragon starter yet. Like I get that um Mega Septile is that, but you know, I don't think that counts. Squawkabilly. Dark for alligator? Ooh. That would be cool. Electric Lucario. That just feels like it would be uh, zero, zero Aura. Fi flying Blaziken. Ooh, he could have like big old wings and stuff. Rock type Tinkaton. I feel like that could work. Oh, Pikachu. Oh, we need Venonat. Dark Clefair Clefairy. Ooh. Ghost type Chinchou? That's a creative one. That person got creative with it. I like that. No idea what it would look like, but I like it. Ghost Ho oh Ooh. Ghost Ho oh would be so cool. I could just imagine like the spirit wisps coming off of it. Ground salamence. <laughs> <coughs> Do we have any flying ground type Pokemon? I feel like there's one. What <laughs> I feel like there's one ground flying type, and I do not remember what it is. What is it? Ice Rayquaza? That'd be sick. Steel, steel, grid, grid Oh, a gimme ghoul. Gliscor? Yeah, there it is. Gliscor. Landorus? Oh, true. Fire Diglett. <laughs> wow, this is just the end of the map. Not fun to explore. Yeah, flying uh, Flygon. Flygon is dragon ground, but I guess it's dark Chimchar. Ooh, what is? Oh, do I, I have you right? No, I don't. Ooh, Steel Flygon. That'd be cool. Ooh, Past Paradox Frostless. As much as I hate Frostless, that sounds really cool. I really like what they did with uh, Past Paradox um, Mysterious. 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 I think it's really cool. Baton pass. To whom? Alright. Ultra ball. Fighting ground lichen rock. I feel like that's what it should have just already been. I'll be honest. What are you baton passing to? Uh, you get one more ultra ball before I 
before I thunder wave. You hate Frostlass? Bro, I just have a history. I have a history with Frostlass. Every time I encounter a Frostlass, it is just not fun. God, this guy. No, that's the sky in the ocean. It just doesn't look good, though. It looks like a line. Fairy Dragonite. Oh, that'd be cute. I can see it. They need to make more fairy dragon types. <gasps> Shep it! Hi, Shep it! Fire flying. Oh, I didn't know it was fire flying. Hello. Right in the face. Dragon Eevee. Yeah, I guess I guess they're done with the Eevees. I don't know what else they would add because they just do all the special typings for, for Eevee. The Eevee Lucians. I mean, but Dragon was supposed to be... Dragon was special. I guess it's more physical now. No, it's not really. I'm shocked they don't have a Dragon Eevee. Uh, adding ghosts to anything instantly makes it more interesting. Yeah, that's so true, though. The little mice. Uh, what's, what is this? What is that? Oh, I have you. Where are you? Oh, Lechong. Uh, I want to steal a seal paradox form from the future. It has to, and it had to migrate to space due to all the oceans drying up and it'd be psychic ice. <laughs> that's, that's a fun idea. Like a Pokemon just like rockets itself into space <laughs> to, to survive. And then comes back down for some reason. I'm gonna take these. Rare bone. Uh, do I want to climb this? Sure. Whoa! <laughs> and I'll use my thighs! <laughs> There's like a cave around here. That you catch like a bunch of Pokemon. Man, I wish you got the choice to cho to choose if you wanted to ride to ride Coridon or Maridon. Swell blue, <gasps> Bagon. God, I love Bagon. Axew? Oh, nice. There's a bunch of Pokemon we don't we need to catch up here. What? No! How did that happen? I'll catch you. We need Mister Mistrevis too. Mistrevis. Yeah, I need to catch more, uh, I need to get more, uh, quick balls as well. Ghost Snorlax, that'd be cool. Do, 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 do. Uh, currently suffering from a headache, so I'm gonna head off to the night. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about, hear about that, JDK. Hope you feel better tomorrow. Drink lots of water. Axew! Aw, Fido- Cheese Ham is evolving! Cheese Ham is finally evolving. <laughs> Aw, he's all baked. Dash Bun. Dash Bun. Aw, what a cute Pokemon. Like, of all the dog Pokemon, this one's a really cute one. Okay, let's- let's... First of all... No, let's go to the box. And we're going to switch out. Um, what do we need to evolve? I guess we can work on, I'm pretty sure you can just find Golduck. Uh, how do you evolve this guy? Voltund is better? Eh, I think Voltund just is a little plain. How do you evolve this guy? What's his name? Oh, we do need Shellos. But how- uh, what is this guy's name? Relor. You need to walk a thousand steps? 
Oh, I forgot there's Walk a Thousand Steps Pokemon. I don't want to do, deal with that right now. I forgot about that, though. But we are going to go get Shellos. You. Okay, we can... You can go here. Let me get this bag on. Do-do-do-do. The PC is a mess. Yeah, I want to organize it. But also, it just takes so long. Like, I don't know why there's such bad loading times in this game. Like, why is it so hard to... What did I throw at it? Did I throw an Ultra Ball or a Quick Ball? I threw a quick ball. Um, everything just takes so long to load. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, exactly. Like they, they, we've been, we're having problems with the game. Like HP lag, PC box doesn't load like properly. We're having problems in this game that we've never experienced before in like the nine generations of all the Pokemon games. And that, it's just, like, upsetting. Like, I know it's funny, like, yeah, like oh, sometimes it glitches and it's funny, like, a Pokemon just spawns and... Holy shit, bag on. But, like, it's stuff like that that's just like, come on, you gotta fix that. I've been very sick with COVID the past week, your stream has been... Aww. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite I love Shellis, what's your favorite? I like the blue one, but I'm sorry you've been so sick, Alex. Hopefully, COVID lets up soon. Back on scales. There's a funny there, trick you can do to evolve Pokemon that needs steps to evolve. You have to go to the top of the Pokemon Center in Let's Go mode, and they'll run around in circles. Really? Whoa! I want to try that. I want to try that. We'll do that later. Bro, what were you doing under there? <laughs> He's under the hood! Lit Leo under the hood! Uh, we need Mistrevis. We need Ghastly as well. After I catch all this, the Pokemon I need in this area, I'll go to the Pokemon Center and gr uh, grab one. Have you found any other shinies other than Frostmoth? Um, yes. Yesterday we also just ran into a full odds Qfint while playing hide and seek. So that one counts. Uh, in my playthrough, I apparently passed a shiny Gibble. Uh, so that's that's interesting. Uh, we need a Dusk Wall. Yeah. Nice. Thoughts on Iron Valiant? Super cool Pokemon. I love that they combined uh, Gardevoir and Gallade. Oh, it's so sick. The Screech Pokemon. Did not know that. You know, it'd be a fun little game show. I've been thinking about game shows. Uh, I think it'd be cool to have a... Oh, Squovit's evolving. Uh, a little section where it says, what Pokemon is considered the Screech Pokemon? And then people have to uh, put, submit their answer on what they think the Screech Pokemon is. I like the idea of that. I want to do another Pokemon game show because I had a fun time with, with um, <laughs> the other one. You're not supposed to learn moves. I'll oh, catch Ghastly. I don't think I have Ghastly. No, I don't. Right in the face. Uh, we'll catch our little uh, quick ball. You're at 6,500 uh, 6, Regirocks? Holy crap. Good luck. I'm, I'm shocked you're still going. What are you playing on, Flimboyance? I've been cheering on chat during TPP work. They got so close. My coworkers are like, what are you wa watching? Yeah, they're they're so close. Vigoroth. I need to catch this Vigoroth and I'll catch Mudbray and then we'll we'll go get more Pokeballs. 
He did not even open his mouth there. There's a good chance they beat it tonight because they successfully healed up an Azumarill for the f the Wallace fight. They could, a you guys could absolutely secure the victory if you managed to max revive Bagmot, the Minectric, uh, because th it's got Thunder in its first slot. But that might be too a little too hard. But I'll I'll try to send you off with some some tips to try and. Evolve it. Oh, we gotta go catch the salt guy. Mudbrain! I'm on sword, so I'm over odds by like 2400. Oof! Oof. You got my brain. I'm not the biggest fan of this Pokemon. I'm not big into horses. I'll, I'll say it. I'm not one of those people. We can get the, the temple version of him in the Area 51 area. Knackle Stack. It's a, it is a fun name, though. <laughs> Oops. Is it part ground? Or is it just rock? The generation they d Pokemon decided to not have it's just rock. Gotcha. Have the not have that wee woo wee wee woo on the low health was the best decision they ever made. It was just really annoying. What's purifying salt? What's purifying salt? Does it- you can't like put a status on it or something? Also, you guys lied. Well, you didn't lie, you just... Withheld a little bit of <laughs> extra information. <laughs> gotcha. That's a pretty good ability. Oh, we should uh, swap out um, Greedon, though. Knackle stack. I love all the little books. All the little books are cute. Lilio, bro! Leave me alone! They're so curious! Okay. Uh, I don't think there's any more Pokemon around here that we really need to catch. We can go to one of the cities, though. Ooh, what about over here? Because we do have a couple more Quick Balls. We can get Luxray. I'm done for Luxray. What is that? Oh, we should catch Braviary, too. For sure. Bronzong as well. I guess it's not the end of the world if we don't have quick balls. Yeah. I should put normal Terra on on Iron Valiant so uh False Swipe does more damage. Like, stab, false swipe would be nice. Then we'd be doing a little bit more damage. Ooh, crit. Electric Dark Mega Luxray with Strong Jaw. Ooh, that would be so cool. I'm- it's- it's a crime that Luxray isn't part Dark type. It just deserves it at this point. Nice. But then you have to sit by through the animation every time. That's true. That is true. Hello, Luxray. It's 4 7. Luxray is such a cool Pokemon. So many people like Luxray. 
I want all this stuff. All the goodies. And I want Bronzong! Gimme ghoul! I wonder how many coins I have. I need to check how many coins I have. You can get a Haunter for a Pin Kirchen by trading, but you can catch those just out in the wild. I, it just feels like a bit of a waste of time. Bronzor. You. Well, that one gave me five coins. Nice. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go... I want a Braviary. Braviary would have been nice to have. To catch. Uh... Someone in chat wants to know why you wanted to be a YouTuber? I don't know if... Like, okay... I just watched YouTube a lot as a kid. And, and it just sounded like fun. I'll be honest, there's not really much else to it. I just- ooh, Mankey. I just watched a lot of YouTube as a kid and was like, oh, it'd be so cool to have it as a job. And then one thing led to another and now I, I do YouTube. Quick ball. Come on, quick ball. Quick ball. Do it. Yeah. Okay, we got to go get more though. Oh, the trade was that you get Gengar immediately. Oh, I see that. I see that. I totally forgot that Gengar is a trade evolution. That's my bad for forgetting. Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. I guess I can go over there. No, it's faster just to, to fly there. Myself. Wait, where? Did I not unlock that Pokemon Center? There's like a couple Pokemon Centers that I have not unlocked. Have I not unlocked it? No, no way. No, yeah, I absolutely unlocked that one. It was just f it further on the map than I thought it was. God, this gliding. Why couldn't we just have Arceus? God, it's so slow. All right. First of all, it's heal. <sighs> Arceus is dead in this game? <laughs> is is that true? If you read between the lines, is that true? I should sell my stuff. I got a bunch of sand, or... Of that, like... I should just buy a hundred. That's like all my money. It's worth it. I can sell. Let's sell all my things. Yes, yeah, sell this. Wait, how many do I have? There we go. Oops. I have a bunch of star Stardust from the, the Polka decks. Pearl String. 10,000. Holy crap. Comet Shard. 12. Is this like good for something? I'm just going to sell it. Rare Bone. There we go. It's like, uh, so I only spell like 30k Pogo dollars. Alright. What? Wait, what is this? Oh, tiny bird. <laughs> tiny bird. No, I'm good, sir. Oh, 
Oh, purple squawkabillies. I mean, blue. What's going on down here? Oh, that's a different. Oh, I need to get uh, Spoink. I need to get Spoink. What's a Pokemon type, like a dual type, that you guys want to see more of? There's a bunch of, like, as many. Like, Pokemon has a lot of types in Pokemon and stuff, but there's already so many that. Fire, more fire grass. I feel like fire grass is, should be more special though. Like the fact there's only one fire grass is is cool. Ghost fighting. Ooh, yeah, that is cool. That's the annihilate, right? Poison ground. That's true. Poison ground's kind of hard though because it's weak against its own typing. But it's a cool, cool idea. Hello, Spoink. Grass electric. Ooh. Is there any grass electric Pokemon? I want this gulp in. Bug dragon. Oh, that's true. There's so many uh, du dual typings that have not been explored yet. They need to mess around with more uh, dragon types. I think they also should mess around with more uh, flying types. There's a lot of just fl uh, flying normal Pokemon. I think um, Fire Poison is really cool. I think that's only Solandit. Fire Water. Yeah, I mean that's special though. Oh, Dunsparce. Do I even have Dunsparce? I don't think I have Dunsparce. Oh, it's a crotch shot. Hello? Let me off. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Dunsparce was like, <laughs> what was that? Poison Dragon? Yeah. Hello, Poison Dunsparce. You're, I like the Poison Hat a lot, actually. The Poison Hat's a good one. Take this Psycho Cut, though. Dragon Rotom. <laughs> That's not a typing, but Dragon Rotom would be cool. Uh, Quick Ball probably doesn't work anymore, does it? Or, or it just works. Dragon Normal. Adding Normal typing is just so weird because I don't know what it does. Like, Normal Ghost with the Zero, uh, Z uh, Zorark was a really cool one. But I, I don't know what uh, adding normal type to any other Pokemon does. Um. Uh, hey, Jaden, I just wanted to let you know the subathon has been d on during some of the worst of this semester. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. I'm glad that I'm glad the subathon has been helping with a lot of people's finals. Go go. Um, I'm not one, I, like, when I was in school, I wasn't one to be able to study while listening to anything. Um, but I'm glad that it's, uh, helpful for people who can. I always, that, I always hated that about studying. It was like, I was just the type of person where if anything else was on during studying, I couldn't focus. But it made, oh, I need Stantler. But it made a setting so boring. You have to sit in silence and just read your papers. Poison fire. Oh, I just said that. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> I think uh, adding psychic to more things is interesting. Is there a poison psychic? I feel like there's one poison psychic. I just don't know what it is. Do, do, do. Dude, why did I throw two quick balls? Poison electric, that was cool too. Quad against ground though. Poison fairy? Yeah. Fairy is also interesting to add, add a typing to. 
fairy dragon. Yeah, there's only, like, isn't it only Mega Altaria that's fairy dragon? Stantler, you're being, you're being difficult. Fairy fighting. Ooh, that's also a good one. Is there any fairy fighting types? Psychic fire would be sick. Uh, that's what they, I mean, they already made one. It's uh, Delphox. But it's easy to forget it's fire psychic. Another one would be nice. It really seems like, oh, I need to swap out the Pokemon again. I forgot, like, immediately. It really feels like they're exploring different, like, type combinations. Um, but they're kind of only doing the bad ones. <laughs> like, all the, all the Hisuian Pokemon were, like, really cool in concept, but all of them had horrible weaknesses. That Stantler over there... <laughs> Oh, he was walking funny. Boxes. Okay. Uh, we can evolve. Uh, let's evolve Venonat. That's quick. Iron Valiant is fairy fighting. Oh, that's that's right. But that's like the first one. I love more of them. It's an interesting combination. If you could add a type, what would it be? Ooh. Ghost normal could be just a regular spirit. Well, they they did make ghost normal with... Oh, there's one. This this is the one jumped off the cliff. Uh, they did it with Zero Arc, or Zora Arc in Arceus, and it was a really good typing. It had so many... Uh, oh, I forgot to... I forgot to wake him up. It had so many... Uh, it was really good against immunities. It had, like, three immunities or something? Like, fighting... Ooh, quick catch. Fighting... Normal... And something else. I don't remember. Was it dark? Might have been dark. No, it was ghost. Three immunities. Fairy ice? Ooh. Ice dark. That would be awesome. Oh! Wait, he's fluffy. Babu is evolving. We got Babu! <laughs> Hello, Jumpluff. Jumpluff is so cute. Alright. We got Jumpluff. Oh, you can change the, the, the camera in, even when you're like outside of bat, uh, looking at the Pokedex. That's weird. Uh, boxes. Let's see. Uh, we can evolve Shepip. Why not? I'm pretty sure you can catch Shelgon in, like, a different cave area, so I don't want to bother leveling him up. I'm gonna go down, see what other Pokemon there is. Look at a little Fletch- uh, this guy. Flying around, or walking around on his little feet. Viper? We don't have Viper. Glass. Oh, I forgot to answer the question. Someone said glass type Pokemon. That'd be interesting, but it's like, what kind? What does glass do? I think like, whoa, my model just did not spawn there. <laughs> the thing about glass is it's kind of hard to like think of moves for it. I've had this conversation with with Jacob before, and this is I'll, I'll tell you his answer. He thinks that it would be really cool to uh, have space-type Pokemon. Like, Deoxys would be a space-type Pokemon. Uh, and there's there's a bunch of, like, moves that could be turned into space-type Pokemon. Uh, I think there could be... Uh, I think Plasma could be a cool Pokemon typing to add. It might be a little, co like, complicated, though. What other Pokemon are around here? Ooh, this is new a new little biome. Ooh, I don't I don't have Dreadnaw. We need Dreadnaw. Catch. <laughs> ah. 
Quick ball. I don't know what other typings, like what other elements there are. Nice. The more ca Pokemon we catch for the decks, the more we get crit captures and the more easy it is to to get Pokemon. Mech type would be cool. Yeah, but I feel like mech really overlaps with steel type. Like, it's hard to think of typings that would not overlap with uh, already established types. Like, dar dark and ghost kind of overlap just a little bit. They're very similar typings. Frogonk! Hello, oh, buddy. I keep forgetting to heal my fucking thing. <laughs> Sound type? Oh, yeah. Didn't didn't Wolfie say that would be an interesting typing? Adding sound type? Like, loud rib would be a sound type. It's just hard to visualize what makes a Pokemon a sound type Pokemon. Like, I, I, I get that, um... Loudred would be a sound type Pokemon Exploud. Um... Toxtricity, that line, but it's hard to think of- Oh! Tiny Dreepy! <gasps> I see, uh, Go Gumi! Gumi over there! Do I- do I have you? I do have you. I have you already. Oh yeah, because you're a- you're a Violet exclusive. Gumi! Light type? That would be interesting too, but yeah, it overlaps with um, electric. I forgot. I'm. I need to heal my Iron Valiant like now. Heal, heal, heal. Catch this Pokemon. Oh my God, I'm forgetting again. I'm gonna forget because I have to fight this Gumi that I already have apparently. Heal, heal, heal. Run, heal your thing. Jaden, heal. Wake this Iron Valiant up. It needs to wake up. No, not that button. What's your favorite one-off Pokemon? Because mine is Shuckle. Um, I'm not sure. I'd have to look at the... I, whoopsie. I'd have to look at a Pokedex. I, I definitely have an answer for it. Uh, but I do not remember what it is. Wake up. There we go. What else is in here? You know what Pokemon I really like? Electros. Oh, hey, you. I love Electros. People do not care about Electros. No one talks about Electros, but I love it. It's such a fun Pokemon. Psyduck. I don't know if there's anything new over here. There's a Gimme Ghoul. Alright. For the 1k steps trick on the Pokemon Center, please. I'll do that later. I'll do that when I have, like, a bunch of 1k step Pokemon I want to do. I don't want to do it, like... It's just a little scattered to do them all over the place. Like, right now, I'm just exploring and catching Pokemon and stuff. Ah, they're shell loss. Uh, we should look at what's in the water. Palafin. Buizel. <laughs> that was a lens flare if I've ever seen one. What's over here? Watril. One person? What is this? Isn't that the squ school where we... Where we what? Weird, weird lady? Hello? No, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> you're- you're weird. There's- you feel- I feel like I'm going so slow. I can't boost in this water. How did she get there? You had no idea. What is this? Oh, I don't- I don't have you. Aracuda. Uh, you can go trade the the pink urchin if you want. Yeah, I might do that actually. Totally forgot that Haunter is a trade evolution, or Gengar is. 
Might go do that. Ooh, I need, um... What's his name? The guy that was just over there. I need you. Hello? Thank you. Quillfin. Quillfish. N Nat Naganadel? Yeah, the, the, isn't that, oh, love disc. Uh, isn't he the, oh, I like how the lobsters swim backwards. That's cute. That's a cute little detail. N Naganadel? He, I, like, what is the point? What's the, the deal with him? Like, they, they introduced Naganadel when, like, like, way too late. Don't, don't understand. Crystal type? Oh, that'd be interesting. Crystal, it, it's close to rock, but it could be, like, a rock light, uh, like, What's that thing in the under the water over there? Like by the cliff. That could be interesting. Crystal type. What's this? Oh, it's arrow arowana. The goo type. The annoying type. Wait, what's this? Do I have you? Oh, it's just another arowana. They look so weird in the water. Hero type could be cool. Ah, what? Oh my god. I feel like hero type is really, like... It makes it too, like, comic booky. you know? It turns it into, like, an MCU versus, like, a monster Pokemon. I have got to get out of here. I'll look around for more... Pokemon I haven't caught though. Do 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 do. I'm gonna go over. Ooh, what's over in that tunnel? Oh. This is where we found our little friend. I don't know if I have Houndour. I think let's, let's catch Houndour. Do I have you? Nope. I would love for Pokemon to do a, a fusion gimmick. Like, everyone wants it. They need to just figure out how to do it and do it. Everyone would pop off. But Game Freak and Nintendo need to get their shit together before they do a Pokemon Fusion thing. Because if they tried to attempt it now, uh, it wouldn't work. It would be too, like, half-assed. That's my opinion. The Goku type. No! These dogs need to leave me alone. All right, Houndor Fang. It's weird that you catch you you pick up like the Pokemon like stuff. Like if it's fur, it makes sense. But if it's like their teeth and their their like claws and stuff, I think it's a little weird. How do I get out of here? Well, they're supposed to go up, but. Ooh, wait, what's this? Dragon Dance. Ooh, I'll take that. Okay, now I'm just gonna fly back. Uh, let's fly to, like, over here. Alfernada. The horror type. <laughs> I think that's that's just ghost type. Mm, wait, what was that tiny little thing? 
I didn't see anything. Oh, you can just catch jump off. Whoops. Bit of a waste. Oh, you? Gothita? No. Come on. Come on, what's that tiny speck over there? Oh, Sinistee. <laughs> it's so small. I feel like Sinistee is like way too small. <laughs> All the Pokemon in this game are smaller than normal. Sinistee is microscopic. Look at it. Got the Rita. Okay, I need the Sinisteam. I'm just gonna run into it. God, this ti this area has gotta be such a pain in the ass for just running around. No. Uh, it's a ghost, so this doesn't work. Okay. Ugh. <sighs> As, like, si ever since Mario Odyssey, I really wanted Pokemon Open World. Um, and we finally got it. What, what, what game franchise would you guys really like to be open world? Because Pokemon worked really well for, for open world. I'm so glad we're finally here. The black tea Pokemon. GTA. Isn't GTA already open world? I thought that's like... Uh, Animal Crossing? Animal Crossing is kind of already open world too. I guess I don't know the specific definition of open world. Um, wait, what's that? Was that like a clef key? It is. Metroid? Ooh. That could be cool too. Metroid has always been kind of like a, a platformer though. How would they make it 3D? I guess there's a bunch of ways. Where's the... There it is. Hollow Knight? Mmm. I feel like Hollow Knight thrives as as a a two two D platformer though. Magic room. Kirby, yeah, they kind of dabbled in it with uh, Forgotten Land, but Kirby open world would be really fun. Castlevania, ooh. Bro, this cliff key kind of bulky. Minecraft. <laughs> that uh, Nintendo is like games have really been exploring open world since Odyssey. Like we've got Sonic Frontiers, we got Pokemon, we got Breath of the Wild, stuff like that. I wish I was way more into Zelda than I am. I'm just not really interested in it, and I'm not interested in learning it or playing it. But it's... No, I didn't want... <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, that's fair. Whew. All Zelda is different, though. Yeah, but, like, I, I, I bought... Breath of the Wild, played it for like 30 minutes, and it was like, I can't get into this. Maybe one day I'll give it another go. I just don't feel... I'm just not excited to explore the world, you know? I think that's what uh, is really important in an open world game, is that per someone wants to like... look around. Anderson Jr. is evolving. Whoa! Yeah. Pelipper.
All right, let's switch you out for someone else. Boxes. I guess we do a uh, Magnemite. There's so many little guys. Oh, I'm trying to like dodge all the synesthes. Because I do not want to run into them. Oh, Mudbray. What is that? Oh, Altaria. Okay, we gotta catch both of these things. <laughs> Little guy type. Open world rhythm game? That's a very interesting concept. Someone should probably try to do that eventually. But I have no idea what that looks like. God, I love rhythm games. Look how small the Pokeball is. We got Mud Mud's Bray. Mud's Dale, I mean. Open world One Piece game. Isn't there one coming out? No, did they leave? No, they're just up there. Come on. Come on. I want to... Come down here. Come on. Come down here. Altaria, please. How do I how do I encounter the Pokemon that are flying? Throw a Pokeball at it? It's too high up! ZL to focus on him? Run. There we go. Thank you, chat. <laughs> awesome. Oh, this is great. Just catching Altaria is so nice. I should catch that Flaffy in the back, too. Woo! I like Bombardier. It just feels so plain that it's a one-off Pokemon. It takes so much to to pull off a one a one-off Pokemon. What's your favorite mystery dungeon? I kill some Sinistee to get pieces to trade for Charcadect. Ooh, I'll do that later. Wait, no, I don't want to. <laughs> um, my favorite mystery dungeon is Explorers of Sky. Just like everyone's favorite. <laughs> what is this? Oh, Metatite. Do I have you? I don't think it... I haven't even seen you! I play Explorers of Sky like every year. And I cry every year. Mario Kart at Night? Yeah, good chance we play Mario Kart at Night. I like that everyone's excited about the Mario Kart night at Night <laughs> uh, routine. Come in a tight. Little diaper baby. Yeah, exactly. Little diaper baby Pokemon. Why is Venom not, not evolved yet? What level does it evolve at? Like, is it 30 or something? I thought it evolves quicker. Oh, hello. <laughs> the Polygon po Pokemon will never not make me laugh. Thank you. It's Partha. How would you feel about a Pokemon X Digimon game? I don't know how it would work, honestly. Like, it's like completely two different franchises. I don't know how they would uh, make it work because the whole, all the lore between Pokemon, like Digimon are completely different. Like, you wouldn't just find Pokemon in the overworld, or Digimon in the overworld. You'd have to go- it'd have to be like a cyber- <gasps> Lycanroc! A cyber Pokemon game or something. 
Because Digimon are only in like the digital world. Wait, we already have a Lycanroc? Oh. I don't think I have any more wishes for Pokemon. My main one was just that I, I want um, open world Pokemon and that we finally have it. I guess I just want them to make a better one. <laughs> I guess I don't I don't think that's too much to ask for, but you know, it it feels like it is. <laughs> do you still play the Pokemon or the piano? I do. Uh, I don't have a I moved recently, so I don't have one right now in my house. I need to go get one. Palmy. Ooh, I don't have uh, I don't have these guys. I'll catch both of them. I like the bass version more than the the guitar electric guitar version. Is it like bass and amp form or something? Digimon can be a virus that infects the Pokemon. Oh, the Pokemon PC. Like I, I see that they can go into like computers and stuff, but I don't I still don't think it affects the the world too much. Laffy. I just want a good looking Pokemon game. I want, like, you can. Oh, oh I thought the grass was Pokemon. <laughs> I want it to. I want to have the. Whoa! <laughs> I want to have the catch mechanics like Arceus. I want it to be open world story like uh, SV. Uh, I want it to look good like. Like, there's no examples. <laughs> Metatite. Ooh. What is this? What are you? Oh, that's just a Pokeball. Hurricane. I feel like... I'm, like, very interested on what the next Pokemon game is gonna be like. I should go in this cave. We haven't gotten any caves. Oh, we need to land it. Oh, there's Gibble and uh, Gabite over there, too. I just want a really pretty Pokemon game that I can sink, like, thousands of hours into. Or you just get to do a bunch of stuff. I really liked the, the side quests in Arceus as well. I did, like, all the side quests in... In Arceus, ooh, uh, Sableye. How many gimme gold coins do you have? I have no idea. I'll check later. I'm gonna catch this, uh, Gabite. I'll just run into it. The Gabite, or, or the Gibble are just sitting there. It's cute to see what Pokemon run away and what ones just stand their ground. That's probably like a, a, a like a conversation all the employees have to have, like the the directors. Ground Dragon is so good. Besides their quad. <laughs> Hello, Gabite. I mean, Gibble. I always mix up the names. I've been getting really bad at uh, Pokemon names lately. I want one with lots of replay value. Yeah, I don't know how what that looks like. I think they just need to start implementing like challenge modes into Pokemon games. You know? Like Nuzlocke mode and and uh, or like mono type Pokemon mode and different achievements and like challenge mode like all the things are harder, you know. I think uh, they would never do it, but I would really like them to start adding like more competitive stuff into the main games. Hello, Sableye. Quash. What's Quash?
the 3D Zelda games are uh, over at IMO. Play Okami instead. I've heard about Okami. I just want to explore previous regions again. Yeah, that's what people want. They they need to just like the thing. The weird thing about this is, Pokemon loves uh, doing homages to Gen One, but if they start doing more homages to other games, people would go, like people love references, but they only reference Gen One, and it's like, why? You I, there's. There's like eight other generations you can talk about, and they only want to talk about Gen 1 all the time. It's really annoying. Like, every once in a while, they'll have like a random NPC like, oh, I came from Hoenn. It's like, and you go, oh, that's so cool. It's like everything else is just, you know. I would love another Legends game, though. Because that was all, that game was full of, of like references and stuff. And it was so cool. Like Spear Pillar, reverse, uh, like adding um, the history of Spear Pillar was the coolest thing Pokemon has ever done with their story. And if they start just doing that more, I think like that would just be so cool. Do you not like showing your face? I just prefer not to. What a weird question to ask. Let's see. Is there anyone else in this cave that's new? I feel like I caught all the cave Pokemon. Shiny Rotom? Ooh, congrats. Shiny Rotom's cool. I like how red it is. Gen 1 goaded, no cap. Um, if you played Gen 1 as your first Pokemon game, I think it's, you know, I get where you're coming from. But it's far from the best generation. I think the sweet spot is, like, Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5. Like, you can say, I think you can say that you like, um, like, Fire Red, Leaf Green. Like the remakes of it, but the ge the first two generations of Pokemon games, <laughs> they are not like it's nostalgia talking. If you say those are good games, it's ugly. It's ooh, I need um I need Metacham. They're ugly. There's like lots of things wrong with it. You know, like if they came out with Gen One now, I don't think people would be happy. <laughs> They'd have to uh, update a lot of things about Gen One. The fire gym leader from Sword Shield is from home, Hoenn. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, they throw in that they they, they give backstories of like, oh, there I was in Johto and stuff. But, um, that's like it. They don't, they don't... <laughs> po Pokemon loves Gen 1. And it is the favorite child. Like, you, you can't argue that Gen, Gen 1 is Pokemon's favorite child favorite generation Medicham Not right Oh, you're evolving. I think it's weird that his head is like always twisted to the side. Also, he's got so many teeth. Heart gold has my heart. That's fair. Like, I understand everyone likes their own generations. I just think Gen 1 and Gen 2 are so like... As someone who started in Gen 3, I've never looked back at Gen 1 and been like, I should play it. It's like, I'll play the Gen 3, Gen 4 remakes of those games, but I'll, I will never like willingly play Gen 1, Gen 2. I think I, I think I have everything in this cave. All right, what's out here? Mankey. You get annihilate by like <gasps> fan 
P. Do I have you? Hello. Heart gold, soul silver are perfect. A lot of people have complaints about Gen 2, about like the story progression and how it's slow and level stuff. But if they like, the, the reason people like Gen 2, like a big reason why people like Gen 2 is that Gen 1, like Kanto is in it. Or like Heart Gold Sold Silver, I mean. Like the people, the reason people like Johto is because you can go to Kanto. I think, um, like if they just did one of those things again, people would lose their shit. People would go crazy. Like, holy shit, we can go back to, to fucking, uh, Sinnoh or something, whatever. Oh, Rock Ruff. I'll catch you. Like, there's just so much post-game. Like, it's just the amount of care they put in. Like, pu they put all of Kanto in Johto. And it just shows care, you know? The, the games right now don't feel like they have a lot of care put into it. I think that's, like, what the bottom line is. That's what, like, everyone is... All the complaints really come from is that Game Freak and Nintendo don't, don't care. I'd love to revisit Kalos. Yeah, I play, I've play. i only played X and Y once, and it was when they came out. So I, I remember, I think, I think it's like very story heavy, but I'd love to give it another shot. Gen 6 remakes? Why not Gen 5 remakes? <laughs> well, oh, I did not even see you. What's your favorite game slash media franchise beside Pokemon? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't think I have one. I I'm like, I I need to play more video games more often, because I I don't think I have any. Like I I like to think that I play video games a lot, but in my when I think go come down when it comes down to it, I don't think I play a lot of games actually. I feel like I. What is this? Oh, to you. Um, I I think I would like a lot of game franchises. I just don't explore or like I just don't have the free time to play games very often. And if I do, I try to not. I don't let myself play games because I have such an addictive personality that I just will like hardcore obsess over a new game and not get any work done. Like, when I'm into a game, I play it, like, my life, become, like, falls apart, honestly. My game, my, my life falls apart when I'm interested in, in a new game or whatever, like, new hobby. I do it whenever I want, like, can. It's, I've got really bad obsessive personality. Why can't I go in here? What's over here? Um, we have all of you guys. We have all of you guys. I wish wa I was one of those people who is like, okay, I'll play a video game for two hours and then I'll go work. <laughs> that is just not who I am. I have to play, th I have to, I'm either working or obsessing over a game. And most of the time, I do not have the time to... Hello, you little guy. You're not shiny, are you? I'm so scared of missing one of them as a shiny. Um, I just don't have the time to obsess over video games 99% of the time. When I was playing Yakuza, Yakuza, what it, however you say it, um... I, I did like for two weeks I did nothing but play that game. It took me like two weeks to finish it and I did not do any work. It was just wake up, play the game, fall asleep. <laughs> it's just not healthy. Like not only do I not get work done, it's just not healthy. <laughs> I really need to figure out how to balance my that part of my life. Because I'm not I I'm not I I'm just not good at having free time. Or like letting myself do anything. It's, Anything. Do I have a numble? Nope. 
Honestly, I love the Sword and Shield DLC, so I'd appreciate DLC for these games. Yeah, I'm sure they're, they'll make DLC for, for these games. No way they don't. I don't remember, was there DLC for uh, Arceus? I don't remember. When Arceus came out, I put 25 hours into the game the first weekend it came out. Yep, that's me. <laughs> that's me. The game doesn't deserve any paid DLC. It's so unfinished. Yeah, they... I wonder how much they actually fix the game. I feel like they're already having to work on the next game. Which is so sad. I would like to just know if Game Freak is capable of making a good game. Like, a good 3D game. What kind of Pokemon are in the Team Star base? Are there any Pokemon in here? Doesn't really look like it. Define good. Um, doesn't look like shit. Like, look at all these repeating textures. Look at, like, the frame rate. It doesn't... It's just not good. It's... It's... It's like a demo of a game. This is not supposed to be... A, this is not a final product. Do you think this is a final product? Where mountains are popping in and out? Things are lagging? Like, look at that. Look at this... Choppy ass stuff. This is not a f <laughs> No matter how much you look at the definition, this is not a good game. <laughs> Define good. I, I want I want pretty. I want uh like it can be handled like uh I want <laughs> not laggy. I want finished. I don't think it's I don't feel like that's too much to ask for, but Game Freak, Game Freak gaslights everyone into thinking it is. You know, like I don't want Pokemon to look all polygony until I, until the battle loads. I want better looking textures. Fun, fun isn't good, and quality has to be in par. Like. A game can be bad, and it can be good. It, a game, like, it can be ugly and be good. It can be considered bad, and you can still have fun with it. But this is a, like, a trillion dollar industry. This is the mo- this- Wait, do I have Dawn Fan? Ah! Whoopsie. Well, I guess we're checking. I think I do. I could be wrong. No, I don't. Like, you can enjoy- you can have fun with any type of game. But Pokemon has no excuse. It makes the most money out of any video game, any you get any other franchise. It's just it's just upsetting. The I the bottom line is they have no excuse. They just keep popping out the games too quickly. Bad games can be fun. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like a game can be bad and you can still have fun with it. Like, this this game, I've had fun with it. Like, as much as I there is to complain about it, I ha I've been having fun. I like this game. But man, do I still recognize that it is abhorrently not fair that th this is the quality that we are served. That we have to pay $60 for. Vote with your wallet, don't buy the next one. That That's the thing. That's like the problem. Pokemon knows people are still going to buy it. I'm going to keep buying Pokemon games because I love Pokemon. I play it all the time. I want to I wanna play the, the new Pokemon games. It's just like... Everyone's like got each other check, checked, you know? Pokemon feels like people will always complain about their games no matter what they do. Pokemon refuses to... <laughs> make qual like take the time to make a good quality game. It's like everyone is in checkmate right now, and like changes have to be slow. Oh, outplayed ya. 
Have you played Tem Temtem? No, I haven't. I know, I know everyone was like really excited when it was coming out, but it didn't look that appealing to me. Like, the thing with Pokemon is like, or like Pokemon clones, is they never really look like Pokemon and everyone wants Pokemon. That's like the, the hard thing about making a Pokemon clone game is that you're not gonna be Pokemon and people want Pokemon. Temtem very mid. Yeah, I think people just got excited. People want... I think what people really wanted with Temtem... Ah, uh, great. Wait, did I not Thunder Wave him? What happened? Uh, either way, I should not be quick balling anymore. Uh, people wanted... Uh, Temtem to work because they wanted Pokemon to feel like there was now... Um, competition and they had to work harder and like you know because Pokemon is pretty much a monopoly nothing no other games are like Pokemon if you want Pokemon you have to play Pokemon it's the same way with Call of Duty the games in the past have been subpar unless people stop paying for COD altogether like COD last year I really don't know much about COD why is Cacturn so hard to to get why didn't I Thunder Wave him <laughs> did I Thunder Wave him why is he not Thunder Wave? Did he heal himself? I wasn't paying attention. I was ranting. <laughs> I was ranting. I'll try it again. There you go. He dodged. Oh, I see. I like Cacturn. One day I'd like to use a Cacturn in a Pokemon run. Alright, well, I'll throw an Ultra Ball again see if this works and then I'll false swipe him again. Temtem was fun but they went into they went too into terrible monetization and the rest is sadly history. Oh. What do you mean they went too into uh, monetization? Did they have like ads in the game or something? I don't know what that means but yeah it, it faded away really quickly. Hello, Fampy. What is this, Orthworm? Yeah, it's Orthworm. NFT? Question mark? Yeah, did they get into NFTs? Uh, I was late to Gen 3 when it came out. I only had a Game Boy and Silver with a dead battery. So couldn't save. Couldn't get past the second gym. Was it? Oh, it's such a bummer. Oh. Yeah, kids Kids were like... Oh, I need flam uh, Phalanx. I don't have you. Uh, quick ball. One thing I wish you could uh, recognize, like it's so easy to recognize, like pa like pa like twenty twenty. Uh, hindsight is twenty twenty. It's so easy to hindsight recognize when a memory or an experience is nostalgic. I wish you were able to recognize in like, uh, in real time when you're making like nostalgic memories. Because I think that's what makes a lot of adults like look back at their childhood and be like, oh, why isn't, why aren't things like the good old days, you know? I think that's like just unfortunate. It's like an unfortunate part of life is that you never re realize <gasps> Larvesta. You don't realize the memories you're making are are nice until 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 you you're looking back at them. How old are you? I'm 25. Once you turn 25, like, I don't feel old, but, but it feels like I'm supposed to start feeling old. <laughs> like, as soon as you turn 25, that's when you start feeling like, oh shit, I'm like aging. <laughs> like, 24, you still feel young. 25 is like, oh damn. It's the first experience of like, oh, I'm old? Like, 25 isn't old, but, like, to people younger than you, it does feel old. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I think it's so easy to be, like, 17 or 18 and be like, 25 is so old. 
and then you turn 25 and you're like, oh shit, it's not old. But I feel like I should feel like it's old because people younger than me think it's old. <laughs> does that make sense? You sound 32. What does that mean? <laughs> Is it my voice? It's scratchy. <laughs> What is the age you guys are scared of? I feel like everyone has an age in their mind that they're scared of turning. I think mine is like 39. Everyone's saying 30. I feel like 30, like when turning 21. That makes sense. That, that's a scary one. Um, mine is like... 39 because I I feel confident that 30 is is a comfortable number like I can push it and say like 36 or something but I think uh, 30 is still pretty young and you don't realize it's still young until you're like 20s um, but I think I'm scared of my 40s people People say, like, you know, the saying is like, oh, 30s are like your 20s, but better. And you're, you're like, more confident and stuff. You have stuff more figured out. It's like a better 30s, you know, because 20s come with a lot of self-doubt and, and struggle and self, um, self-actualization and stuff. But thir by 30, you're, you're more confident. You've learned a lot of life lessons. Uh, but 40... <laughs> It just feels hard. I'm burned. Damn. I feel like I'm wasting my 20s. I don't think there's a way to waste your 20s. I think no matter how you experience your 20s, you're always learning something. And that's what makes the 30s easier. Someone just says, do you have a palafin? <laughs> um, no. I have the dolphin. I don't remember if that's palafin or not. Oh my god, the hacks on this this giraffe. When did I when did I get burned? <laughs> when you turn 40, you turn into Larry. <laughs> uh, I want a full restore. Thirty-five to forty scares me. Yeah, I think like turning thirty-five, that's when I start thinking about like, you know, time and life and stuff that seems like the hardest thing uh to start experiencing the older you get is realizing that like life <laughs> are we gonna really talk about just like death and stuff so so stupid but that's like when you start thinking about like oh time is definitely like you still have at least half your life but that's when you start thinking about it you know it sounds just scary Turning 20 sounds scary. I wouldn't say turning 20 is scary. I feel like 20 is... 20 can be like... The best and worst years of your life, I think. I think there's just a lot you experience. Like, that's when you are supposed to like... Get out into the world. Figure out who you are. And you have a lot of fun. But it's like really hard to realize that you need to figure out who you are as a person. I mean, you don't have to. But that's like the the normal years to do it but yeah turning 25 it's like i'm comfortable but i'm definitely starting to turn the ages where people are like you're old <laughs> and i don't agree with them but it's you know it's like i get it i i see it when i was when i was a kid i thought 14 was old like when i was six i i was uh ooh, small lot Oh, and Toxicroak. When I was, like, six, and you know how you'd play, like, pretend as a kid? You'd always, like, be like, oh, I'm gonna be pretend to be this character, and you just play pretend. Um, when I was younger, I would pretend, like, if I wanted to pretend to be uh, an older character in my mind, I would say, pretend I'm 14. I thought 14 was, like, such an old age. <laughs> it's crazy how, like, Oh, I need to switch up uh, Mastiff. <laughs> it, it's it's crazy how the the um, the bar keeps changing on what you think old is. <laughs> Shellos, 
18 is a scary age. Yeah, that is a very scary age. That's when you're like, oh, I'm officially like, air quotes, an adult. And that can, that can be scary. It's insane, like, the internet has matured a lot of people very quickly. <laughs> like, like, when I was a kid, I never thought about how I was considered a minor, you know? But like, kids nowadays, they, they pull like, they know they're a minor and they like, understand like, what's okay and what's not, you know? Um, let's put you in. You know, there's there'd be times where um, someone is like, s there's an internet argument and stuff, and then things get heated, and someone says something, and then the person's like, I'm a minor, you can't say that. You know? You, do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> like, when I was a minor, I didn't know I could pull the minor card. <laughs> yeah, the I'm a minor, stop, you can't do that. <laughs> the internet raise and ruin me yeah I'm glad I I didn't grow up with the internet but I was a teenager with the internet any more evolving Pokemon I don't think that like any of like growing up is is better or worse I saw this uh, this Twitter thread of like newspaper clips from different generations, and all of them were saying, uh, kids these days are spoiled. Ooh, slow bro, slow bro, slow poke. I need you. Uh, like, there, there was like a thread of screenshots of newspapers from like the 1920s, where the newspaper title was like, kids these days are, are too spoiled. Like, people have been saying this for generations, and that made me feel like, much more like happy you know that it's not like a, a recent thing people have always been thinking that kids are spoiled and that's just not gonna go away you just gotta get used to it at this point um and it's like adults are always gonna think that because like times are constantly changing man like the adults of today are constantly working to give their kids a better future and then there's adults out there who get upset that the kids of these of the the new age have a better future. You know, it's like a catch twenty two. No one can win. Like kids can never win. And it's like everyone is thinking like, oh, the kids these days they don't know what what childhood is like. They can't go out and get out, get out like it, my childhood is going out in the run around in the parks and riding bikes and stuff. But I mean, that's your childhood, and it feels right because it's yours, but you're, like, the, the generation before you have also been saying that same thing, you know? It's always gonna be the same thing. Except boomers really did have it too easy. <laughs> I think everyone can agree on that. <laughs> uh... I'm a child, I'm scared of ter being 16. Don't trust me with a car. I mean, I guess you know, if you're really scared, you don't have to. I know, I have a bunch of friends that just don't have their license because they don't want it. All right. I will right, take this gold duck though. That means we don't have to evolve Psyduck. Um, let's just try another ball. Since it's dark out, we can probably throw a, a, a dusk ball. Back in my day, Pluto is still a planet. <laughs> These kids will never know what it's like to grow up with Pluto as a planet. <laughs> the youth of today. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> um, oh, Iron Valiant. God, I love that Pokemon. We're really co go going through this Pokedex, though. Psyduck down. <gasps> Magnemite! Magnemite had, like, the biggest texture glow up. I love how metallic it is now. 
scratch that i should be sad because i think what's best to make me whatever memories before you reach 100 or i shouldn't be sad yeah it's like it feels like there's just a lot to to learn at different ages you you just learn new th you're constantly new learning new things i don't really want to learn tri attack i don't really care Fetinat! Ooh, we got double double evolution. I want to go catch that Sligoo, though. I don't. I hope it doesn't run away. We gotta change the change out our guys, though. Wait, what about Pluto? You don't know Pluto is not a planet. It's considered a dwarf planet. Did you not know that? Or did you not know that Pluto used to be a planet? <laughs> Which one is it? Oh, you. Hello! I love the new Hisuian Gudra. The Hisuian Gudra is so cute. I love its like tired little uh tired little eyes. And its big shell. I've been liking how they give new forms to like Pokemon you don't really think. Like like Stantler and really forgettable Pokemon that they kind of like modernize. Like, the idea of adding regional variants has really grown on me. I like the idea of it a lot. Because it just, like... Um... It just, like, reminds people of old Pokemon. You know? Like, no one ca no one gave a shit about Stantler. And now it's got a Hisuian version and people are like, Oh, that's cool. Oh, nice. Like, new Dawn fan. Pluto is still a planet in my heart. <laughs> yeah. Lots of lots of people uh, vouching for Pluto. Took Pluto being <laughs> not a planet very, very uh, personally. Uh, did I throw another quick ball by accident? Viva la Pluto. <laughs> Come on, catch this time. No! Sligo fighting. Sligu thrown hands. The scariest thing about uh, being 18 and older is you make your own appointments in clinics or the dentist. Yeah, that's true. You have to like, you're like, ah, oh, shit, I have to like be an adult. I remember the first time I ever felt like an adult was when I moved out to the dorms uh, in college. Like when I went to, it was my first time not living at my parents' house anymore it was when I moved to the dorms in my, my uh, college. Um, what? Oh, Scyther. Oh, Vaporeon. Oh, I need to catch this. Actually, I should heal, uh, I should heal Iron Valiant first. Restore health. Please don't run away. No, no, no. Don't go. <laughs> uh, the first time I felt like an adult was when I moved out of my parents' house for the first time and, uh, was living in the dorms. And, uh, the campus was big enough where, you know, there's, like, a little grocery store and stuff like that. And you just pick up the stuff you need. And, um, <laughs> it's just so stupid. I felt the most adult when I was like, oh, I have to go out and buy milk and paper towels. Something about that just made me feel like, damn, that was a very adult decision I had to do. That was a very dis uh, adult action I had to do. <laughs> ah, come on. Uh, kind of weird question. Was uh, Asian culture a big influence on your life growing up? No, not really. Uh, bro, stop with the paralyze. Uh, how are you holding up after a ne nearly a month into this? This has been fun. Like, like people keep saying, like, poor Jaden, stop the stream. Stop, take a break. And honestly, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Please stop saying that. Oh my god! I'm gonna need to take a break now, actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, I scheduled out all, like, I've been doing collabs, like, every single day. Things have been planned. Like, I, I, there hasn't been an unscheduled day for this, for this subathon, you know? <laughs> like, you don't have to... What is going on? Holy shit, stop missing. Okay, I gotta, I gotta full restore like right now. 
I cannot deal with this. Um, like, I'm doing fine. This was all, you know, part of the plan. It's kind of, like, rude when people co come in and say, You need to stop the stream. You need to go take a break right now. It's like, don't worry. It's, it's fine. Calm down. I can handle myself. You are not my parents. Um, but... Wait, what was that other question I was gonna answer? Uh, was Asian culture a big part? No, I grew up pretty, pretty American. It wasn't until, like... Ooh, Tropius. It wasn't until, like, lately that I've... My family has been getting into Asian culture. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's just throw a ball at it, actually. Okay. Let's uh, throw a dusk ball because it's dark out. This Vaporeon is gonna be a bitch. It's gonna be a bitch. Oh my god. Maybe I should just like, psycho cut it. Because it's got a bunch of defense up. Oh, nice. That was perfect. I want that Tropius so bad. Okay. This should catch. Nice. Vaporeon is just a fish fox. Changed my mind. I think you're right. I don't think anyone's uh, arguing against that. It's also the bubble jet Pokemon. I like Vaporeon. Jolteon's my favorite, though. From the back. Gotcha. Umbreon would have been higher up on my list <laughs> if uh, it wasn't so... <laughs> annoying in competitive. In competitive, Umbreon is just a stall wall. Ooh, crit catch. It's just annoying. It just doesn't go down. <laughs> Toxicroak, I already have that. Okay, now let's uh, switch out the box Pokemon. Okay. Because we have... Magneton is a trade. No, yeah, it is a trade. Um, we have that. We have you, you. Murkrow is also trade, right? How do you evolve uh, Stainy into Serena? Is it a... Is it level up? If so, I'll put it here. Um, Clauncher is also level up, right? These two are both level up, right? Are all of these Pokemon level up? I'm pretty sure they are. I'm not sure about Sandigast. Murkrow is Duskstone. Oh, you're right. Um, Magneton is Thunderstone. I thought it was trading it. Maybe it is Thunderstone. Um, level up knowing Stomp? Oh. What moves do you have? Why does it have to know Stomp? That's just weird. <laughs> God, that's weird. Does not help the fact that people <laughs> like Serena as much as they do. That it has to know Stomp. <laughs> Stomp is 29. Gotcha. What's over here? Is there any Pokemon on this tiny little island? Isn't this where you get Dondozo or something? Learn Stomp at 28. Around 8, 28, 29. Gotcha. Um, we have all of these guys. We have all of them. You can catch Honchkrow? Got it. Good to know. I'll keep a look at for him. <gasps> Avalug! I don't have Avalug. We can get Avalug. I like Avalug a lot. He's just like Ice Agron. <laughs> and I know he's bad, but I like him. Look at him! He's like a little doggy paddling. 
<laughs> He's looking up at me like, you're really? You're going to use a floaty? <laughs> He's an ice table. He is an ice table. Why did the Pokeball like zoom in so much? Blizzard, you hit it? Holy shit, he hits Blizzard. Dratini! We need Dratini. Uh, how about we just do this dive ball? Maybe that works. Whoa, lag. <laughs> that was a slow motion. <laughs> ah, damn. Alright, what, what can we hit him with? Wait, we don't have anything. We actually don't have anything. I'm gonna run real quick. Please, fish, do not spawn on me. It is so laggy here. We're going to heal you. Okay, I don't understand. God, that fish wants me. I don't understand. Why do we have to restore, like, manually m revive this Pokemon? Do I have any max revives? Why do we have to manually revive it just to automatically heal it, you know? It's, it's, it's so close. God, this fish. Okay, let's try it again. Um, quick ball. <laughs> this fish, this fish thinks it's the main character, dude. All right. Epilogue just floating in the water is so cute, though. It should be bigger, I think. It needs to be bigger. So many Pokemon in this game are so small. It really feels like they did not know how to optimize this game. Why do I keep missing Thunder Wave? Iron Valiant, you cannot be missing all these Thunder Waves. Veluza has intense Protag energy. Yeah, it's like the speed. It just like runs headfirst into a battle that does not involve it. <laughs> Uh, I feel like this Avalog could take a Psycho Cut. It's, yeah. Because it's bulky. It's just got the... Please miss. Huge. Another Psycho Cut. And then we'll start ch chucking balls at it. Alright, that's fine. Miss. <gasps> Huge! Huge. Okay. Uh, let's throw just an Ultra Ball. Bro. Why does it zoom in that much? And why does not need to zoom in this much? We get it. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> heavy Ball? I don't have any Heavy Balls, unfortunately. That's like a... a Oh, I have Dundozo, I believe. Alright. <laughs> it was so laggy. Whenever people say lag, I immediately think they're talking about the stream. Oh my god, this is so slow. And then I have to check my, my OBS to see if it is lag, and then I realize they're talking about the game. Oopsie. It was really fun playing competitive with, with Wolf today. I had a lot of fun. Boop ba da doo. Alright. I imagine with Stomp, like since I have move learns uh learned moves turned off, I just go into the uh go in and teach it myself, right? I don't know why it wouldn't work like that. Oh, no, not that. Dreadna, have you? It's just, oh, Bergmite. I don't think I have Bergmite. <laughs> God, the water is so uh, laggy. Vil <laughs> oh my God, this fish.
Shiny Slowpoke? I don't think so. I don't believe you guys at all. No. You guys have cried Shiny plenty of times. Shiny Slowpoke is purple. Back here. No, I do not believe you. No. You're lying. I'm not even saying no as in like, oh my god. No, I didn't. I couldn't have missed it. No, I don't believe it. I genuinely do not believe it. You guys, you guys have cried shiny way too many times. Ooh. You're all, you're all saying I, I missed a shiny, but you're all saying a, a different shiny. People were saying the Tatsuguri. Some people are saying the Slowpoke. See, that's what's making me, you missed a shiny tree. You guys got to get your story straight. You got to get your story straight. Anyone in here? Nope. Tatsuguri comes in different colors already. Swords dance. Ooh, very nice. If I missed a shiny, go back into the to the rewind. Ooh, do I have Halucha? I don't think I do. No, I don't. You need to go back um, in the, like... Double tap if you're on mobile. Double tap a couple, a couple times and take a screenshot and send it to me. People were sh sending me screenshots of the the shiny settle thing that you thought you saw yesterday. And it was just uh, uh, the guy that's in the shadow. I would love a shiny halucha though. Shiny Hooch is awesome. Sadatl. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sadatl. I need to play through this game again just to remember what all the names are. Like, I nicknamed all my Pokemon, so now I don't know what the, the real names are. Oh, a guy with this picnic. You guys have got shiny Pokemon on the brain. You're seeing what you want to see. Oh, Persian. Shiny Persian is like barely different. Uh, so I completely believe if I would walk past a shiny Persian and I would not care. I need to heal up my guy. I'll thunder wave. Ah, I forgot. Persian looks so different in this game. They really, like, gave him the shape of a leopard. Like a real, um, um, hunter cat. Alright, uh, disc ball. Yeah, that's like another downside to um, SV not having the shiny animation is pe because like people can just say you, there is a shiny and it'll just have to be a discussion, you know, like <laughs> um, like in Arceus, you could be like, oh, you missed the shiny animation like it was there. You missed it <coughs> with ours with SV. People can just say anything is a shiny, and you have to, like, go back and debate it. <laughs> I really think that if they combined um, the mechanics of SV and Arceus, they would, you, they would have a really good Pokemon game. 
I feel like they're getting so close to a good Pokemon game. If they just like fix the tech issues and the textures and then combined like SV Arceus stuff, it would be it would be such a good Pokemon game. Like the the transportation is what really kills me here. It's so hard to like just walk around the world. The dash is laggy. The the glide is not that good. You just don't feel like you're going fast. And in Arceus it did like look at this. It's so hard to climb the mountain. Oh, we should uh get some ice Pokemon. Look at this. Please. Let me up. You list you missed a shiny <gasps> Snom! We already have Snom. You missed a shiny Rayquaza literally shaking and crying right now. No, no way! I missed a, uh, a shiny Rayquaza? We have this dog as well. Brevard. Hmm. Snow Runt? We don't have Snow Runt. I should, I should catch two. No, I can catch Glalie uh, whenever I want. I know the area where you can catch uh, Frostlass and Glalie. <laughs> because freaking um, the, the shiny hunting yesterday. I know all the Pokemon that spawn over there. I'm glad I caught the Riolu and Lucario uh, hindsight because I do want to um, have Violet be my main game purely because of uh, cosmetics. I don't want to have orange pants. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let's heal you. No! It's coming after me! Why do they go, like, under the crotch of Maridon to, to activate the battle? What's the first shiny you guys ever caught? I think I asked this question a couple days ago, but I want to ask it again. I want to know what what shinies uh, like the first shiny you ever you ever got, or at least the first one you ever saw, because a lot of people didn't catch the first shiny they ever had or saw. Wait, this way. Drifloon. Ooh, Drifloon is a good one. I have this, don't I? Yeah, it's a Doddle. Gumi. Oh, that's a good one too. I like shiny Gumi. Drudagon. Ooh. That's cheese cheese head. <laughs> cheese head. Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa is also a good one. It's uh green. Whoopsie. Did not see you, sir. Uh Quagsire. Chief Pichu, I was sad. Oh. Yeah, I'm I'm shocked that they didn't remake the Pikachu shiny. Like, they remade Charizard Shiny before they remade Pikachu Shiny. That's just... It's... That's insane. The Pikachu Shiny is, like, actually bad. It's, like, one of those you, you can barely tell the difference Pika, kind of Pokemon. Bidoof kind of sad. Bidoof Shiny isn't too bad, but it is pretty similar. Uh, I caught my first Shiny in this gen. It was a Wiglet. Aw. Oh. <laughs> uh, is this game any good? Also, uh, do you have a Shellos? I just caught one a couple, like an hour ago. Uh, I think it's good. There's a lot to complain about, but I, I, I have a fun time in this game. I'm just completing the Pokedex now. Uh, I should get the Snom. Or like, uh, I mean, Snover. What's his name? Snover, yeah. Wee wee wee. Good luck, uh, Goldango. I don't think it doesn't seem like uh, the Goldango grind is is like that hard, because you just you just fight the the ones in the tower. 
The, you fight the ones in the tower and they can drop like up to 50 or something. And I don't think it would take that long. And you can just like time travel. But I also don't know. Like I've never done it so maybe it just seems easier than it is. Ooh, Bronzong. I'll take that. Caught him off guard. Uh, failed Shiny Clefairy in the past week. Uh, pla in Platinum. Ooh, Shiny Clefairy is fun. I kind of li like respect that only the ears change. I kind of like it. Time travel doesn't work for Gimme Ghoul. Oh, gotcha. Well then, we can just wait for him. Maybe I should, like, fight him now. How does time travel not work for Gimme Ghoul, though? I thought they, like, reset every day or something. Is there only, like, a fixed amount? I can trade it to you. No, I want to earn it myself. I could probably fix, like, uh, the cheats don't respawn. Or the chests don't respawn. Oh, so you have to, like, manually uh, pick them up. Gotcha. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's a bear. Hello, Psyduck. Ow, ow, ow. What is that? Oh, it's the dogs. Oh, mass outbreak of Klefki! Whoa! <laughs> Klefki going crazy. Someone just says it does. It just doesn't. Chests d definitely do respawn. <laughs> it's so hard to. It's so hard to hear chat. <laughs> to listen to chat. Chests do respawn, but they don't. Uh, but time skipping doesn't do it. Everyone is saying different things. I I believe it seems like the majority of people are saying that they don't respawn with time skipping, but they do respawn in general. So I'll I'll believe that. Oh, bear tick. Right in the back of the head. <laughs> Polygonal bear tick. If you ask nicely, they do. Oh no, they don't. <laughs> you are new here. <laughs> it was it was the worst during the Pokemon Sweet Nuzlocke. <laughs> I would say, chat. What is chi shiny sh Rosalia? Was my first one. Ooh, shiny Rosalia was the first shiny I ever caught. I saw shiny Puchiana as my first one, but Rosalia was the first shiny I caught. But <laughs> yeah, during during uh, the Sweet Tooth, uh, the Sweet Nuzlocke. I would go, chat, what is the level cap for this gym? And people would immediately say, 69! A hundred! One! <laughs> it's like, no! <laughs> oh, I have learned a lesson. <laughs> you, you missed a shiny Citadel? No. If you're talking about yesterday, a lot of people said it just looked like the shadows, and I would have to agree. It looks, yeah, like the shiny Citadel is gray, but it looked like it w still had like pink on it, and we were looking for orange. It's like gray and orange, but the the screenshot looked like sh uh, gray and pink. What? Oh, tiny bear. First shiny was Feebas? Holy shit. How? What generation was it? This is my spot. My spot. I'm tempted to go down and fight that. Um, is there any, like, big of the c big Citadel guys? I'm tempted to go down and. Right on, please. Just go. We're right on. This is so bad. Look at this. It's so laggy. 
Avalug, Snow Runt, Snow Ver, Zatotl. Oh no, do not want to fight you. Crabrawler. Um, okay. Not right. Uh, isn't there like Chansey and stuff over here? What? Oh, Flo Baby! I need you. Oh, and this is this is the evolved one, Floet. Yeah, there's Chansey in the background there. First shiny was Ralts. Ooh, that's a good one. You should do raids. I probably will later. I just want to uh, finish the Pokedex first. Uh, I'll probably grind raids after I get the shiny charm, just so I can get a bunch of Her Herba Mysticas. Because that's good for shiny hunting. Ooh! Sylveon! I'll take that. Chat plays DDR. Oh, that would be that would be something. Uh, have you seen Subjectively's Fake Mon region? Um, I maybe there's a couple sh uh, Fake Mon regions that I'm aware of, but I'm not sure which one it is. Um, what can we? <laughs> All my guys are tiny little babies. Oh, let's Thunder Wave it, and then just hit it with like a Psycho Cut or something. A fairy Terra Sil Sylveon. Awesome. Not bad. But after learning competitive, I realized that fire is better. Okay, we can do that one more time. Yeah, we gotta do that one more time. Alright. Uh, let's just Ultra Ball because it's not dark anymore. How many guys- how many of you guys think- Um, well, let's run a poll just for the fun of it. Um... Does chat beat Wallace tonight? Uh, and does, does TPP beat Wallace tonight? Yes. Like, how many of you guys think that you guys are going to be able to beat Wallace today? I'm going to say, here's a poll. I think there's a good chance. Uh, this is the best chance you guys will, will have for a while. I, I respect that you went and trained. I watched you go train in the, in the, in the, the tunnel. <laughs> You think no? Uh, it seems like if it's a 50-50. You do have a fully evolved, uh, I mean, fully healed uh, Abby. So I feel like if, it might be hard, but if you just manage to strength, I feel like you can uh, beat it. There's a good chance. Oh, thank you so much, Tombstone. Good to see you again. Um, did I catch the full baby? I think I did. Or the Floet? Yes, I did. <clears throat> There's a bunch of, like, Chansey over here, right? Maybe not. I thought I saw, like, people, like, EXP grinding over here. I could be wrong. Oh! Ice Q. Seems like... Okay, 60%, like, around 60% think you gar are gonna be Wallace tonight, and, uh, the, yeah, like, a small, it's, like, a, not the biggest, you know, split, but a lot of people do think you're, you're gonna beat it tonight. It's very interesting what, what it's gonna be like. Um, fall. I say if you guys get stuck on, like, surf or something, or, like, dive, there's not a good chance. But if you manage to start, like, spamming strength, then probably. Honestly, probably. I'm gonna end the poll, though. Ice Q. 
Ice Cube is four seven. Holy shit, he's big. <gasps> Shep it. Uh, our chances go way higher if we max revive Bagmut. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, I'm gonna try and uh, suggest to you guys before I go to bed to try and revive Bagmut, uh, because that. He probably can't do too much because he thunders the first Pokemon, then Whiskash comes out, and, and then you probably get uh, killed by it, unless he can switch out. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's a good chance that no matter what happens, you, you might be able to do it. I missed the chance. <gasps> Did any? Oh, there's Wugtrio. I gotta catch Wugtrio, too. I need to remember to wake up my, um, Iron Valiant. Put it on members only? No, I think... I think that's mean. You know, like, the members only was good for the ice puzzle, but, uh, like, cutting off the final battle to only members is so mean. Like, everyone has been, like, Everyone is- it's been a community thing, and I don't think it's fair to the the whole community to cut off, like, a good chunk of it just because they haven't paid for membership or been gifted membership and stuff, you know? I think it's just mean. Like, it's easy to be like, oh, it's it's so much easier with, with memberships on, but, you know... There's too many trolls. Well, I don't- I- I think you guys are focusing on the trolls too much. I feel like you're just not realizing that a lot of people are playing on mobile and they're a minute behind and they're just putting in random inputs by that- by the time that they think they're caught up. Uh, I need to add- uh, first of all, we're gonna- no. We're gonna- we're gonna heal you. We're gonna wake you up. And then we gotta put stomp on- on the grass thing. No, wait, no, no, no. No, no, no. Um, the moves. It's kind of. There we go. It was so much easier to do moves. Wait. Why can't I. Oh, change moves, yes. Yeah, stomp. Yeah, you can get rid of rapid spin, sure. <laughs> what about democratic mode? No, you, like, guys, okay. You're at the end of the game. Eventually, you just beat it. <laughs> you you just beat it eventually. You, you want to use a, you want to cop out for the last fight? That's so boring. You guys gotta earn it. Earn that last fight. I don't think you'd be happy with yourselves if you use, like, cheats and stuff to win the last fight. Think about the content. You gotta think about content creator brain. We're not trying to just beat it. We're trying to make a video here. Uh, let's see. Let's thunder wave it. Chansey is special defense, defense, right? I hit this thing with, like... I, I, I always forget which one Chansey is. Soft-boiled. Awesome. <laughs> we will throw for content. That is not necessary. The content is already there. <laughs> uh, Ultra Ball. You're still hunting uh, shiny Regirock? Damn. Why do you want shiny Regirock? From what I remember, it's only okay. <laughs> you saw the, the expressions of all the models? Yeah, you can stack all the model expressions to be really crazy. Uh, hello, NM. Mr. Street? <laughs> Don't know how to say your username. Aw, Chansey was, like, hugging his little egg. It's cute. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, 
Frost Moth is an okay shiny. I think it's nice. I don't think it's like it's not crazy or anything, but I like the I like the green. I like it a lot. But no, I don't care. I think you you would think a shiny is only okay until you shiny hunt it, and then you and then it goes crazy up on your on your. Um, wait, what? No, I don't want you. We can get the babies whenever. I want Fomantis. Or Lorantis. I want Lorantis. You. This is such a cool Pokemon. It, I wish it wasn't that... I just wish it wasn't bad, you know? It's so slow for no reason. I When I see this Pokemon, I do not think it should be slow. What if we don't finish the run before the subathon ends? Then I just put it on 24-7 until you beat it. Like, I can just keep the live stream going. Like, I won't be subathoning anymore, but we can just do uh, Twitch plays 24-7 until you do. I want to get you. I want to catch that Blissey in the background, too. Fomantis. I like Fomantis and Lorantis a lot. I just wish they were better. Sunflora! I see Sunflora over there. I want to go get the Blissey, though. I feel like it's harder to catch Blissey than it is to catch Lor uh, Sunflora. God, can the Pokemon throwing please? Can the Pokemon throwing please? Jesus Christ, I am a... I, oh my God, Blissey. I almost lost that because the Pokemon catching does not like hone in automatically. The range of the LZ button is so small as well. You don't have Sunflora? No, I didn't like, I know it's easy to catch, but I just, uh, have you ever played Ark Survival Evolved? I played it literally like two days ago. It's pretty fun. I need a zoom reel. Uh, did I get these? Did I catch this? Yeah, we did. Uh, let's get this on Flora then. Nice. We're catching so many Pokemon now that like crit captures are so common. That's so nice. I should go up and fight that gimme ghoul. I also need to replace the some Pokemon to make room for more evolutions. Alright. Um it's so nice that you can where how do you evolve Sandy Gast? How do you guess how do you get Sandy Gast? Is it a special evolution, guys? Um, uh, I feel like you can get a Haxorus around. Uh, Toxicroak, level 42. Okay, gotcha. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't doing it all for nothing. Uh, we can evolve this. We can just evolve this. Why not? And we can do this. We'll just go down the line. Yeah. Ampharos is a Thunderstone, right? Or is it level up? I, I never remember. Oh, I hear Tostada in the background. I might let her in. I might let her, let her in because she's she was being naughty by like knocking over all this stuff on my desk. Can I not climb that? But it's sad to hear her. She just she goes outside of the door and goes. <laughs> she makes the saddest little little cat noises. Wait, is there no gimmick up here? Oh. Whoops. Oh, this is a lighthouse. It's not the tower. Whoops. Uh-oh. I should... Uh, speaking of lag spike, I should save. <laughs> 
I think I turned autosave back on, but um, I'm gonna save just in case. I'm gonna get this data. Baby. <laughs> Aw. Ta poor Tostada. <laughs> she was she was downstairs and I called her and she goes you just hear her from the from the background like meow meow <laughs> Tostada is like so cute. <laughs> oh my god, these lag spikes. This area is like so bad for some reason. She Tostada comes when she's called just like a tiny little dog. <laughs> Which is not, like, normal for, for, for cats. <laughs> Tostada is in. Tostada is in. I let her in. <laughs> oh, look at all the Wattrel. Is that the, that guy? Alright. I'll have to look up the full decks of this Pokemon. Uh, this Pokemon game. Because, uh, there's probably been a lot that I haven't even seen. Like, I, I didn't even know I've, I've never- Oh! These guys are so small. I've never seen, uh, Metatite before. Oh, I should go to, uh, the, like, the Bamboo Forest. I haven't been there. That's like- Oh my god, bro, please! <laughs> They're too small. I, they're blending in. How many people just like accidentally stomp on Flabebe's? Is that one supposed to be orange? I know that they have different colors. No, it's like it's like a different color. Ah! Well, there's an orange one right there. I don't remember what shiny Flabebe, uh, Floet it looks like. Ah. No, it's like a white flower, right? It's a white flower. Yeah. Uh, what we can do... Um... Is... We can fly up to... Like, this area again? Where was it? It's like, over here somewhere. And like, catch a bunch of Glalie and stuff. I'll just, uh, go here. And then we can, uh, go down the mountain. Where's my destination? It's this way. Oh, hello, gimme cool. Speak of the devil. Alright, let's just jump. Woo! Bear tick. No runt. Oh, we need cryogonal. Yeah, there we go. Any shinies yet? No, we're not shiny. We're not shiny hunting. We're we're trying to fill out the decks so we can get the shiny charm. Boop ba doo. Yeah, because I I I didn't do it before because I wanted to have Scarlet be my main. Uh, save file, but then I decided that I wanted to. I'll just fill it out in Violet. Why not? Oh, I know you can find the wild Satil or Setatil. Same with Weavile. Where exactly was? Where exactly was the shiny hunting spot? Oh, Glaceon is around here. I know it's like over here. Glaceon and uh, Gardevoir are around here. I'll keep an eye out. Oh, it's like behind me. Like, no, it's like on me. Why are they not spawning? I want to see the Gardevoir. Come on, Moridon, please. 
Deli bird. Uh, we can get Gardevoir whenever. I know Glaceon also spawns over where we were shiny hunting Frostmoth as well, so it doesn't really matter. Bronzong. Good night, Derek. Oh, there it is. Damn, we just actually crashed into it. Uh, Gardevoir. Hello, Tostada. You coming on my desk to sit on my computer and knock over my camera? That's the Tostada routine. No, you're eating my leftovers. Tostada, you, please, if you're gonna be in here, just, you can't go on the desk. That's the rule. Thunderwave. <sighs> yep. Look at this. Iron Valiant is so, uh, vertical. The head is so vertical. Like, look at Gardevoir's head, and then Iron Valiant. It's so squished. <laughs> Such a squished head. Alright. We can full heal that away. Let the poor bean on the desk. She... Has she's been a little ruthless monster on the desk? Wait, how do you how do you get Gothitelle? It's like level forty one. When does it evolve? I guess Gen five Pokemon do take a while to evolve, like fully evolve. She goes onto the desk, knocks over my my camera, <laughs> clicks all my keyboard buttons. What's over here? Oh, we need Glalie. And then sits on my computer and covers all the vents, so my computer feels like it's about to explode. <laughs> oh, I should have healed Iron Valiant. Immediately forgot. Tostada? No. You're on the computer again. You're not allowed. Go sit on the couch. Sit on the couch. There we go. Um, okay. Wait, what's this? Is this, uh, uh, Glaceon? Oh, I knew it. Get it. Oh my god. You have to stand so close. Oh, give me ghoul. I forgot to heal the Pokemon again. What is this? Ice type. Exciting. <laughs> awesome. Do we almost have full Pokedex? I wouldn't say we're close. Um... But we're, we're making good progress. I'm gonna psycho cut it. But why are we so fast? Why are we faster than it still? Terra Ice is so rare. Is it? I don't... I think it's rare because it's bad. <laughs> Unless it's like programmed in the game to not be uh, rare. Or to be rare. I should Thunderbolt it. I mean Thunderwave. Oh. Who's- oh my gosh. Taylor. I let the cats in. I let the cats in to the- to the- the office after having the clo- the door closed. Please don't miss. Bro. It started to snow. I let the cats into the office after having the door closed the entire day because they've been so uh, sad at the door. I let them in. Tostada jumps on the desk, presses all the keys, tries to eat my food, sit, sits on the covers up all the vents on my computer. Taylor comes over and starts scratching under the couch. 
And they wonder why. They wonder why they lose their office privileges. <laughs> there we go. We got it, though. How are you in Alpha Rad's video? Because we're friends. How do you... <laughs> That's how collaborations work. That's kind of... You're... Are you... Taylor. Taylor. If you do it again, you're not allowed. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. I'll get that gimme goal. Don't run into the bronzong. Dino boy, you need to get you need to t get timed out. Please stop spamming the same question that I just answered. Okay. What a fam <laughs> What a familiar route this is. What an incredibly familiar route this is. There's Glaceon. We, we, let's heal the Pokemon, actually. Yeah, you're right. Heal. Why does it not use... Pokemon is always so close to doing something right, and then they still fuck it up. Like, auto-healing is so nice. Why doesn't, why doesn't it, like, revive Pokemon? Why doesn't it heal the status? We're gonna... We're gonna... Uh, I don't- I beg to differ! I beg to differ! Alright, let's- let's- let's do some rounds. Bear take, we already have you. Uh, I know that Frostlass spawns here, so we can do that. We can get a Frostlass here. I haven't seen any other Frostlasses. Glalie is there. Did she get the shiny yesterday? Yes, I did. Uh, if you would do one for each of these streams, no. No, I'm not making any any videos out of the subathon unless it's an interesting video. I'm gonna have like highlights and vods up on like second channels, but ooh, there it is. I wanted this too, but there's Taylor. Taylor is in such a scratchy mood. I think she's mad that she was kicked out, and now she's gonna get kicked out again. Let's, uh, quick ball. Alright. Do we catch it? Yes! I love when it just catches the, uh, the thing immediately. Yeah, the, the only main channel video we're doing out of the subathon is the the D and D, the Dungeons and Dragons run that we did with with Jacob, Ron, Boo, and, and Charlie, and also and also the uh, oh there it is, and also the Twitch plays Pokemon. Those will be probably the only main channel videos out of the out of the um, subathon. God, what a bad Pokemon design! They just tried to make Goth. A Gardevoir, and it fall it fell so flat. How do we get the little baby? Where's the baby? All the deer were like, "You took our father." <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. Have these. Have these. Um. Flaffy is. Ampharos is Thunderstone, right? How do you evolve Flaffy again? Is it like? What is it? Is it Thunderstone or is it level up? I don't remember. Level 30? Gotcha. So we can get that one really quick. Okay, let's find a Frost Lass over here. The tomb- the hound- tombstone dog? Houndstone? Fronzong? Oh, shit. <laughs> I already have you. Oh, look, there's the, the evolution of Sadaddle. That's perfect. Nice. We need this. We need this. It's a titan. 
What an ugly Pokemon. I was like, oh, Citadel, interesting. I wonder if it'll be like an ice whale and it's ugly. <laughs> they just like, it would be a fine Pokemon. It just did not need eyeliner. It didn't need eye, eye where'd it go? <laughs> Hello? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's gone. Don't paralyze, don't paralyze. All right. It keeps disappearing. <laughs> oh, this game. I love the eyeliner. <laughs> like, I get it. Like, oh, we should be careful. I guess it doesn't do too much damage. I just, I'm just not a fan of eyeliner on Pokemon. I think it's unnecessary. Like, I think it would have been cool if it was like a, a black ring around the eye or something like that. I just do not like this Pokemon. I'll catch it though. I like the music in this game. I like, uh, there's a lot of really good ba uh, bangers. A lot of the battle music is really, really nice. I'm not a big fan of a lot of the overworld music, but was that Citadel Grease? Grease? Um, but yeah. A lot of the battle- I, I don't like the overworld music for that much, but um, a lot of the battle themes are so good. Let's find this frost lass. Oh, so I need to heal my Pokemon. Ah, shit. No. Restore health. I gotta do it myself. Because it refuses to use a full restore. Halusha, I already have one. Does Frostlass only spawn like in the daytime or at night? Does anyone know? Does Frostlass only spawn during the the night? I I could I could have wait. Do I have the the fully evolved thing? I don't. No! Oh my god, these bastards! Look at him flying around. How do I get him now? Oh my god, bro, please come back. Stop! <laughs> I will kill each and every one of you. Leave me alone. <laughs> I just want this guy. Thank you, there we go. Finally. They're flinging around. They're still flying all around. It's like a giant sphiel? No. Satitan is not sphiel. The you can be the biggest Satitan fan in the world, but you cannot tell me that it's like sphiel. No. You've got to agree that Sphiel is- that is not Sphiel. So Titan and Sphiel are not the same thing. Like you- like- sh Like this isn't about me not liking the Titan. That is just not true. Yes, they're both around. But no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. All right, there we go. We'll do one more. Oh, jeez. Actually, I just throw a ball now. Nice. There we go. Veva room. Rev of room. Did they ever- is there like any lore details on, um, how Team Star got their- their <laughs> Rev of room to be so, like, modded out? I love this- the Team Star fights. I'm still so upset that, um... <gasps> Weavile! We need we Weavile. Nice. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> uh, can we ca catch it in a quick ball? Please? 
Oh, yeah, I forgot to pay attention. Does anyone know if... Whoa, the grass. Nice. If if uh, Frostlass is only at night. Does anyone know? I forgot to I forgot to, to look after you guys. After I asked you. There you go. Frost sauce spawns all days. Okay, gotcha. Because they they spawn around here, um, but I didn't know if it was a, a daytime thing. I should heal. No. <laughs> the pressing minus is such a hassle because you always hit the. I always, at least I always hit the the joystick when I'm trying to press mi press minus. Just in a not great spot. Well, even if it is or isn't a, a night spawn, uh, it's turning, it's like evening now. Uh, did you ever, oh, there it is. Uh, did you ever watch Teen Titans growing up? If, if not, what was your favorite show when you grew up as a kid? Um, I kind of watched it. I watched it if it was on and there was nothing else to watch as a kid. Um, but I... My favorite show was Spongebob. I, I was a Spongebob kid. And before that, it was Powerpuff Girls. Um, Thunderwave. Just kind of Shiny Buizel. What should I name it? Isn't it like... Isn't Shiny Buizel yellow? Wait, did I miss that? Um... Hopefully able to get a Mario Kart lobby with you again. Uh, yeah, we probably play it like tonight. It's always fun to end the day with with Mario Kart. Um, Shiny Floats is. I'm pretty sure it's yellow. You should name it Pikachu. Um, I don't know if Dusk Ball counts yet. It's only evening. Damn, Frost Sauce is gonna be a pain. It's gonna be a pain. Ah, I gotta I gotta weaken this thing. The snow stopped. Insane. Um I'll throw... I'm gonna throw a Dusk Ball. Surely it's dark out now. No! Damn it. Come on. Please, just get in the ball. Just get in the ball. Please, Frostlass. I don't want to hit you because I think you die. I think you die. There we go. Nice. Nice. Ooh. Look at that. It's getting filled out. I like the idea of... Oh! <laughs> I was like, wait, why is that round doom there? Uh, I like the idea of the Pokedex being like uh, an, an encyclopedia of, of books. I like it. Houndoom. 4-7 as well. Lots of Pokemon are 4-7. <laughs> oh, Flaffy too! How tall is Ampharos? Ugh. <sighs> Thunderpunch? Nah. 
Nice. Okay. Let's uh, replace them with some other Pokemon. The the Dex is coming out nicely. Oh, let's uh, do La Revesta. Let's do La Revesta. That's not a... You can level up... Uh, you can evolve La Revesta through level up, right? And also do a Sligu. Yeah. Okay, what else? What else? What other Pokemon should we go and catch? What else is out there? Oh yeah, I have to go to the, the bamboo forest area. I haven't been there. L59, that's fine. Um, ooh, I need Haunter. Uh, wait, do I have Haunter? No, I don't. Oh, went the wrong way. Nice, easy. Easy Haunter. The gas Pokemon. <laughs> um, since Larvesta takes so long, I might go. Let's see how many. What candies do we have? I'll just like pump this Larvesta full of candy. Uh, X XS candy or is like doesn't really do much. Not really worth it at that point. So we'll just have Larvesta in the party for a while. Um, okay, where should we? Where the the? Oh, we do need Noivern though. Let's do that. Let's go get a Noivern. Oh, I do remember sometimes they would spawn. In the Frost Moth area, which is where we're going back to. Frost Moth! Yeah, they're supposed to spawn here. But we'll just like run back and forth between this whole like route. Because they would use they would spawn like over here as well. Hello, Glaceon. Yeah. I guess we don't really... There's an Ampharos right there and I took the time to evolve it. <laughs> Damn. Hello? I just had deja vu. Um... I guess, like, aren't there, like, other Noivern you can catch, like, in caves and stuff? I might not worry about Noivern yet. I don't think it's worth trying to make it spawn and stuff. No, I'm probably just gonna go to the other place. Uh, where is it? It's like Tag Tree Thicket, yeah. That grasshopper is trying to fight. Holy crap, he's trying to fight. Did that hunter have a blue tongue or am I insane? No, we are not seeing- <laughs> we can't- the- the amount of shinies you guys think you guys see is insane. <laughs> it- it would be broken odds. <laughs> Absolutely broken odds. It's like we can only evolve in the rain. Ooh, got it. That's good to know. Well, what does it start evolving at? Because I don't think it'll be too hard to- wow, this is laggy. I don't think it'd be too hard to find- uh, rain in this area. This is so laggy. Look at this. Oh my god, this game. I want to like this game. And I do. But sometimes it's just... Eh. Go to Ponyard. This is one... This isn't the area that I was thinking of. What is that? Oh, a fungus. I'll, I'll take that. Lag tree thicket. Got him! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Area one is the worst. Yeah, that area is really bad too. I do need to go over there to get to get like a uh, dragapult and and uh, the Minecraft dungeons guy. What is this? Oh, Komala! Come on. I do need Komala. Oh! <laughs> Just like snap back. <laughs> Alright. Ah. More lol is cuter. I do like m more lol. I think it's cute. All right, let's 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 catch this now. How, someone says, "How do I get the registered thing on my driver's license?" Uh, I don't think <laughs> the Jaden Animation Subathon is the place to ask that question. I think you have to like look it up on the uh, online or like go to the DMV or something. <laughs> Are you talking about a driver's license? Otherwise, I don't know li what license you're talking about. Oh my god, the lag. I want to go to, like, the bamboo forest area. I don't remember what place it is. It was by, like, the, the wrestler girl. But, uh... I thought that was... I thought that was here. I guess I'm near the poison one. No idea. Where is it? Where's the bamboo for forest area, guys? Uh, it was over... It was over here. Like this area? Is it here? Fury Falls? Oh yeah, it's right here. near the fi fighting base. I know, that's what I said. I said, I know it's near the f the wrestler. I just don't know where that one is. Guys. Guys, sometimes you're killing me. Ooh, Fungus. There's, yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon here I need to catch. Uh, Quick Ball? Scyther walks funny. <laughs> Man, I really missed the alpha Pokemon in Arceus. It felt like there was danger afoot. I, I miss like the spooky music and you're like, Oh, where is it? Where is it? I gotta find it. I miss that a lot. No! Oh my god, I swear to... <laughs> No, don't run away. Please, 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 don't go. No, he better not fade into darkness. Come here. <laughs> These falls. Hmm. Quick ball. Okay, guys, new topic, new topic. Well, look at that Pokeball that's floating there. <laughs> New topic question. Uh, if you could redo a Pokemon's shiny, what would you want it to be? Like, what Pokemon and what colors? What Pokemon, what colors? Ugh. Someone just says Garchomp. Yes, but what colors? Magnezone to black? Ooh, that'd be cool. Black Trico. Okay, well, you can't just make them all black. I understand it's cool, but <laughs> I like the Trico shiny. I think the Trico shiny is like one of the best starter shinies. Red and black on Gar Garchomp. No more black. Okay, the next follow up uh, thing you can't make it black because black is too cool. 
It's too easy. Voltor, but just white. So it's just a white ball. I like the, Vol the Voltor shiny. Pink Garchomp. It would match the Mega. Gengar white. That matches the Mega too. It's a little unoriginal. <laughs> uh, inverted Cerulege. Ooh, and more. That would be cool. Yeah, I like the inverse Pokemon shinies. I really, I think that they should have made the Absol shiny uh, inverted black and white. I think that would have looked really, really cool. Gold, gold duck. Yeah, yeah, that's true. What is the shiny gold duck again? Because like, Psyduck shiny is blue, so if they made gold duck shiny, uh, gold, that would have been really fun. How healed are my guys? Oh. Gotta manually heal. Because it doesn't use full restores. Gold muck. Ooh. Like, just like a melted pile of gold. That'd be cool. Blue scissor. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. yeah, blue scissor would be awesome. Right now, it's like an ugly yellow green. I need to catch a Bisharp. Unbelievable. I need to catch a shiny B uh, or like a Bisharp. From what I remember, isn't the Bisharp shiny really cool? I can't remember what it is. It's e it's either really lame or ooh, Miss Magius. Please, let me catch you. No, I press I- I, I swear. I, I- I clicked left- right! Oh my god. Please don't go away. Please don't go away. Don't run away now, please! There we go. Uh, Gabite colored Garchomp. Isn't that just more blue? Like, they- they still- they stay pretty similar. What color would I change Garchomp to? I think um, having it be like either purple would be cool or red. I think red Garchomp would be nice. Or um, like like pink. Uh, not pink. No, I was thinking purple. Purple or, or ooh, be sharp. Um, or green. That's what I was thinking. Green. White Gar Garchomp, black accents. That'd be cool. There's not very many shinies that... God. There's not very many shinies that turn white. I think that'd be cool. I already have you. Green flame chandelier. Oh. There hasn't been any fire types that turn green. That would be interesting. But I also think it's worse. I feel like the shan the chandelure shiny is fine. I think it's really nice. Um. Okay. Let's thunder wave you. Shiny Arcanine is a bit green, right? No, it's yellow. White muck. No. You can you are not allowed to be to be in charge of Pokemon. Uh false swipe. This probably doesn't do much. I would change Reggie Rock to show up on my screen. I can't believe you're still shiny hunting it. Oh, well, now I can I now I can psycho cut you. No wait, no, I can't! I can't! Aww. Oh. Brown muck? Question mark. You're banned. <laughs> Not allowed. Um, we can moon blast. Might kill. Ah, damn. Well, we, there's a bunch of Bisharp we can catch. Like you. Oh, we can try. Try with the quick ball again. What's that uh, terrestrialized Pokemon over in the in the background there? Orange slash yellow Espeon. I like the Espeon shiny. 
I would like I'm surprised not more people are talking about like remaking shinies that are exactly the same as the other ones. Well, Thunder Wave. Silver Mammoth Swine. Ooh, that's a cool one. I like that. That's a good one. Pink Tail Primarina. Pink pre Prima uh, Primarina would be nice. But I don't think the Primarina shiny is that bad either. It's just like pretty pastel colors. Oh, thank you, Lance. I should just uh, use a Dusk Ball. Black Tyranitar. Blue Pikachu. Yeah, okay. Chad, what would you change the Pikachu cha a shiny to? What shiny color would Pikachu be uh, benefit from? Because right now it's just a little bit more orange and it's not good. Using a Dusk Ball. Red. White. I think a white. Uh, they already did that with Eevee though. Gray. What do I think? I think like... What could I see? I can see red. Why is this not catching? <laughs> uh, neon teal. The thing is like they don't- you don't want Pikachu to be too insane. I could see like pink and then like change the cheek color to like blue or something like a light pink um, Pikachu with like blue uh, cheeks. I think that could be cool. There's probably better combinations. Hair cross. We don't have hair cross. I want to see what that terrestrialized Pokemon is over there, though. Heracross! I love Heracross. You could put, pull up Clefairy and change the, the tips of the ears as well. Nice. Easy Heracross. Transparent rainbow ho-oh. Just like gay pride flag ho-oh. That would be so funny. 411 hair cross. What is this? Oh, slacking. Nice. I'll take that. All shinies should be gay. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be really funny. <coughs> Go slacking. Interesting. I will moonblast. This is annoying. Turquoise Lopany. I think the Lopany is fine. It's just like, I can't believe it's pink. <laughs> this is very unfortunate. Taurus was my second uh, ever shiny. Isn't the Taurus like barely different? What is this, the Taurus shiny? I can't think of it. Please name your Pokemon. Uh, I'm, I'm just catching them for the Pokedex. I don't want to think of like, <laughs> like 200 nicknames. It just slows it down. And I'm never using these Pokemon ever. I, I nicknamed all the ones that I used in the playthrough, but not, I'm not going to nickname all these random Pokemon that I don't really care about. Mac, please stop. I'm going to time you out and then do it any, any, anymore and you're, you're done. We got Claw... Cl Clauncher. We got Clauncher. I like Clauncher. I feel like... I feel like this is a really good line that people don't talk about. I like Clauncher and the Klotzer line. Clauncher and Klotzer. Nice. Favorite Paradox Pokemon? Uh, I really like the um, Slitherwing. 
the wait did i catch cricketune i thought it said in my decks that i did yeah i did wait 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 if that was a cricketot how do i cricketune no i didn't catch a cricketune uh, I really like the, the, yeah, the Slitherwing. The new Volcarona. I can't believe they gave Volcarona two Paradox forms, and both of them are good. I love Volcarona. It's such a cool Pokemon. I've never used it because it's so hard to use in, like, main game battles and stuff. But, man, is that a good Pokemon. The Cricket Pokemon. Shiny Magikarp is so cool. Yeah, that one's just really good. It fits so well. Ooh. I already, I already have you guys. I need the final evolution of these. These. Um, do you want Dracloak? I'm excited to get, like, the Scarlet version Pokemon on my end. Because I, I want to put a Slitherwing and a Roaring Moon on my team. I want them so bad. Aw. Those guys just all sleeping together. I don't have a Shinx. I hate how all the Violet Paradox Pokemon just look like robots. I, I like it, but, um, yeah, I can see how it's not for everyone. I wish they did the shinies better. I talked about it already, but I wish they made, like, the idea of a chrome shiny Pokemon is so cool. But the fact that they just did chrome for all the Paradox uh, Violet Pokemon is so lazy. It could have been so cool that you just saved to, like, Iron Valiant or something, and they just waste it. I need Luxio. Any Pokemon that I... Oh yeah, I can get rid of... Uh, yeah, we can replace Klotzer with a new Pokemon. What do... Um... We can evolve Snover. I know you can just find Obama Snow, but it'll be faster just to evolve Snover. Oh wait, let's also heal you. No. Restore health. I'll just full restore, why not? Scarlet has much better Paradox Pokemon. Yeah, I, I like the idea of the robot Pokemon, but I have more favorites in, in Scarlet. I will say, I think Scarlet did better with like making the paradox forms but i think the ending of the game works better in violet like how you play uh with all the ai stuff i think it fits much better oh i need both of these things uh you probably run away so i'll encounter you first um the ai thing works much better oh we gotta catch that thing before it flies away like yeah I think, yeah, you, you guys get it. I, I feel like the Scarlet ending in like doesn't work because of like they I doesn't don't they still call it AI and then like but you bring out caveman Pokemon? Like I don't get it. it the topic just fits more with Violet, but Scarlet has so much more cool guys. Please come down here. Oh shit, he came down here. And after I catch him, we're catching that shell gone. My burn. <gasps> I 
We got Sligo. Oh, it's raining! Oh, that's so good luck. Well, such good luck. Did Mac get banned? Yes. We got Gudra. Gudra is so small in this game. See, it's six, seven, and it looks tiny. All the Pokemon are way too small in this game, and it's probably because they <laughs> they have to like it can't han the game can't handle the the Pokemon being too big. Oh no 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 no! There we go. There we go. Uh, quick ball. Gudras with heart eyes? No, please stop. You can't say that. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Sandy guess. <laughs> Man, I love. Sh uh, do the paradox Pokemon? How do they? Uh, work in the Pokedex. I... Oh, Houndoom. Oh, I want this. I want this. Yes. Like, do they just make more room? Oh, there's a lot of uh, Noibat over here. Oh, I do need you, actually. Kaparaja. If I just run into the Pokemon, does it catch them off guard? No, it doesn't. Gotcha. It just has to, you have to throw the poke. Wait. Oh, we need Go-Goat too. How big is the the Pokédex in this game? Does anyone know? Four hundred. Damn. Damn. You know it's really weird. Uh, I haven't, like, fact-checked this, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, like, Pokemon is over a thousand now. Uh, Pokemon. <laughs> right in the butt. Um, is over a thousand. They had Maridon and Coridon as, uh, Pokemon 998 and 999. And a thousand is Tinkatink. <laughs> That's so stupid. Why would you put the legends in the middle of the Pokedex just to say they were 999? Whoa. And then uh, Pokemon 1000 is Tinkatink. Why would they do that? <laughs> it's so weird. 1000 is Goldango, is it? Oh, okay. Uh, someone just told me, someone IRL just told me that 1000 is Tinkatink. And I was... I was so upset. I need to look up the 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 um, order of the Pokedex. Oh, because it's so strange. Oh, Sunflora. I still need I need Sunkern. What's this Pokemon? Corviknight. Oh my God, you're mine. I'm gonna tell Tinkatink about the, all this hate. Bro, Tinkatink? I do not like Tinkatink. Holy shit, this Corviknight swings! Fighting Corviknight? <laughs> Damn. You can't even see him. Uh, too bad you get Moonblasted. To fuck. Yep. <laughs> Poor Corviknight. Why- I'm so sad that uh, Tinkatink fights Corviknights. <laughs> it's so mean. I love Corviknight. Uh, try it again. Someone says Tinkatink is ugly, but Tinkaton is amazing. Yeah, I- I agree. Like, Tinkaton isn't really, like... A Pokemon that I like, but I totally understand why people do like it. Oh, the lighting. Uh, 
Oh, weird. Uh, let's try it again. When will you play Mario Kart? Oh, true. It is getting a little late. Uh, we'll go for like 10 more minutes. We'll go to 8 p.m. at my time, which is 10 minutes. Um, and then we'll play, play Mario Kart for a bit. I'll probably uh, fill out the Pokedex on my own time just a little bit too. I should just fly to a random spot. Oh, Camerupt is here though? And Honchkrow? And Arcanine. Oh, well, let's try to find them. Wait, what's over here? What is this? Bisharp with <laughs> Grumpig. Oh, Honchkrow. Honchkrow. Let's just... There we go. <laughs> I do need Grumpig, though, as well. So let's hope uh, Grumpig doesn't r uh, run away. Oh, wait. Uh, Iron Valiant needs to heal. Imagine if Pokemon 1000 was a Pika clone. <laughs> I think that would make sense. I like, I would accept it. You know, it's like, oh, well, you know, I get it. I didn't like the Pikachu clone in this, this one. Like, Palmy, I had, I like Palmy a lot. It's super cute. I was just really let down by the evolutions. Oh, Sandy Gas. I would love to shiny hunt uh, Sandy Gas, actually. I love the, shan the Sandy Gas evolution. It's uh, black sand. And it'd be super easy to see as well. Like, I was I was terrified of missing the shiny uh, Frost Moth. But I feel like you see the shiny Sandy Gas. No, the Grumpig ran away. That's okay. No, wait, we already have Grumpig, don't we? I think we do. Either way, I want Camerupt. Oh, wait. Wait, do you? Yeah, we do have you. Uh, Camerupt and Arcanine spawn around here. Um, have you heard of the Seven Spielberg? The Steven Spielberg newest film, The Fableman? Uh, no. And also, we share a birthday. A similar birthday. But no, I'm not like a movie person. I don't really pay attention to movies and directors and stuff like that. Uh, I should heal Iron Valiant. Someone in chat goes, hey gays. <laughs> Alright chat. Who, who in chat is gay? Where are my gays at? I want to see y'all. Say hi. Loud and proud, please. Raise his hand. Whoa, they're all here! Look at them all! Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> Arcanine! The gays summoned Arcanine. <laughs> Yo, this Arcanine is for the gays! Catch him! Oh! <laughs> There's another one! There's two excited gay Arcanines. <laughs> Leer. <laughs> oh, look at them all. Look at all these guys. You summoned them. <laughs> I have been summoned, says Sarah. Gay Arcanine. Gay Arcanine. <laughs> um... Let's thunder wave it. Oopsie. Wrong ball. By count? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> we are gay baddies. <laughs> How you do, my fellow gays? Uh. Alright. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm absolutely naming this thing Gay Arcanine. This one, what what Pokeball does does uh, Gay Arcanine get?
All right, what what ball does it want? What what ball do you want? I don't have a love ball. We have the heal ball. You can nest ball, dive ball. No, I don't have the love ball, guys. I don't have the love ball. Luxury ball? I saw a bunch of luxury balls. I'll try luxury. <laughs> after after that, I'll try... Someone says, rainbow ball. I don't have the master ball either. I'll try luxury ball, and then I'll try heal ball. Okay, we're trying heal ball again. I'll, I'll go between heal ball and a luxury ball. I actually only have one. Ah, oh, that would have been good. That would have been good. RG9. <laughs> um Let's try luxury ball again. I like, like, I I know that our gay nine works, but I just like the idea of naming something gay Arcanine. <laughs> if it fits, I'll try. We got him. Love wins Arcanine. Oh wait, I, I I have to name it manually. I'll go I'll go do that. Oh shit! <laughs> just a little baby. They're all over the place. Look at them all. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the friends. Holy shit, they're running after me, though. Get me out of here. I need to name my Arcanine Gay Arcanine. Okay, well, they won't catch me here. Oh, I can't get into the menu. Okay. They're still after me. Where is he? He's down here. <laughs> uh, we gotta We gotta move him to over here. First of all, we can do this anyway. Um, and then we'll... Check summary. Change nickname. Am I not allowed to... Okay. <laughs> I have to do this all manually. It fits perfectly. Gay Arcanine. <laughs> oh, you can't see. You can't see. Let me move me. Let me move me. <laughs> gay Arcanine. The Arcanine for the gays. <laughs> we can help. We can have Gay Arcanine in the party for a little bit. <laughs> Oh. Another win for the gays. Not gay myself, but valid, but y'all valid as fuck. Thank you, Bernardo. Oh, can we climb this though? Can we please climb this? Uh, I don't need that. Whatever it is, I don't need it. I want to look at it. I need to see what it is. What is this? Ether. Did not need it. <laughs> Um, what else? What is around here? I should just... Let's, like, fly to a random spot. And then we can get more encounters there. Actually, I feel like ending on Gay Arcanine is a, a good place to call it. Because it's just about, uh, 8pm. We'll fly to, like, over here? No. I feel like we were already over there. We can fly to... Where's the place we haven't been? Um, we can fly to, like, over here. We haven't explored, like, the desert. The Asado Desert. So we'll fly heal here, heal up, and <laughs> gay is the best ending. <laughs> um, and then we'll play Mario Kart for a little bit, and then we can call it a day. What is planned for tomorrow? I need to- I am, like, not up to date on what, um... Ooh, tomorrow is Splatoon and possibly something else. Oh, Gimme Ghoul. We did a lot of work. We did- we got through a lot of the Pokedex, I think. I don't think we did too much. Uh, we're- I don't think we're like- I would- I wouldn't say we're close to finishing it, but we did- we made a lot of progress. I wanna- I'm gonna look at, um... 
I'm gonna look at what we, we got. Yeah, we gotta get the starters. Uh, gotta get Talonflame, Sunkern. A lot of these are pretty filled out. Empty there. Yeah, we're, we're making good progress. This is definitely the majority. The majority is filled out. A couple missing. Oh, near the end is kind of kind of weak. But all things considered, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good, I'd say. We're not almost done, but we're very close to getting to almost done. So we'll save that, and then we can play Mario Kart. <clears throat> Alright. We'll play Mario Kart. I'll change the stream title. Smile. Chill late night Mario Kart. Is the game still having a lot of lag or did they fix it? No, it still lags a lot. It still lags so much. Holy crap, it lags. We're doing 200 again. I've been... In I'm never ready for the Rosalina <laughs> start screen. Here we go! Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> The room code is right there to anyone who wants to join the tournament. Or get the chance to play in the same lobby. Nice. What should I eat for dinner? I haven't eaten since, um, like midday. So I should probably eat something. I'm not like super, super hungry, so I'll probably eat once I've, I've called it a day here. What are- someone just says BEANS! <laughs> All caps. No. Sushi, I had it the other day. I'm not always in the mood for sushi. Like, I, like, vegan sushi is one of those things that, uh, it's not the same, uh, when it's veganized. Like pizza. Chipotle? I already had Chipotle. Oatmeal? Eh. That's more of a, I like, I always crave it, uh, in the morning. Rainbow Road for the gays. Oh, I did pick Rainbow, Rainbow Road. Travis Scott burger. Wow, that's an old reference. Alfredo. Ooh, not bad. Noodles. Maybe I'll get some like ramen or something. Not sure what I want. Burger. Maybe I will get a burger. I haven't been in the mood for burger lately. Maxi! We got Spoon, we got Vincent, we got Maxi, we got a bunch of, of familiar faces. Um, maybe today's a burger day. It's just been always, like, um, too filling. Ramen is always good. Yeah. I want- I wish there was, like, better vegan ramen around me, though. There was, like, an old place near, uh, near my old house. There was a place that was really good. Oh, it was so good. It's probably, like, the best restaurant I've ever been to. I could go there, but it's, like, an hour away now. Oh. Oh. Ow! No! Ow! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how it happens all the time. Oopsie. Took that one bad. Something I want to do... Uh... Oh. I want to do is... Take a, a... Whoa! A cooking class. What happened? What happened? What I- can I not- what? What happened? I want to take a cooking class and like learn the basics Because I- I really don't know anything about cooking. I have to- Oh, please lightning Lightning, lightning, lightning Do it! Do it now! No! Yes! I'll take fifth you should eat the souls of the people you destroy. <laughs> I would starve. <laughs> uh, cooking stream? Nah, I don't think I really want to do a cooking stream. I don't see the appeal of cooking streams. Mm, Sherbet land. Oh, we've played with the, the person who looks like a strawberry before. 
Hello, nice. <laughs> Spinach tortellini. Ooh, tortellini sounds nice. It's just hard to find vegan versions of it. <laughs> I really wanna. I really wanna. Um buy those uh impossible dino nuggets again i popped them in the fr the air fryer with some like tater tots <laughs> which i know awesome dinner awesome adult dinner Jaden. but they're so good they're so good like if anyone is interested in trying out some like meat replacements and wants uh, dino nuggets highly recommend air frying some impossible dino nuggets is really good i might get like it sounds stupid, but I might make like a like I might order Taco Bell. I might order Taco Bell. They you can make it really vegan on, on the website on the DoorDash website. One of these days I should go like the top route, see what that's all like. Whoa, out of control. Oh, did not mean to trick that toy that time. I'm gonna throw this when you're over the thing. Ah. Ow. That's what I get. Okay, let's try this one. Let's go up here. See what happens. And I missed it. Uh oh. <laughs> I missed all three of the mushrooms. Ah, damn. That's what happens. I, w I went a place that I did not. Whoa that I did not know. Oh. I'd be upset if I was Oscar. Oh, I... Oh, sorry. Oh, this is not good, though. I want to get rid of this! Get the bullet! 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 bullet. Come on! 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 Oh, it took, like, the... The most... <laughs> Outside line ever. I'll take six though. That was a that was an all over the place race. <laughs> hmm. Are you vegan? Yeah. Um, I eat vegan, but I I don't really like talking about it because I know how it sounds. I think that the stigma is kind of going away, but it's still there for sure. I'm not like you know one of those like. 100% has like crazy talks bad about people who does it you know people can eat what they want but um yeah I try to eat as plant-based as I can lately I've been kind of like experimenting with uh eating including a little bit of dairy like not in food that I would cook but like if I'm out at a restaurant and the vegan options are really bad uh I'll like like, a lot of pizza places, or I mean, like, pasta places, have, like, only pasta with marinara sauce. And if I'm not in the mood for that, I just, I was like, maybe I'll get, like, some pesto or something. Like, I, 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 like, I know a lot of people who are, like, super extreme vegan would be like, oh my god, I can't believe you fucking did that, you, you monster. But I, I, I'm, I've always been the, the type of person to th be like, the, <laughs> The plant-based world, like, eating plant-based would have been so much more, like, accepted if vegans would have just chilled the fuck out. You know, like, not everyone can commit to having a fully vegan plant-based diet. And I think people should have respected that more, you know? Like, I understand, like, oh, he's the, you know, like, if you learn about all the am animal cruelty and stuff, holy shit, bad, 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 bad then, like, I get it's frustrating when people just don't care or something. But it's like, if people, like, there's been so many times where uh, I talk about, you know, eating vegan to people, and they, they respond with like, oh, I would totally, like, love to try being vegan, but, you know, I like, I like chicken too much. Or I like, I like uh, cheese too much. And then, like, so they, they give up on the idea entirely. It's like, if you don't, if you, 
there, pe because people would say like, oh, I, I could easily cut out red meat and, and do that, but you know, I, I can't, I can't get rid of, I can't rid, get rid of uh, cheese. And it's like, oh, you, you, I you, I feel like y you just do that. You can do that. You know, like people have made it, stop hitting me with the boomerang. People have made it way too, like all or nothing. And that's what really has um, ruined the community. Because, like, it'd be so much more accessible and, like, people just need to be more fucking friendly about it, you know? Like, you, if you feel like eating a plant-based meal, then go ahead. If you want to eat vegan once, one meal a, a week, then do it. You know, it's not the end of the world. But it's, it's like, people just think, like, oh, I, I can't eat it because I'm not vegan. What happened? You know? Someone, I just look up at chat and says, what about diet sodas? What do you mean? What do you mean, what about diet sodas? <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! Damn it. Yeah, judgy vegans are, like, super bad. It's like, bro. And they, people, the vegan community, friendly fires. They, like, go after other vegans who aren't doing it as perfect as other people. Oprah, Oprah Hubby, Hubby, when did you get in here? It's like, bro, you're on the same side. <laughs> you're on the same side. Don't go after the people who are trying their best. That's what makes you fall off from, from eating. Like, doing, like, eating less meat, I think everyone can agree, is better. <laughs> you know, you don't have to eat, cut it. You don't have to cut it. It's just better... A little bit better for your health and a little bit better for the environment. I think we can all agree agree on that. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to be a, you know, say anything crazy here. I think we all deep down, we know. <laughs> but, you know, if people would just be fucking nicer about it, we would have came so much farther as a, a society about, you know, other options. Yeah, people just need to eat vegetables just a little bit more. How can I join the Mario Kart race? The The room code is down here below chat. And if you join the tournament, there's a chance that you get mixed up in a lobby that I am playing with. But it's not 100% guaranteed because a lot of people are, people are in the lobby. Every fourth race, the, the lobby randomizes. So every fourth race, there's a chance that you, you can join. Anyway, let's not talk about veganism because I do not like that topic. I do not like that topic, especially on the internet. You guys have been nice, but I just avoid that topic like the plague. Because it's- Ah! Oh! Mean! Mario Kart. What's your guys' favorite Mario character? I like Mario. What's your favorite? Um... Mario Mushroom. I like the green one. Uh, red shell. Uh, blue shell, I mean. Holy shit, that thing's flying. What's your guys' favorite... Oh, I'm dropping this off the, the... Ha! I got him. I got someone. That was mean. Ah! Ah! What's your guys? I saw Luigi! All caps. Luigi! Ah! Shit. Damn, I should've got the double mushroom. People are passing me. People are gonna pass me. No? Nice! I'll take second. That was all over the place. Oi! Oh, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> the music was still playing? Is this a communication error? Why was the music playing for so long? <laughs> Why is the music, like, all weird? It's, like, desynced. Are you hearing that? Is the whole stream going up on the Jane Vods channel? Uh, well, yes and no. The whole subathon will be broken up into 12-hour videos. 12-hour VODs. We're not going to be uploading, like, a 
like a thousand hour video. <laughs> What's your guys's What's your guys's favorite way to eat potatoes? Mine is tater tots. Oh, tiny tiny little room. What's your guys's favorite seasoning? I like salt. <laughs> I like asking like the the like icebreaker questions. Every everyone, we're doing icebreakers right now. All right, uh, everyone in the class, everyone. This is the one that um, every. This is the one that haunted me in like seventh grade mad math class. We had to do one of those beginning of the year icebreaker questions, and it was. I still remember it. It was like say your name and something that you like that starts with the same letter of your name, and I was like. J, there's like no things that are that are, starts with J. I said like, I said Jello. <laughs> I said Jello. The only other thing I could think of was jewelry. Everyone, say your name and something that you like that starts with the same letter of your name. I'll I'll go first. Hi, my name's Jaden, and I like Jello. <laughs> 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 Someone says jeans. Someone says giraffe with J. You're not saying your names. <laughs> Someone says, my name's Jacob and I like Jamaica. <laughs> my name's Sapphire and I like sapphires. <laughs> you guys aren't saying your name. You're just saying the thing that things that you like. <laughs> Who said... My name is Aiden, and I like alligators. <laughs> My name is Jason, and I like Jason. My name is Mac, and I like mac and cheese. Like, it feels like I'm back in 7th grade. No matter what you say, it always sounds like you're, like, in 7th grade. <laughs> I'm- I'm Elijah, and I like electricity. <laughs> Like you have to, you have to do so many mental mind games to just think of something, to think of something that works. <laughs> Electricity is a good one. <laughs> That's one of those like, oh, it's deep if you think about it. <laughs> like, oh, the internet. I love the internet. <laughs> My name's Alejandro, and I like apples. <laughs> See? Ah! Holy shit! I didn't hit the car. I wanted to keep that. I want to read. Oh shit! My name's Axel, and I like Axolotl. I gotta go. Can I still hit the car if I'm booed? Kind of, but it's no coll it's collision, but no downside. Gotcha. My name's Jaden, and I like Jedi. <laughs> oh shit! I think I'm gonna do this now. Come on, lightning! I know it's coming. Oh, the blue shell is in my hands. This one's so hard on 200. It's just so t turny and there's so many cars. Ah, shit. I'm not doing good. I, my name is Oscar and I like oysters. <laughs> Ow! Oh my god, please. That poor shy guy in 11th. Unless I'm... Okay, I'm just going. My name is Toby, and I like toads. <laughs> like everyone. You, you see how, how everyone looks silly? Everyone looks like they're in elementary school. When, how come I, Oh my god, this is too fast. Too fast. Yeah, I'll take fifth. <laughs> my name is Preston, and I like potatoes. <laughs> Just makes me laugh. <laughs> My name's Ian, and I like iguanas. <laughs> um, what's what's other iceberg uh, icebreaker questions that uh, school has made you have to 
Oh, Rainbow Road or Animal Crossing? I like Rainbow Road on, on 200 more than Animal Crossing. What are some other uh, iceberg questions that you're forced to do in, in school or wherever else? Um, never have I ever? Okay, everyone say like one never have I ever. One thing that you've never done that, that you think is very pop. Uh, um comment the way you say it is so lifeless the way everyone says i talk does icebreakers are so lifeless no one likes icebreakers uh yeah just if we do what two truths for one lie it's too much uh words never have i ever enjoyed answering icebreakers well <laughs> that's a common one never have i ever ridden a bike never have i ever eaten a drug <laughs> Yeah, that, the, with the vocabulary, that I believe that. <laughs> I've never eaten a, a drug. <laughs> Ow! Well, I I swear to God, these lags. <laughs> broken every anything? You've never broken anything. Damn, that's a good one. Like like medically or just object wise? Whoa! I'm gonna take this shortcut. Never ever I ever skydived. That's a that's a good one. I think it's pretty common though. <laughs> Hi, my name is David, and I like dudes. <laughs> ah, I'm going crazy. <laughs> Never have I ever had a crush. Yo, yo, that one's based. That one's based. Whoa, Rosetti. Please don't, don't, don't leave me, Gold Mushroom. Don't leave me. Never have I ever spread misinformation. <laughs> that could be it. Whoa! <laughs> do, do you see that, that bullet just did a, like, a lap around the tree? <laughs> what happened? That was a weird one. <laughs> no! <laughs> I tried to outrun it. Never have I ever smashed the like button. Aw, that's a bummer. Whoa! No! I'll take this. Um, never have I ever needed a surgical stitch after an injury. Oh, that's a specific interesting one. Never have I ever touched a shark. Never have I ever had Fruit Loops? That's an interesting one. Are you in America? Or are you like uh, a different like country? Because if you're in America, that's more interesting. Never have I ever went to public school. Oh, Mr. Hoy to Hoy to Miss Miss they he or him or they toity toity. I get it. If I was a parent, I would uh, question putting my uh, kid in public school. <laughs> uh, never have I ever learned how to swim. I feel like that one's like a secret common one. Never have I ever had a sleepover. Hmm. Never have I ever eaten a burger. Never have I ever been a girl. <laughs> 50% of the people would have to drink to that one. <laughs> Never have I ever killed a man. Never have I ever played a Sonic game. Those back-to-back -back are good. <laughs> We're playing with Walter White again. Alright, what's, what's another good icebreaker? Um... I, I like the the personality ones. What's a good another good icebreaker, guys? <laughs> oh 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 oh! I love Mar. Please, yes. Three things about me. Uh, let's do one one fact about yourself that. One fact, like, one fact about yourselves that you guys think is really interesting. Like, oh, 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 no, outrun it, keep going, keep going, keep going, no! <laughs> ah. <laughs> I just, like, bopped that Goomba away. Oh, wait, no, I have a better one. So, like, we're gonna do the opposite of Never Have I Ever. Like, something that you have done that you don't think a lot of people have. Keep it PG! What, what's something that, like, an experience you guys have that you think is, like, 
Whoa! It's Jeff Beard. We played with him a, a couple times. Oh, that was a great one. That was great. That was great. That was great. No more blue shells, please. I'm excited to read this one. Ah! He's sniping! Yo, he's sniping! He cooked! He tried to cook! Ah! Yo, first! Ah! <laughs> uh, I've been cut by plastic. I think that one's very common. Um, I'm top thousand Mario Maker player. Oh, that's a good one. Um, been all the genders. Oh, that's a good one. I got shot. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Uh, I've been web developing. Oh, communication error. Let's go back into 200. I, I've i eaten ostrich? Oh, God. What is that? What is ostrich meat like? <laughs> what is ostrich meat like? <laughs> I hailed a shrimp. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> Someone said, oh, oh, I have one. One time I held a shrimp. <laughs> I ate frog legs. Ew. I've given birth. Oh, that's a good one. Went to school. <laughs> uh, flown a helicopter. Ooh, that's a cool one. That's a really good one. Uh, some familiar faces. Uh, let's do Hyrule Circuit. I met Lionel Messi. Oh, no way. At first I was like, Lionel, I, don't, I probably don't know this person. I know the name Messi. I have skateboarded. <laughs> <laughs> I've f flown a glider plane? Whoa. I fly hot air balloon. Anyone? I was hit by a car? Oh no, Achiro, I hope you're okay. Uh, I learned nothing at school. I have cat. <laughs> Played with gasoline and almost burned the house down? Oh god. Uh... Okay, I'm trying to read and also <laughs> and also play Mario Kart. I've been liking this uh, iceberg. Ah! No! No! Okay, now we're behind the pinball, and that so sucks. We're sucks, it sucks, it sucks, it sucks! Ah! I've held a crayfish. Whoa. Two people in here have held a, a crayfish. Oh my god, please! A shrimp and a crayfish. Damn, guys. Oh, that is such an early lightning. Holy shit. That is an early lightning. No. No! I'm coming for you, Coley. <laughs> Someone says I held a shark. I ate an alligator. Oh, alligator meat? Ooh, I heard it's like game. I heard it's like chewy. I'm like, the idea of like, you know, like I don't eat really meat anymore, but the idea of trying exotic meat absolutely scares me. Like I'd rather go back to eating like uh, typical American meats than try like ostrich meat or no, or, or alligator meat. Okay guys, what is the, what is the, the weirdest thing that you've ever eaten? Ow! Oh my God, I should have. I thought I should have starred. What is the- I've had six teeth removed? Ooh. Did you get them back? I won 5,000 off a scratch card? Oh, that's insane. That's a good one. What's the weirdest thing you guys have eaten? No. No, get me away from- Ah! I should have got rid of- Ooh. My god, you, you, I want to get you. Mario 1080p, oh my god, it's them. We got to get away from these balls. Get away from them. Damn. A piece of gum? A, a cricket muffin? So I look up for the first time in chat to see what you guys are all doing your little icebreakers on. 
the someone answered that the weirdest thing they ever ate was a cricket muffin. <sighs> Dog tooth by accident? Oh god. Cow tongue tacos? Mealworm? You guys are what is going on? <laughs> hey, uh, Oprah hubby. Not a furry. Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Sand, I was six. That, I feel like everyone's eating sand. Snails, kangaroo, pickled cactus. I feel like that one's a, that one's like a, uh, probably a lot, of, like, not common, not common for sure. Quail. I'm not proud of this, but I've accidentally set my lucky charms on fire when making cereal. Oh dear. Gears, I hope you're all right. Play-Doh. Dirt, and I liked it. All right. A sticky note. There used to be this girl, I remember, I don't know why I remember this, but, um, there was this girl in, in first grade, her name was Ashley, and she was, you know how, like, some little kids in school are more, like, attention-seeking than others? She was a pretty attention-seeking little girl, and she sat next to me, and we were playing, we were doing, like, arts and crafts paper and stuff, and she, she would be like, Jaden, did you know that paper has flavor? And I go, What? And she goes, yeah, look, she like rips off a chunk of like the green paper and she goes, mm, tastes like mint. And I go, what? <laughs> like, no, why would you even, what? How come I always get like the lag hit at the beginning of the race? Hello, not a furry. Catch us green. Um. I'm sure, like, eating paper was a thing a lot of kids, like... I look up someone says horse hamburger! Oh my god! Ow. Swallowed a meatball whole? That sounds so dangerous. I had a friend who accidentally swallowed a penny. <laughs> she was like, she had like a cup full of pennies. <laughs> And she was like, wouldn't it be silly if I pretended to, like, to drink it? Oh, hoo -hoo, silly. And then she accidentally uh, swallowed one. <laughs> so it's like, ah, damn. It's like, whoops. Fiction becomes reality. Ow. Oh, ghost. A ghosty goo. Oh. Who took that red shell? I should have just held on to that. I just wanted to hit it with the sound him with the sound horn so bad. No blue shell. Oh, I'm paying for it. I'm paying for it. I'm paying for it. I'm paying for it. Can we finish the race before before the blue shell gets here? No! Oh no, this is bad. This is so bad. I missed the the trick. Oh no. No! They were going for me. They wanted to they wanted to hit me so bad. They wanted to invincibility star me so bad. <laughs> Are we eating swordfish? Koala is pretty tasty. Never eat raw sage? Oh god. Beaver brain! Oh my goodness! Uh, the thing is, like, I believe a lot of these because they're so... I couldn't even, like, make them up. I eat an ant once. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Um, let's do... let's do cheap cheap beach. Squirrel? Chicken heart? Oh my good, go good lord. Canadian food. <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay, what's another good one? What's another good one? What's another good icebreaker topic, guys? This has been fun. Ugh. Um... Uh, where I came from, eating crickets and cow tongue is normal, and snake it tasted like in snake it tasted weird. Yeah, there's like different cultures that all have like different meats and stuff that they they normally eat, but 
Um... Okay, what's like a... Okay, we can do party trick. What's like something that you guys do to like... What What's something you do at parties to like impress a room? I don't even know what my own party trick is. Actually, okay, my wrists are really bendy. So like if I... I have like two double jointed wrists. And if I bend it down, I can touch like the inside of my arm. It's like a little stump. <laughs> So I've got like really bendy wrists. That's my party trick. One day I'll show you guys. Make stupid puns. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, I was gonna use that. Whatever. Breathe fire? Holy shit. Are you a fire breather? I don't know how people like train for the hobby of sword swallowing. Sword swallowing. It sounds so scary. No! I'm like, how come the boos only target me? Play piano? Well, I don't think that's a party trick. I feel like that's just a hobby. But, I mean, that is the definition of, like, something... Oh, blue shell. Make room. Respect it. I can lick my elbow. Oh, nice. I'm gonna send this... <gasps> Holy shit. Okay. Send it. Send another. One more. I'll take that. It's secure a second. Nice. We beat Mario 1080p. I can crack my wrists and knuckles like pop rocks. <laughs> oh, I like uh, popping my knuckles a lot. Uh, I can twist my thumbs 180 degrees. Oh, God. Pop my shoulders. Eat all the food, devil emoji. <laughs> I do my little dance. <laughs> I speak Chinese. Oh, that's cool. Remove my thumb. What does that mean? Do you have, like, a, a prosthetic thumb? Yeah, removing, like, one of your limbs is a, is a really good party trick. Un uh, unrelated, but oh my gosh, lemurs! Thank you so much. Did you end up getting the frost moth yesterday? Uh, you'll the best. You uh, thank you, thank you, lemur. We did. We we caught it after like five hours. It was resting peacefully under a tree. I like this this me. Where is it? Right here. It's <laughs> a cute one. Uh -huh. I can move my ears. Oh, that's a fun one. I don't have that. I removed my tooth. I, I can sing Drake songs, someone says. <laughs> Do a Yoda voice. I know a lot of lighter tricks. Ooh, what's a lighter trick? That's cool. Uh, Peter's here. Put my leg behind my neck? Holy crap. I show my bald spot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gotta love the confidence. God damn it, Shroom Ridge. Ow. All right, make it. No, I thought I made it. I'm so bad at that. Six to one, one red shell. Okay, note to self: don't send the the red shell when Goombas are around. Okay, we're getting out of here. Oprah hubby. No! That boo. <laughs> Damn it. <gasps> Huge! We just dodged lightning. No! Oh my god, how do I do it? 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 How do you get rid of the. How do you do the shroom jump? How? Oh, I didn't even know there was a cut there. Oh god, I'm in the. Yep. Yeah, couldn't get out of. Couldn't get out of the way. I'm really good at hitting my own green shells against each other. Come on. <gasps> we dodged lightning? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Whoa! 
We got first because of a bullet! A bullet lightning dodge. Holy crap. <laughs> that was the luckiest thing that's ever happened to me. Here's, a, here's an icebreaker. What's something popular people love that you don't? Okay, that's a good one. What's something that a lot of people like, but you guys do not like? Oh, that's, a, that's a really good one. Someone says their party trick is doing a toad voice. <laughs> Football, cheese, fish, America. That one's going down on the list, yeah. Uh, Air Jordans, donuts, Animal Crossing. I, I see it, I see it. Someone says, all caps, I hate K-pop. Uh, Kanye. I feel like Kanye is, yeah, he's a hit or miss. He's a strange person. That has been a little bit going a little crazy lately. Genshin Impact, ketchup. Oh, that's a that's a good one. I'm not a big fan of ketchup either. As a kid, I liked it, but now it feels like way too uh, sugary. I'm more of a mustard person. Chocolate. That one's also good. Capitalism. <laughs> uh, Drake and I live in I live in Toronto. Mm, spaghetti. Ooh, Elden Ring. Weedabix. That's not like that's a that's a British thing. I've never had that. Any type of sauce ever? Ooh, that's a good one. People probably ask ask a lot of questions about that one. Like, what? what you don't like ketchup? You you, you don't like barbecue sauce? <laughs> God damn it! I hate Ninja Hideaway. Um, fruity candy. Ooh, do you like what kind of other candy do you like? Uh, Zelda. McDonald's? I feel like that one's pretty common. No, I guess it's more like people don't like McDonald's, but they eat it anyway. Weird, weird physics there. Alright. Flower perfume? Specific. Ah! Oh wait, you're first? Oh, I thought we were doing so much worse. No, I don't want to go up there. <laughs> I don't know what it's like up there. Uh, I'd like someone to pass me. I do not want to catch this incoming blue shell, wherever it is. There they are. All right. Oh, do not want that. This turret is so hard. Where's the blue shell? I, I don't want this. We're doing really well. Like, there's a really... Okay, okay, okay. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Jane. Okay, you can have the boomerang. Oh, dear. Where's the blue shell? No! There's still, there's still so much of a, a gap between. Oh. No one's doing well this race. Where's the blue shell? No, I don't want to hit that. No! Oh my god, I hate it. This track sucks. There's no blue shell. I threw for nothing. What are you doing? I don't know. I was all over the place. I hate social anxiety. I don't think that's a that that's pretty common. <laughs> um I hate anime and stranger things. That's pretty that's a pretty good one. I've never seen strange stranger things. Okay, here's a good one. What is like a popular piece of culture or media that you have never seen? Like uh, for the longest time, I've never seen any- I've never consumed anything Harry Potter. Um, I watched the movies, like, a couple years ago. But I- I- I don't- I don't get to- Someone said Legally Blonde. I've never seen that. Encanto, One Piece, Breaking Bad. Ooh, there's so many good ones. Game of Thrones, yeah, I've never seen Game of Thrones either. Someone says Watermelons. <laughs> Um, Grey's Anatomy, Gilmore Girls. I haven't seen a lot of media either. Never seen The Godfather. Me neither. Everyone talks about that one, but I don't know it. 
Um, Star Wars, same. I, I've saw, I, I might have seen Star Wars sometime when I was a little kid, but I don't count it. I've never seen Star Wars. The Office, oh, that's a good one. Cheese. <laughs> Uh, some of these I do not even know. Happy feet? <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Happy feet. Anything DC? Wednesday? Well, that's a new one. Like, that one's, that one's like, a lot of people haven't seen it because it's, like, new. I've never seen Wednesday. Friends? Never seen- I've never seen Friends either. Um, one piece of media that I'm finally, like, watching is I'm, I'm watching How I Met Your Mother. Whoopsie. And I, I'm liking it a lot so far. For some reason, like, me, like people talking about shows makes me just feel like, no, like no, it feels like no shows are ever for me. Like, people pitch it, and I'm like, nah, it doesn't sound that good. Oh, God. Oh, that was a crazy turn. Oh, I, I pulled out that green at the last second. Death Note? Ooh. Good one. Like, anyone- a lot, a lot of, like, popular animes are good. Whew! Damn it! Never seen Breaking Bad. The people who said they've never seen Breaking Bad, that is the one that I would recommend. Like, it's very good. What? I've never been down here before! What is going on?! How did I not fall down?! How am I still not falling down?! Holy crap! That was- <laughs> That was very forgiving. I, I also didn't know that uh, you could dodge lightning by having um, a ghost out. No! No! I feel like I've been targeted for so many red shells lately. Whoa! Yeah, okay. That's fair. Well, that was a bad race. That was just bad. Chainsaw Man, question mark? I feel like that one's also relatively new. Eighth. Damn. I've never read the Bible. <laughs> That's a good... Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, me too until, like, recently. Don't hug me, I'm scared. Ooh. Kirby. Simpsons. Yeah, I've, I've never seen an episode of The Simpsons. As, like, um, as a little kid, my mom was like, oh, you're not allowed to watch, you know, adult cartoons because it's, it's, you're too young. You're, you're not ready for it. You're, you're not old enough for it yet. And then, um, wow, this is a, an excite bike game. <laughs> and then, um, I just was like, okay, that's fine. Like, I, I didn't question it as a kid. I was really good at, like, following rules on what I shouldn't and shouldn't consume as a kid. So, and then I realized, like, I just have kept that mindset all throughout my life. I was like, I, I would be like 20 and be like, no, I can't watch Simpsons. It's too adult. <laughs> it's like, what? I very much can handle the Simpsons now. All right, what's a, another good, what's another good um, icebreaker? Yeah, I also haven't seen Family Guy because of the same reason. And it also worked with Mountain Dew. My mom was like, oh, you're a kid, you, you can't, it's, it's too much caffeine. You can have like, bro, stop pushing me. Be, my mom would be like, oh, you can have like caffeine every once in a while, but like Mountain Dew is too much caffeine. It's not good for you. And I was like, okay. So I've never tasted Mountain Dew. I don't, I do not know what the taste of Mountain Dew is like. And it's, I'm still scared of Mountain Dew. Whoa, 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 bruh! I'm so sick of using a mushroom and then p getting punished immediately. Like, I, I mushroom and then suddenly I get green shelled. Or like, I, I mushroomed and then suddenly a red shell is against me. King of the Hill? Never seen King of the Hill either. <coughs> oh, you miss like so many... Uh, Bra! No! Stop it! I was already go I was already paused. Why would you throw a green shell at someone who's not moving? Lightning. 
No! Oh my god. I'm... I'm getting a... I'm getting this... this... this box. I'm getting this box. No! I meant to... Yeah. Seventh. <laughs> Damn. Ugh. Full Metal Alchemist. I haven't seen Full Metal Alchemist. I've watched a couple of episodes of Brotherhood, but I've ne never finished it. One day I will. I've never had alcohol and I'm in my late 20s. That sounds, that sounds healthy. That sounds healthy. I don't really drink much. I drink socially, like on rare occasions. On the, on the little medical thing, when it, whenever you're at the doctor, they say like, um, they say like, do you drink alcohol? My, my answer is rarely. That's my answer. It doesn't taste good. I never drink ever. <laughs> Alcohol mid, so true. So true. All right, what's another good icebreaker? I should like look it up on my phone. <laughs> because like Google always has the best cringy uh, icebreakers. Icebreaker questions oh I was trying to look Google actually had they were so bad they were actually bad <laughs> Google is oh my god whenever like there's been times where I'm like I'm trying to look up fun stuff to do bro you stole it was that spoon that wasn't spoon there's been times where I'm like, oh, I'm in this, like, new city. Uh, what are fun things to do in this city that I've never been in? And all of the answers are f fucking, like, go to the museum. Go to a farmer's market. It's like, bro, that's not what I wanted. I want to get rid of the banana in my food. getting coin now. Like, I want to do some fun, cool stuff that's, like, creative and... Aw, oh, damn it. It's like, it's not... Museums aren't for everyone. Why does everyone have to write in their fucking Google ac uh, article that you should go to a museum? I don't want that answer. I want to find cool, like, nerdy shit to do, like ar arcade bars. Fun, cool, like, indoor skydiving. It's always the same thing. It's museums and farmer's markets. Did I see a blue shell? No, I didn't. Ah! What happened? What happened to the red shell? Someone says, I hate museums. Damn it. No, no! I'll go for a second. I'll go second. I'll take second. <laughs> do, 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 do. Arcades are kind of rare in America, unfortunately. Not really. You just have to go to, like, the big, uh chain arcades like Dave and Busters or like round one or something. Max says, why was I banned? Because I told you to stop spamming caps and then you spammed caps again. <laughs> Some people. Some people don't get it. Anyway, let's let's look at more icebreakers. Icebreaker questions. What? Web server is returning an error. Is this website broken? Oh, this one. The only list of icebreaker questions you'll ever need. Wait, what? Virtual icebreaker questions? What does this mean? What the? What? What is? What is? Oh, this one says great icebreaker questions. What's your favorite item you've bought this year? 
What would be the most surprising scientific discovery imaginable? What's your absolute dream job? What would be your talent if you were Miss or Mr. World? What would the title of your autobiography be? Say you're independently wealthy and don't have to work. What would you do with your free time? God, I hate this. I remember why I hate iceberg questions now. Oh my god, these make my skin crawl. If you were if you had to delete all but 3 apps from your smartphone, which ones would you keep? <laughs> What's your favorite magical or mytho mythological animal? What's your favorite shirt look like? Wait, what's your favorite shirt look like? <laughs> if you could add anyone to Mount Rushmore, who would it be and why? <laughs> oh my god, I hate these. I hate these. Holy shit, I need to play Mario Kart and not think. I need to not think. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I... Sometimes I forget that I am chronically online because stuff like people do that on people use those in an actual office setting and oh people use those well there it is <laughs> in an office setting unironically oh my god please I am so glad that I am chronically online so I do not have to experience those those, those actual real icebreakers that Google is proud of. That article, the person who wrote that article is proud of those icebreaker questions. I hope I never meet th that person in my entire life. I hope I die before I meet that person. No! Oprah Hobby, you got rid of three red gels. God, I hate Google articles. Oh no. This race is going bad. I liked my icebreaker questions better. Damn it. <laughs> A bomb took out like all of my my crazy eight items. That's payback. I'll hold on to this. We're gonna cut this. We're gonna- we're, No! That one banana! No! Damn, that one banana. Alright. Alright, chat. Let's find- let's- let's do more- uh, let's do better iceberg questions. Let's do better ones. Rainbow Road! Happy 58th birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Myers Brig. I don't think the Myers Brig is as accurate as you think. Like, I've taken the, the Myers Brig like four different times and they've all been different. <clears throat> What's something stupid that you guys are scared of? <laughs> What's something stupid? Like, something that you know you shouldn't be scared of, but you still are just like, oh my god, I can't. Um. <coughs> I don't know what mine is. The 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 normie answer is the dentist, but I feel like there's a better one. Glitter? Glit someone says glitter and feet. <laughs> chickens touching dirty dishes. I like the chickens one. Bugs, the dark. Well, guys, these are all these are all very normal ones. Think of something, something like crazy, like sense of women, clowns, like what's something like, these are common fears. What's something stupid that, that you, someone says flowers, flowers is a good one because you're like, come on, <laughs> what, what, what's so scary about flowers? But that person has their story. Slugs, good one. Paper, interesting. Veins, I can see that one. Uh oh. We gotta, we gotta, oh. 
germs or gems. Did someone say gems or germs? Ah, shit. Did not mean to do that. Oh, I want a box. I wanted a box. Big dogs. That makes sense. I feel like there's a lot of, like, uh, some people are just, like, genuinely scared of dogs. And it's normally because there's like a bad experience with one, which is unfortunate. Okay, I'm happy with, with my position. I don't really feel like, well, I was gonna say, I don't really feel like ha I want t two mushrooms, but I guess that exp that's take care of that, takes care of that. Someone says parasites, that's fair. Oh, no! No, I can't get out! Oh, that was mean. That was so mean. Corin. I'm sending this. I'm sending this your way. This is what you get! The no! How'd they get- How'd they still go so fast? The letter Q? <laughs> Someone says coconuts. Elevators, that makes sense. Loud toilets, I understand that. Um, I don't like- someone says all caps. I don't like stickers! <laughs> oh, these are good. See, like, when you go into, like, the- the not common ones, the funny ones come out. <laughs> Two cans. Oh, someone says seafood. <laughs> Someone, someone says, all caps, I love stickers! Someone just says, I dislike ice. Well, now we're getting into... Someone's scared of dental floss? <laughs> Wild birds, worms, goats, washing machines. <laughs> Spam, like the meat. <laughs> uh. <gasps> Oprah's here! Oprah's here and Oprah Hubby is here! Someone says, cotton balls. <laughs> okay, uh, what- okay, let's- this is a good one. Uh, th that was a good one. I liked the- the- the weird fears. I'm afraid of accidentally committing tax fraud. That's a good one. <laughs> Chick-fil-A kids night? What is that? Pen ink? <laughs> um. Alright, let's- let's think of a new one. Let's think of- let's think of a new one. <laughs> Start pitching your- your good ice- uh, icebreaker questions. Tostada! She's making sounds over in the corner. No, I always- I keep picking the wrong- Okay, we'll get into this. Do, 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 do. I'll read the- 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 the, the pitches in a, a little bit, guys. I- I'm- I'm driving here. Oh, we got it. We got the double. Mushroom? Huge! Oh, we took the- the- the long way. Oh my god. It's the lag that always hits. The lag to hit. Oh my god, uh oh. Someone's getting, getting that. Oh, I wanted the double. Okay, lightning. Lightning. They stole one banana. See, I'm pissed. I don't want one banana. I want good stuff. God, I just got rid of my my thing for that. That's okay. No! Why would a bullet hit that way? Oh, great! Please! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is awful! This is awful! Where's the thing? Oh Jesus! Okay, we're getting as close as far as we can, and then we're we're bulleting. Okay, there we go. 
I don't think we're we're gonna catch anyone. We'll 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 bullet to fifth. <laughs> All right. Ah. Uh. Doop 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 do doop doop do doop doop doop. All right. Uh, dumbest reason you got in trouble. Oh, that's a good one. What's like the dumbest reason you were ever grounded or like put in detention? Something like that. That's a great one. That's a great one. Mine, I, I told it in a, in a really old video. Oh, Sonic's here. That's all the, that's all the people. Um, mine was uh, my parents grounded me for going outside at night uh, in my pajamas. <laughs> It was a one day ground. It was the one time I've ever been grounded. I don't know that why they were so uptight about me <laughs> wearing pajamas at, at at night outside. I just wanted to swing on our playset in my pajamas. And it just happened to be late, so stop. You can't sit. No, you can't sit on the computer, baby. Uh, bad handwriting? Oh dear. Oh dear. That one's a sad. <laughs> that one's just sad. Um, climbed a something. Uh, staying out late with my dad. Oh, that's a bummer. Laughing at someone who said... <laughs> what was that? Laughing at someone who said... I missed it. There, it's gone. Yeah, laughing at someone who said D's nuts. <laughs> uh... Breathing the wrong way. <laughs> um, being annoying in class. <laughs> uh, asking to borrow a piece of paper. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes teachers just are having bad days, and it's unfortunate when they ah. Oh my god, I'm so tired of hitting that pinball. It's always in the the worst time. It's the worst time. No, I was gonna pass it. I was gonna pass it. No, I want a different box. Let me go. Ah, oh, I had pink turbo. All right. I feel like we're safe back here, like in the sides. Let's get out of here. The chillest Mario Kart. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> I am freaking out. This is what happens. Oh, red shell backwards. Mean. Red shell backwards in, in fifth. Oh, that's mean. Oh god. Oh no, I did not. This turn is the worst part. It's there's not even anything to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Now I'm ready to dodge some 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 good old uh, lightning. Let's dodge some lightning. Tostada, why are you Scratching my couch. She goes right up to the the computer again. She needs a kid cat. You gotta learn tostada cat. Okay. Whoa. No, oh, damn it. I don't want this. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. It did not protect me. We're getting fourth now. Oprah! No! The dumb ass plant. Damn. Tostada, you cannot sit on the computer, baby. You cannot sit on the computer. And you know this. Tostada. No. Ugh. All right. Wait, uh, sitting. Cr I was. You were in trouble because you were sitting cross-legged in class. Damn. Uh, not grounded, but my mom forced me to uninstall Toontown because the cog's names were corporate slangs, and she sound. She found that insulting. That one's so real. Holy shit, that one's real. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> Jaden, did you seriously just talk during independent reading time? Oh my gosh, I remember that. Holy shit, I remember independent reading time. That was a that was a lost memory. I got caught stealing a donut at the grocery store. <laughs> that was just funny. <laughs> I I imagine I can picture it. It's like the the donuts that are in the like the glass cabinets. <laughs> just like taking one and getting in trouble. <laughs> my parents got mad at me when I lied about eating cereal. <laughs> It's always the weird stories, like, like, you always think that adults are, like, are always level-headed and stuff, but sometimes you just realize people are having off days, and you just gotta take it out on a child. <laughs> you just gotta take it out on a child. <laughs> I, I'm shocked that teachers don't blow up more, you know? <laughs> <coughs> I got in trouble for cheating in bingo. Well, you gotta respect bingo, man. I feel like they're in the right. You gotta respect bingo. <laughs> what the fuck did I just walk in on? We're, we're talking about the... We're doing icebreaker questions. We're doing icebreaker questions. Where, um... This one right now, we're talking about the weirdest ways we got in trouble. I got in trouble for humming myself and... Humming to myself in class. Yeah, that's... that's I can see how that's uh, annoying to a teacher, but it is a little uh, extreme to punish someone for it. <laughs> I wanted to wear jeans while on a walk and my dad said no. <laughs> I stayed in the library one minute after the bell rang. Yeah, teachers get, get fussy about like being on time. Someone said I dabbed. <laughs> There are times you can and cannot dab, and you must learn them. I've- oh, that's another one that I've never done. I've never dabbed before. I've never dabbed- Tostada! Oh my god. She- she's- she's- Why? I was in the grass. I was vulnerable. She is picking the- the perfect times to go- Bro! I want a box! <laughs> I haven't had a box yet. Please! Come on. Come on. No, not me. Oh, I got one. I got one. Fire. Please. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Holy shit. Oh, I don't- I did not need that! I did not- uh. No! Don't hit me! No! I'm going all over the place trying to get the double box! Ah, oh, triple mushrooms. Damn. Oh, Tosada, please! can't. Alright. I got fourth. Congrats, Ariel. Ah. Uh, Chaco Mountain! Chaco Mountain. <laughs> I got in trouble for not hear a scary story because I was scared. I don't know that. that you need to uh, word that one a little bit better, but I think I understand. <laughs> Uh, I'm not allowed to have stuffed animals, but they are my jam. Oh, that's such a weird... What? Who's not allowing you to have stuffed animals? I was such a big stuffed animal person as a kid. I still am. I absolutely still am. Me thinking that I'm not a still not still a stuffed animal person, as I have a huge collection of giant Pokemon plushies. <laughs> And like garbage garbage bags full of plushies I've won at round one. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge stuffed animal person. I'm very picky. It's Tostada. No. I got her before she. Uh, <laughs> I got her before <laughs> before she she jumps up right as the race starts. All right. 
Okay, wait, I have a perfect one. I have such a good one. Holy shit. What is the the weirdest or lamest thing that someone has ever given you as a present? Like, like it could be any present, like a birthday present or like a relative or something. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I thought I got that. Uh, like when I was, when I was like 14, one of my aunts, oh my God, I'm so, I've been so get bad at getting boxes lately. When I was like 14, one of my, um, my aunts gave me pink cheetah print pajamas and I was like, bro. I do not like pink or cheetah print. Oh my god. I'm sure there's a lot of really bad ones though. I feel like mine is tame this time. Oh my god. A McDonald's gift card. <laughs> that one's just funny. I hit myself- oh my god. I- the one item I had left that I didn't use Okay, come on, come on. Oh! This one has been so bad. This one has been so bad. We did dodge lightning. We dodged lightning. Oh, don't, don't drop me off here! <laughs> that is just, oh my god, that's mean. That's so mean. I'll take fifth. It literally slammed me into the wall. There was nothing I could have done. Uh, let's read some some presents. Someone just says all, all lowercase pencils <laughs> My own pen log nuts uh, A coal shaped gun gum coal shaped gum for Christmas. Oh, is that like someone trying to be funny? Like oh looks like you got coal it looks like you got coal today or this it looks like you were bad this year <laughs> Socks and underwear. You know, I've, I've come to respect the gifts of the gift of socks and underwear, you know, because you need it. You need new ones every year. But as a kid, it was not exciting. But socks and underwear, getting socks and underwear as an adult, I pop off, dude. I pop off. Um, some says Advil. A bootleg Game Boy thing with like 800 games. Yo, that's that's awesome. A scratchy lot lottery ticket. A single peanut. A Bible. Ooh, that one's real too. <laughs> Used a bar of soap. <laughs> a freaking teacup. Sponge. Subway. A PS5. No, we're not talking about... <laughs> we're not talking about stuff that we got for Christmas one day. We're talking about, like, the worst presents we've ever received. Game trivia qu cards. <laughs> A single penny. Aw, oh, damn it. I'm trying to read and, and drive. Ah! I'm trying to read and drive again. No! I wanted that. Holy shit. Oh. Hitting someone else's uh, mushrooms in 200 is so painful. It messes up your lines so much. No! Why have I been missing that one so much? No, no. Oh my god. I don't think this track was really made for 200. Please don't hit them. Oh my god. Thank the lord. Oh, a ghost. A little ghosty goo. Alright. Sure, we can- we can dot we can miss the lightning dodge by like a fraction of a second. Sure, why not? No! Oh my god. Bootleg Le Lego that my mom convinced me was better because it was handmade. Handmade Lego? Oh god. That does not sound great at all. Sure, let's get the squid for the completely underwater track. Ah, damn. A cardboard with a riddle and you solve it with math. <laughs> Expired candy, fake AirPods, a bucket of ramen. I think that one's fun. I like that one. I would, I'd be like, oh, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. There's definitely worse. Uh, Yoshi Circuit is hard, but it's better than all the other ones. I still haven't gotten Reggie Rock. I'm so sorry, buddy. 
Um. <laughs> One dog biscuit coffee while pregnant <laughs> when it made me sick. Oh, are you allowed to have coffee when you're pregnant? It just seems like one of those things where you're not allowed to have, but maybe not. Left-handed guitar? Aww. That's close. That would have been, like, a good present if they just, like, just knew a little bit more. <laughs> you can have a little bit? Ah, oh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Caffeine is a no-no during pregnancy? Ah. Uh. I believe if you can ha I'll believe it if you can't have a little bit, and I also believe it- No! We just random to, to baby park. We just random to, to baby park. Malding. Absolutely malding. I'll- I'll get that super chat in a second. Malding. Malding. I didn't get anything. Drive out. Drive. Drive. Dry Bowser. Drive. Drive like like your life depends on it. No. Yeah, the music. I'm just holding on to this. I'm getting rid of this. No, people are falling, falling in front of me. Come on. Come on. Come on, no. Oh, Oscar. Got to get this. No. Take it. Take it quick. Take it inside. No. No, I thought that was the last one. I spammed at the end. I thought that was the last lap. Ah, uh, that could have been worse, but we kind of just, the lightning at the end was awful. Man, the lightning at the end. Is that a, what do you have? Oh. Mm. Chicken leg socks. I've seen those. Those are awesome. Those are hilarious. Okay, this is the, the, the last one. Last four races. All right. What's one more, um... What's, what's one more, um, another, a couple, we need, we'll do a couple more icebreakers. What are a couple more, uh, good icebreakers? What's your dream dog? And what would you name it? Oh, wait, uh, I don't know. I like German Shepherds. Like a German Shepherd mix, smut. Um, uh, not a bad present, but my cousin, uh, got me for a secret Santa. Gave me a trans pin, but I think they meant to give it to me as a buy pin. Oh, <laughs> aww. You gotta love the 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 accidental ignorant uh, support. <laughs> the like, oh, I appreciate it, but you're you're not correct. <laughs> um. Okay, guys, what's a what's a good? Who's Tostada? It's my it's my cat. What's a, what's a good uh, icebreaker question that really gets to the brings out the funny stories. Dreams? No, I don't think. Hey, Oprah. Oprah's here. Same with Sans. I think dreams are like, eh. There's a lot of reading as well. Like, I can't. I need to be able to look at the answers really quickly. Hmm. Hmm. Dig a little deeper, guys. We gotta dig a little deeper. D dig just a little bit deeper. Deeper. We're getting surface level. We need. We need. Uh. We need like deep and dark. <laughs> hmm. Weirdest fear? We've already done that one. <laughs> Someone says social security. Okay, well, 
We didn't. We didn't get to to find one. I'll I'll try to think of some. I'll try to think of some. I want this double. Yes. Ooh. Ow. Got it. Hitting a green shell on the side is so painful. No! Ah, I kind of wanted to use it this time. I would have used it now. I would have used that flower now. Ooh. Early blue. Oh, I missed Oprah. <laughs> I tried. Oh, great. <gasps> Holy shit! Huge? Huge lead. Wait, wait, there's someone right here! No, don't hit the blue, the red gel! Don't hit the red gel. Oh no, I shouldn't have hit that. Damn it! Oh, I hit the sand. Oh... Damn. Weirdest injury? Oh, that's a good one. What's your weird what's your guys' weirdest injury? What's the weirdest way you guys hurt yourselves? That that's a really good one. Let's do this one. Don't I got hit with a chainsaw? What? Oh my god. Got a serious cut on a sink. Oh dear, that sounds actually painful. Like, bathroom injuries are always, like, the worst sounding ones. They always sound really bad. Uh, hurt my ankle trying to do a ma- Wait, this one's good. I hurt my ankle trying to do a Michael Jackson move. Oh, that one's so good. Um. <laughs> um. My mom accidentally fell on me. Oh no. <laughs> I hurt my ankle trying to do a Michael Jackson move. <laughs> that one's just. Oh, that one's so peak. That one's so. Oh, jeez. Oh, dear. Oh. No. Oh, these ones are harder to read. Oh. Sneezed out a potato chip. Oh, that sounds painful. That sounds like sharp. Oh dear Oh my god, I'm always I always do bad on this part Let's just send this why not Hit my funny bone on a table. Eh, I think everyone's done that. Oh, I'll read that super chat in a second. Oh, that was a mistake. And the, the thing is gone. Grrr. Hope it's right here. Nice. No! Oh my god, please. No! Damn it. Oh. Oh, this was not a good raise. That was a bad little sequence there. I don't want these! Oh my god, I don't want to be the one to... Well, how, do, how do I benefit from having the, the blue shell? No! Please, let me have this. Oh. Holy, oh, holy crap, foot potter, hold on a second. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta catch up to Super Jets in a second. Fourth, I'll take fourth. Okay. I was just standing still and my leg just decided to dislocate. Oh my god, that's terrifying. I broke my arm tripping over a simple school chair in front of my class. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a funny one though. Uh, do you like pottery? Um... 
I, I don't... I don't think I have... I'm pretty neutral on the idea of pottery, I, I think. But thank you uh, so much, Foot Potter. Thank you. Uh, I, was I was left alone at the table, and I fell back in my chair and split my head open. Yeah, I've heard lots of those stories. <laughs> Do I like pottery? I, I think... I would like to take a pottery class. The, a pottery class sounds fun, but um, I, I wouldn't say I, I dabble in pottery as a hobby or own, owning it very much. Uh, keep keep telling the the, the weird uh, injuries one. I, I've been enjoying this one a lot. I once kicked my wooden bed frame and got a splinter sh Oh god, oh god, I don't want to read that one. <laughs> I don't want to read that one. Oh god, I hate that. <laughs> what icebreaker are we, are we doing? We're doing uh, the weirdest way we've ever gotten injured. No gross ones, please. I don't want shi I don't want shivers. I don't want to uh, read ones that give me shivers. Broke my the hand of a friend. Oh, that's just sad. I broke my my friend broke my hand. I read that quickly. Take this. Ah, shit. Oh, I was trying to read. I was trying to read. I was... <laughs> you can look back and watch the eyes. My eyes just, like, quickly look over. I'm trying to read. <gasps> Don't... Don't you dare. You... Oh, why would you be there? Why would you be there? Whoa, Oprah. Oprah's always around me. Okay, we're going to completely miss that. All right. Why would you take me backwards? Why would you take me backwards? No! Don't throw a red shell. No! Oh my god. Oh. Oh, I thought it was over. I thought the freeze was... Who hit that? I'm in the last place! How did I get hit by a green shell in the last place? How? Oh my god. One star in 10th? Where's my bullet? Where's my bullet? Oh my god. Oh, too little too late. Too little too late. Ah. Someone says, I got hit by a door. <laughs> that was a bad race. <laughs> Choked on a pancake. <laughs> uh, my friend dropped a bowling ball on my foot. Oh my god. Bretzels, that's just traumatizing. Uh, I was cleaning my backyard with my mom without gloves and got a stick of cactus impaled. Ooh. Oh god. Oh god. Please, guys, we're getting into gross territory. We're getting into gross- we're, These are supposed to be lighthearted, funny, haha. -ha. Like, someone broke their ankle- Someone hurt their ankle trying to do a Michael Jackson move. We're do- We're, we're getting into gross ones. <laughs> I got rabies? I don't think that's real. But, I- You don't get- You don't survive rabies. <clears throat> I got lockjaw for eight hours because I yawned. When I was two, I broke my toe by running into a work rent bench. Oh no. Oh. Tostada, you're not allowed on the computer. I need to put like tin foil up there. Okay. <coughs> I fell on a hula hoop. <laughs> See, those are the fun ones. My favorite is still the person who hurt their ankle <laughs> trying to do a Michael Jackson move. That one's so funny. <laughs> Oh, I'm still laughing at that one. <laughs> no! Jaden, don't get hurt by by uh, someone else's item in the first 60 seconds of the race. Impossible challenge. Okay, we're doing this. This one's hard to do 200 because of this turn exactly. Oh, 
huge dodge. No. I'm gonna squish you. Ah, oh, they swerved. Oh? No, I meant to throw it backwards. No, 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 no! Well, at least it slows me down for this one. The sound horn in anything less than in in any place other than one first place is so ass. Oh my god, I don't want the plant. Why would I get the plant in third? Please go away. Thank you. No, I thought it was gone. Bro. <gasps> no, 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 no. Tostada. Damn. Damn. The plant. Oh, I wanted something else. If I got something other than the plant, I probably could have got second. Is that the last race? Ah, oh, that's the last race, guys. All right. That's the last race of the day. Let me change my HDMI. The last race of the day. All right. So, we... Tomorrow... Let's see what we got for tomorrow. Um, tomorrow... We're playing Splatoon with Chugga Conroy and Scott uh, Falco. Let's change that there. We're, we're we're playing we're playing good old good old Splatoon again. There's a bunch of friends uh, mutuals who said they wanted to play Splatoon on the on the subathon, so we're doing another Splatoon day. And then there's a good chance we might be playing Mafia with Maz. Uh, I haven't I haven't confirmed it with him in a while, uh, but. That is what is scheduled. <laughs> so fun, fun day. This is this is it, guys. All right, guys, huddle up, huddle up. Um, there is a good chance. Um, you beat Twitch plays Pokemon tonight. There is a good chance you beat Twitch plays Pokemon tonight. Um, my advice. Try to get, try to spam strength on Azumarill. I think that's your only win condition. I think that's your only win, win condition, honestly. Um, also, if you can, if you can, try to um, heal a, a max revive Manectric, Bagmut. Uh... He probably couldn't do too much damage. Like, honestly, the best way you could win is Max Revive Bagmut, uh, Spam Thunder, switch out when Whiskash comes out, and then uh, sweep with Azumarill. But uh, I think that's too much to, to, to handle. So, um, try, try, try to Max Revive Bagmut. Um... It might be too hard. You might end up, like, walking in. But, um, I believe in you. I believe in you guys. Um, if not, at least try to, try to, um, um, just try to use strength on Azumarill. Oh. This is, this could be it. This could be the last day. The la the last day of Twitch Plays Pokemon. Well, not the last day, but you know what I'm talking about. All right. All right. Let's let's uh, let's pull up Visual Boy. You got this, guys. I feel like I'm like your 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 boxing coach, like slapping you on the shoulders, squirt, uh, squirting the water bottle in your in your face and your mouth. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can beat Twitch Plays Pokemon. You can beat Wallace. You can do it. You know you've got the skills. This is it. It's all or nothing. All right. Oh, the music, the music. Uh, there it is. Oh my goodness, we gotta change. We gotta change the stream title. Uh, Jaden's chat play uh, finishes. Pokemon. 
um r oopsie not caps r slash jaden tpp yep could be the last <laughs> you guys are already trying to, to do the, the controls this might be the the last night guys let's let's do this all right all right